Who won? Rahoka! I don't think, I don't, I don't think that is him. Listen, welcome to Friday. Appreciate everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Here's my shirt of the night, by the way. It's obviously a man, a man shirt. Check out the back. Sorry, sorry for that movement. Uh, we're going off the rails tonight. We're going off the rails. Viper, what's going on? Yeah, I love I love this shirt. Look at that. It's one of my favorite shirts. Yeah, there's no rails today. Look at the chat. It's all <laughs> it's all red triforces. So this is the setup for tonight. I'm in a I it looks like I'm in a goddamn Natsu says birds. Thank you, Natsu. Appreciate you. Is my mic too hot, by the way? Let me know. I'm in Dreamcast Guy's closet. Where's the fish? Listen. Look at my bag of balloons. This is not the uh, sex dungeon, man. 
So how's everyone doing on Friday? I appreciate everybody. Mike is good. Thank you, Nish, in the chat. Today, we're doing some ghost stories, and then I'm going to talk about growing up with video games in high school. However, um, my mom will be on the show tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST, so don't miss out tomorrow. And movie night, two nights in a row, uh, two weeks in a row, has been pretty successful. I had a blast doing it. Thank you to Wooden's Throne for the five that said Raw Hooker, as always. He always says Raw Hooker at the beginning. Congratulations. Love you as usual. I missed you guys. Um, I haven't been here for what, like a week? Sexy Coco's here for the first time ever. Congratulations to Congratulations. him. Congratulations. He, uh, he's too busy doing his own show on my server to watch my show. So Congratulations. Also sexy. You're fired. There you go, buddy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sexy Coco is doing an amazing job over on the server where he does movie nights. He's a goddamn legend. A goddamn sexy legend. Primes, the I, ZM in the chat. What's going on? Omar, what's up? What is this? Happy Friday, Jay. Right, Appreciate y'all. Thank you, man. Thank you, Woodens. Juicy Booch is here with the stealth. Appreciate you. Now... I just want to tell people this YouTube is YouTube's messed up at the moment. So I apologize if the stream literally goes off the rails. I was not also, I was not able to get to the PO box because today is a holiday today. Right now, everyone should be eating a Turkey dinner. I think, right? Natsu says birds and has become a legend. Thank you, Natsu. Really? You weren't a legend before that. Um, I'll give an update on how many memberships we have in a second here, but it's, yeah, YouTube's actually really messed up on the back end right now. Hi, so. Hamalo. Oh, wait, wrong stream. Hi, Jay. Happy Friday. <laughs> Camelot. Happy Friday to you, Scott. Appreciate your support, dude. I know you've been watching in. Um, all right, so here's an update. First and foremost, you guys are absolutely insane we are at 1353 members right now actually it's 1330 right now which thank you for that i appreciate it that's why everybody in the chat has a little triforce next to their symbol thanks so for movie night jay it follows was good yeah Omar, thanks for being there. Appreciate it. So if you are a super or an ultimate uh, legend on this channel, you get into movie nights. So make sure you tune into those. Darth Omega, thank you, dude. Appreciate the support. And uh, Scott, thank you. Appreciate that. Tower Dragon has gifted one sub and it went to somebody. Congratulations to that person. Congratulations. Fired. And Wade, thank you, man. Says appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. Really do. So again... How was everyone's week? Wait, what day is it? Yeah, that's something I should say today. How's everyone's week? <laughs> it's it's probably I'm 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 guessing now it's going to be a very slow uh supported stream, low support. My cat, if you see her walking around, she actually has no legs. So I just want to put that out to you guys. The cat hasn't gotten any legs in the last week. I've had to roll her around like a giant little like a giant fat little bean. Uh, there was a few times I accidentally kicked her like a football as well, and we played football with her. But, you know, by the end of the game, we realized the cat loaf was a was a cat, not a football. Tower Dragon, what's up, Juicy Booch? Zaylin, Horror House, what's going on? White Lando is here, the legend. Speaking of which, where's my candies? Almost out of candies, dude. I spent all my money on DSP. So here's to dollars, babe. Oh, God. Here we go. Thank you, Michelle Soguchi. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Oh. Ryan says, how's it going? Playing Stellar Blade demo. Graphics and wives. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Hope the community is doing well. Been solo myself. Um, solo like in a bad way or a good way? Ryan, are you okay out there? 
so if you're here Saturday, you knew, you you guys know what happened on the stream. <laughs> Not going to really get into it, but I think everyone knows what happened last uh, Sunday on the stream, which was, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Serge, what's up? Can't wait to meet my uh, meet my Stellar Blade wife. Yeah, dude. Thank you, White Lando, for showing up today. Appreciate you. Oh, what? Rich Nidri says, Solo has been good to me post-divorce. Holy shit, someone got divorced. Oh, no, what is this? What is this? I, I have a feeling that this is uh, Zaylin. Also, I have a feeling it's not going to play, so there's that, too. Oh, brother. <laughs> so stupid. <clears throat> yeah. Moist? What is that, a voice? I haven't heard it yet. Let's see if we can get it to play. Do we break, we break Streamlabs? Well, there's something going on with YouTube, as I said. There's always, every time I stream for you guys, something's going on with YouTube. Read the goddamn thing. Okay, hang on. I'll, I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. It's called Smash Everything. Oh, brother. Okay, give me a second. Let's see if this works. So, how was everyone's week as I fix this? Let's just take a second to fix this nonsense. I worked on some movie stuff. Well, that's cool. Just, just do that. Cool. There we go. Let's see if that worked. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> derailed oh oh youtube you got one job you blew it congratulations anyways we'll we'll get that working um jostler thank you dude appreciate you working on synth music can i share it later i'm late yeah well first of all you're late so. you're fired so there's a possibility we can i don't know we'll look into it Hi guys, join us on Discord tonight for Halo MCC at 6.30 p.m. estate and also at 6 on Sunday where we embark on an 11-week journey of the Star Wars films. We will be tearing the bad ones apart. Don't worry. There you go. So if you like movie nights, just go hang out on the Discord server. Sexy Coco's there. He's an amazing host. Go enjoy those nights. I think that everyone that, that's been part of the nights really enjoys it. Will it play finally? No, I think it's because there's a $7 limit on uh, TTS, whoever put that in there. Um, normally, I can get it to play, but it is not playing, so you're fired. You're Congratulations. fired. And we got Biff. What does Biff say? Yeah, Zalen says that is correct. P play it for me? Do your do your goddamn job? No? Okay. So, di I didn't see... Yeah, once two cents, if it's not under seven... I, I turned it to seven dollars, so it, we're not, like, sitting here every five seconds with people sending in those things. Because I know it's quite annoying to some people out there. If you notice the setup of lighting, you'll notice that I have a, a blue side and a red side. There you go. Biff says, Biff became a member, which I appreciate. And says, hey, Jay, treat your girlfriend to a bowl cut. All the, all the big YouTubers' wives have them. <laughs> Did you guys... Thank you, Biff. I appreciate it. Did you guys see my character in my uh, review? Oh, my God. 
what what is going on with the fucking stream labs <laughs> every five seconds appreciate all the support i know that sexy coco put the 10 in through there and it worked so, so that's working thank you for that um let's double check something yep youtube's still broken on my end that's great uh it's not really a big deal just trying to edit the stream oh wait wait Okay, wait, wait for it. Maybe it's working. Um, yeah, it looks like the servers are back here, so I apologize for all that. Um, thank you, Biff, for becoming a member, and Birdman just became an ultimate legend. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. So tonight, what are we doing? First and foremost, I just want to say thank you for the support again for the last six weeks. You know... It hasn't been exactly uh, super easy for me. However, you know, this stream and talking to you guys has been absolutely incredible. And I feel like we have a very good community happening here, especially on, the, again, go to the Discord and join that. But during the live streams, to be honest, at the beginning, I was like, oh, my God, um, I have to, like, switch my career over. However, the channel's been doing really well, in my personal opinion. I knew that, obviously, you know, a ton of people would watch in the beginning and then it would level out and it's it's leveled out to a a level that i'm like proud of like you know tons of views What's on things up, Jay and everyone i just got done making a new song and i share it with you guys dj yes um on sunday if you want to send me the song over we could play it on sunday unfortunately I was playing a song on stream that I had permission to use last time, but I got a copyright strike from it. And uh, that's been a whole disaster behind the scenes. So I'm only playing music that I know is cleared. So I apologize for not playing it tonight, but I will on Sunday. You got to send it over to me so I can do some magic to it to make sure that I'm not going to get hit with a copyright strike. So DJ, send that to my Twitter or email me. My email is on the channel here. Um, Again, I'd like to apologize. I wasn't able to get to the P.O. box today because it's Easter. Totally forgot about that one. Uh, Jossler says, do some magic in my ass. Listen, I'd love to come down there, put a pancake on your feet, put maple syrup on your head, and let it drip down your hair onto your feet. Then slap your ass. Congratulations. So today's stream's going off the rails. I guarantee it. I'm in a very weird mood. I don't remember what I was saying before the stream started, but it was really stupid. And also, if you notice me slowly doing this the whole stream, that's because the church is leaning to that side, and there's not much I could do about it. Look, here I go again. Look at this. Bye. Welcome to the church. Bye. Nerd Gamer, thanks for watching. Surge, what's going on? So, first and foremost, just gonna plug myself i did a review for dragon's dogma 2 i hope you guys really enjoyed that i uh worked my ass off on that one zombie what's going on <clears throat> bacon laser <clears throat> appreciate you listen i love bacon and i love lasers so you and i'd probably get along where's terrence by Who the way was? Uh, d jr says great video appreciate that white lando gave my burp a three out of ten which totally makes sense because it was a three out of ten really terrible wasn't it am i in a closet no i'm actually in the hallway i moved some stuff around but that's the bathroom door you guys kind of know about that one you know that one um these are the shelves where i keep all well not all of it but a lot of my movie magic stuff so, like, here's the first clicker that I have from my film. Um, this, what the first day we shot was on January, February, March, April. April 3rd, 20, uh, 2023. So, that's my first clickboard. We broke it. By the way, yeah, we obliterated this one. Actually, no, we didn't. This one's in good shape. The other one we obliterated. Um, but I decided to keep this just as a, you know, a momentum. A momentum. Is that what they're called? A momentum. 
something of that nature. Terrence is not here. Hope he's okay. I heard he had a chili accident. He poured a whole tub of chili on his own ass and slapped it too hard. So I did not mean to play that. Congratulations. Rise of Ronin is the next review. So tonight, what are we doing? We're going to talk a little about a little bit about some ghost stuff that's been happening on my side of things. Then we're going to discuss um, being a teenager in high school. And we're going to take a look at some of the classic PlayStation 1 commercials that we all grew up watching. That's if I can play them because some of them are going to get my channel shut down. <clears throat> Mario Heat in the chat says, Happy Easter. So I'll shout out Easter to everybody. I hope the... Uh, Listen, I hope the Easter Bunny shows up to all your houses and puts eggs in your ass. Congratulations. So thank you for that. Cosmic Productions is here. Congratulations, Congratulations. to you. Congratulations. Glad you uh, decided to show up. <laughs> Jessica D says, Jay, do you think $70 is too much for one ticket to cake? Uh, the band for $70? Mm, yeah, I mean, it's pretty high up there. It depends where you're sitting, right? I think if you're close to the band, it's probably worth it. I I got to see... Listen, I just had a stroke. I got to see Weezer at the front row once. By the way, I didn't tweet this stream out. Hang on. No wonder, um, no wonder I'm an idiot. Let me do that now. Good job, Jay. Good job. Smash that like button. That's such a stupid saying in the YouTube world. Jostler, yeah. I saw Weezer in uh, 2000 front row, man. That shit was crazy. Okay, hang on. Let me tweet this out. I totally forgot to. Okay, give me a second. We're almost done. All right, there, tweet it out. That'll bring about 14 more people in here. Congratulations. You're fired. Uh, JRAM says, Jay, send me five pounds of maple syrup. Listen, yes. So let me just be clear. Today's more of a hangout stream. It's Good Friday. I didn't expect a lot of people to be here. Um, tomorrow, though, tomorrow my mom's on the show. So don't miss that. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST, my mom is joining us. My real mom, just to make that clear. And we are going to answer any questions you want to have about my life. Like the time I hid under my uh, own bed and ate a bowl of peanut butter. So we won't talk about that now. Though. Congratulations. You're fired. That's uh, J Ram says, can my mom be his dealer? Yes. My mom has tried 16 times over the last four hours to try to send me uh, or, or bring drugs with her. And uh, I've denied her. Over and over and over. No, but legitimately, she was like, hey, I'll bring you drugs. And I'm like, hey, I don't do drugs. So there was that. How do you get how do you get peanut butter in a bowl? Says General. Dude, you use a spoon. You spoon it. It's just like how you take it out of Terrence's ass. Who was? You you get a spoon and you just like pull it out of there, baby. You put it in that bowl, you lick it up. You start licking it up. You make your friends watch. You just have a good time with the peanut butter, man. Man, just put the peanut butter in the bowl. Damn. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm going off the rails. Yep. Uh, I just read cereal. <laughs> cereal Vapor said drugs are the lubrication of life. I thought that said peanut butter was the lub lubrication of life. That would get... Very, very dirty. Let's be honest there. I do love the fact that everybody here is a member. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Juicy Booch, what's going on? Uh-oh, King of Les. What did you say? Serial Vapist deleted it. Oh, no. Uh, Biff says, does your mom have most of her teeth asking for a friend? It's actually Terrence. Uh, you can ask her that tomorrow. <laughs> Oh no. Jay is haunted. Jay is fire. Jay touch my ass and tickle my holes. Oh. <coughs> that 
That was funny. <coughs> As I choked it up. Dude, I love that stupid voice. There was another one that we discovered the other day that was like super scary. Was it Whisper? Sexy Coco, are you here? Was it Whisper? I forget, or Ones? Thank you, Astro Zombie. I appreciate you. Um, is Jessica okay? It's been a while since she was in the chat. Actually, yeah, it'd be great to get an update about her. I haven't seen it for a while. One says you called. Uh, first of all, where the hell's my chili? I ordered it like six hours before the stream. And you're supposed to be wearing uh, a goddamn... Oh, yeah, wait. Wait a minute. I gotta grab something. Hang on. Actually, I think I lost it already. Wait. What did I do with it? Oh no. I don't know what I did with it already. I lost it already, didn't I? How is this possible? Hang on. Was I hidden? I just said hi, everyone. So, I don't know if you guys know, but last time I was uh, streaming, I revealed this. Somebody sent me a monkey suit. And I actually bought, I bought the goddamn uh, tie. Somebody told me to buy a red tie. And uh, now I don't know where the red tie is. I'll put the suit there. Hang on, let me check. How do you lose a tie? I don't know, man. I lost the tie. God damn it. How do you lose a tie? Oh man, I found the tie. I found it. I found the tie. It was right in front of me. All right, so there's the tie for the monkey suit, which I'm not putting on right now. I die of heat. But as usual, I'm sure that'll probably happen at some point. Somebody will be like, put on that goddamn monkey suit. So, just so everyone's clear, I did buy the Donkey Kong um, tie that goes hey, with the, mon the monkey suit. Hey, a bowl of penis butter. Also, did you hear Louis Gossett Jr. died today at age 87? All right. Oh, man. I didn't know, man. Darth, thank you. I appreciate that. Seriously? I question JKB's man. record of bringing on the spooky, filthy birds... Nelson Peltz is a man. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? I don't even know what that meant. King says, um, was I hidden? I just want to say hi to everybody. No, you were there, King. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Ban everyone in the chat, please. Um, <laughs> Devin, I don't know what that means, dude. Anyways. Chris, sa Chris says, I guess my membership ran out. <sighs> Chris? You're fired! K 
Can somebody ban Chris in the chat, please? Because that's disgusting. Congratulations. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine I talk to people like that? Anyways, ban Chris in the chat. I'm serious. You blew it. Congratulations. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Chris, I love you. Um, I, I just want to say I see so many red Triforces. That means that you've been a member for one month. And all the gold ones have been before the month. I just want to say thank you to all the members that are here. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's, you know, it's crazy. Uh, no. Well, I'll get to that when it plays on the screen. But So today I basically went on a film meeting. And we went to one of the... Uh, you know, I wish I got footage of it. I have footage that I will show on stream eventually. But I know you guys like story time. We went to an abandoned, and I mean abandoned, for about 20 years farm. And it had a whole family that lived there in the 80s. Um, it is gigantic. Massive farm. We went location scouting today for a few little spec things that we're going to uh, film. But, you know... Uh, I don't know how much I could say or want to say, but basically, yeah, we were with a we were with a writer producer today that basically has connections to things. So maybe it'll turn into something, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see if that pops up. So yeah, I got the Donkey Kong tie ready. Um. I, I don't know if it actually fits me, but we'll see. So, Lewis Gossett Jr. died today, man. That's crazy. I grew up watching... Um, well, I grew up with him on the news all the time. You don't know how to tie a tie? Alice, no. <laughs> I don't. This is one of those zip zipper ties. You pull it and it... It zips down. Yeah, I told I told Zalen I'd buy the tie, guys. So I ordered it on stream that day. I've had it since a couple of weeks, like a half a week ago or whatever. You heard about Nelson Peltz's comments about Kevin Feige, right? No, I haven't. Fill me in in the chat, please. Congratulations. I don't know what he said. What did he say? Something interesting? Probably not. I don't know. Wow. Um, Casey is raw. Thank you. Um, how do I feel about Eric getting railroaded on the LOL Cal podcast? I feel bad for him. He got screwed hardcore. Um, I mean, I appreciate him, you know, sticking up for me. I didn't watch that episode, to be honest, because I rather watch the paint on the ceiling in my bathroom dry then watch lol cow it's boring if i wanted to watch a bunch of old men scream about their bullshit i'd go to bingo night at the local town hall i'm sure it's i'm sure it's entertaining but to be honest i find that stuff kind of boring now i've been a youtuber for like 15 16 17 years and i've seen all those shows come and go and it's just boring like what are they, what are they going to talk about I don't get it. So I guess Eric was on the show. I saw one little clip where they were with Melanie Mack showed up. And they discussed the Bible with Melanie Mack. And I was like, what, what if the hell is this? How did she show up? Of all pieces of shit to show up on the show, she shows up out of the fucking ground. Like Satan himself, herself. And starts talking about the Bible. I was just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not watching this shit. Yeah, it's, it's, to me, such a waste of time. 
But I get it. Listen, if you watch it out there, I understand a lot of you probably watch it that are watching me. Have fun. Have fun with the bullshit. You know, it's like I saw Boogie. I'll talk about this. I saw Boogie on Twitter today. And I'm like, dude, how many times have I seen Boogie say, like, it's the end of his life? And then all of a sudden he he miraculously survives. I don't know. Apparently Boogie has cancer. And it's not looking good. I think he had a bit of a meltdown on Twitter in a, in a sad way earlier. You know, I, I don't know the guy personally, but I've talked to him a few times. He seems fine behind the scenes. But, you know, if he's got cancer, that's that's terrible. But again... I don't know what to trust when it comes to the, that, you know, that whole situation. But again, I'm not going to get on this show and never really talk shit about other people. Like I, I did that enough on RTU. Um, and most of it, if not all of it was mostly like just joking and kidding around for the most part. I mean, they're, you know, yeah, let's just be clear here. Uh, I still think. Pat the NAS punk is a, a literal punk. Congratulations. Not a, I'm not a fan of his. I'll still say that live. Because uh, he treats people like shit. So that's what he deserves, in my opinion. Um, DS9 says Boogie has had cancer for years, but at the time they said it was being managed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's not being managed anymore, which is sad, right? I mean... Pat the NES punk is literally called the punk, so it makes sense that he is a punk. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. He <laughs> Lightning bolt my chili bowl. Listen, that's one way to heat it up. Yeah, it sucks for Boogie, man. Um... So apparently, I guess his cancer is like a little bit more aggressive than it was a couple of years ago. And it's it's a slow moving cancer in his blood system. So they say he can have like between five, ten years. Um, you know, it's terrible. King of Les, thank you. I appreciate that laugh. Um, a lot of people wanted me to show magic cards on the stream, which I thought was interesting. But I don't think everybody would be into that. Um, Tower Dragon says, don't worry, dude, you made the right decision. Lolcow would create nothing but drama. I mean, like, again, everything I've wanted to say is already out there about the situation. And I'm like, so over it. That was, that happened like a month and two weeks ago and it's still being drawn out. I wonder why. Oh no. Why, why would we go on the internet and talk about something a month and two weeks later unless we wanted money? Oh, no. Listen, go back to your sex shed. Wash the goddamn floor so people can walk in there. Congratulations. And invite me uh, invite me over, please. Sorry. Whoa. Ah. <clears throat> you blew it. Doug has become nobody. He's just gifted a legendary... Thank you, dude. I really appreciate all these people sending the uh, memberships to other people. You know, I, I never imagined we'd get to 500, but we're at like 1360 now or whatever it was. Jess, would you do another top tier list? I'd like to see one for Batman movies. Sorry, the Tim Burton movies. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, okay. Next week, we'll do a tier day where we'll just do tier lists the whole time and we can have fun with that. White Lando says 5,000 members. I don't see that happening. Uh, if we get to two, if we get to 1,500, I'd be, I'd be like, what the hell's going on here? Oh no! What did you do? <laughs> Listen, oh God, why is Chili's becoming a goddamn thing? Darth McButtface, thank you. I really appreciate your support, dude. I don't know how it happened. I have no idea how Chili has become the lubricant of the love between everybody in this chat. It's absolutely insane. 
every time I go on stream, somebody's talking about putting chili in my ass. And you know what? I'm not against it, so... You're fired! I mean, I prefer maple syrup, but if we gotta do chili, then that's what's gonna happen. Why did I say that like Seinfeld? <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, so, how many people are playing Dragon's Dogma 2 still? I wanna know. Because I want to discuss a few things I didn't talk I've about in my review. I've been a fan of yours long before I knew who Rich was. Keep up the good work. And thank you for answering my question. Thank you. Casey is raw. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Everyone's like Rich is in the chat. Listen, that person that's typing, I don't think it's actually Rich. I think it's just a troll. I blocked them, obviously, so we don't get derailed by fake Rich. Um... I also, I also blocked Rich from donating to me while I'm streaming, which I'm sure he'll be smart enough and use a different email, which I'll know right away it's him anyways. But uh, I just publicly want to say thank you for the $75 US. I went to the steakhouse and spent it all on a steak and drinks. So thank you for that. Congratulations. Ah, uh, Chris, what's up in the chat, Chris? I see you on Twitter, and I appreciate the support. It's funny, because, like, some people, <laughs> dark side so Gucci, <laughs> that makes me laugh. Oh, no. Blitz says, my Xbox is overheating, so I can't even play Dragon Dogma 2 if I wanted to. Dude, that's terrible, man. Uh, Ralph says, Jesus is the best thing in Canada since, since Rush. I don't know about that. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Jay. Big fan of your content. Think you're doing a great job. Why did you say Rich stole his sense of humor from you, though? I have no personal investment in the situation. Just seemed kind of rude. <laughs> here we go, man. Oh, dude. I, I you know... Uh, here we go. Listen, I'm going to spend that money at the Olive Garden. So Congratulations. I didn't even hear that one. What was it? Why did you say Rich stole your sense of humor, though? <laughs> yeah. Rich, Rich stole my sense of humor, for sure. What? Lord Bacon, the Destroyer. Has become a, you know, okay, has become a super legend, says, yay, 30 days of Jesus. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Lord Bacon. You are a, a legend. I ate you for breakfast this morning, by the way. Um, you were delicious with eggs. So Congratulations. You blew it. Thank you, Lord Bacon. I appreciate you. I like the way you move. I like the way you got syrup on your back, and I licked it off. I mean, Congratulations. Legend, That's just what happened. Gaming Survivor says, Jay, the only way to stop is uh, to have a boxing match. Yeah, that would go well. That would go. That would go really well. Uh, let's just say that I wouldn't win that match. Have you seen me? <clears throat> yeah, Knight. I don't know, dude. Uh, Dreadlord666, Castlevania. Hi. How are you today? Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> so, let's do Jay's day off. What did I do during my days off? First and foremost, I decided to try to do something crazy, which was release four shorts on my channel all at once. I'm not talking about release myself from my shorts. I'm talking about the shorts that play on YouTube. I learned my lesson. First and foremost, don't release four of them within an hour because they don't go anywhere. The fourth one, for some reason, is at like 4,000 views. I don't know. So I did that. Uh, what else did I do on my day off? My girlfriend's car had her tires stolen from it. So there's that. My girlfriend got another bowl cut. So there's that. Um, <laughs> I played Dragon's Dogma like a maniac to get that review done. And there's a lot I want to talk about I didn't get time to say in the review. Portable ham sandwich. Listen, a por that's a brilliant idea. I've always thought about ham sandwiches as the home sandwich where you had to eat them at home. 
But the idea of having a portable ham sandwich, wow, Jay thank you. Jay get possessed then, call a priest, let's go. Grim Timmy, thank you, dude. Um, can I tell you what uh, the, okay, we'll do this now, ready? So I had the psychic here, um, and I'm finally ready to tell you what the psychic told me. The, the psychic's still coming on the show, I just gotta work out how much she wants, because she initially said, I would like $500 for me and my team to come in here. And I said, well, why don't you take a portable ham sandwich and leave? Because that's too much money. So I said, I just want you on stream for a chat. Um, and she's like, $200. Should I do it, guys? Should I have her still on the show for $200? Let me know in the chat, yes or no. That seems like a lot of money for somebody to make up a lot of stuff. But she was here. Well, maybe she's telling the truth because she came in here. And she told me these great, amazing facts. Let's put this on and get a close up. <clears throat> uh, one of the great facts that the person told me was that my roommate was going to come upstairs with a knife and kill me. So that's number one. Congratulations. She also told me that there's a large um, nine foot man who popped the balloons who is watching me at all times. So there's that. Congratulations. She. She also told me that there's a young boy, a creepy boy in the attic that just stares at me during the day. Congratulations. Finish show in the stella. Finish all. Oh, Ryan says he finished the stellar demo. You'll like it. <coughs> Dude, I can't wait to download that, man. So, yeah. I don't know why that switched over like that, but I will fix that quickly here. Oh, I see why. I see what it did here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna fucking put this sword. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Rye, dude, I can't wait to review that game next month. And and by review, I essentially mean review the assets of that game, if you know what I mean, you guys. Congratulations. Know. I still want you to make low-effort pizza bite show. Next week. It's funny you bring that up. Next week, I'm doing one episode of a cooking show on Sunday. So not this Sunday, obviously. Next Sunday at 2 p.m. will be Cooking with Jay. I know that sounds crazy, but it's going to be Cooking with Jay. We're, we're making everything that everyone kept talking about here. We're making maple syrup waffles. We're making pancakes. And we're making handheld pizza bite treats. Now, I'm going to make one version of them. And I'm going to make them how I see fit, not the fill version. So we're making some nice handheld treats next Sunday on the show. So next Sunday is called Cooking with Jay. Congratulations, you guys asked for it. I'm probably going to call it Handheld Treat Extravaganza. But I'm mostly just focusing on the pizza stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoy. I might actually just do the pizza stuff, but I also might burst in the oven. So that might get me uh, canceled, but... Yeah, next Sunday, dude. Appreciate it. Also, I woke up and I had a black eye the other day. I think the ghost tried to uh, stick something in my eye while I slept. So, yeah, the psychic did show up here and said, I want $500 for three of us to walk around like idiots and make shit up. So I was like, I'm not afford I can't afford that. I'm like, have you seen my cat? My cat can't walk. I have to roll her around like a fucking bean. And you want $500? And people were like, you, you should pay her the 500. I'm like, no, all of my streams are low support streams. I can't afford that. So I said to her, I just want you alone. And she said, okay, 200. And I was like, wow, you are really pushing it. <laughs> but um, it might be worth it for 200 Canadian. It's 200 Canadian, which is about $200 uh, in Japan, which is about $4 in the U S um, I'd love White Lando to come down here and feed me his little candies. Congratulations. Okay, we're getting out of hand here. Make poutine? Listen, Andrew? give me the full Canadian in the dumpster behind Olive Garden. What the? F are you are you asking for like what I think you're asking for? The full Canadian? The full Canadian, I don't know if you could handle that one. 
Portable ham sandwiches. Could you make a portable ham sandwich next Sunday? I mean, that's like that's like another forty dollars Canadian in products. So I don't know. I don't know. You need to calm down with your portable sandwiches and just eat one at home. You know what I'm saying? You're fired. But portable, I appreciate you. Andrew C says make poutine. Duh. Dude, the problem with making poutine at home is that I don't have a deep fryer because if I had one, I'd be like 6,000 pounds. So I can't really make good French fries at home. And I know that people are like, you can't make poutine at home. No. Put on the tie with the monkey suit. Justin, listen, uh, just to be clear, I don't just wear the suits. You know, this is a low support stream and I don't wear those suits because it's a low support stream. You're fired. No, just to be clear, if you want me to wear one of these suits, you guys know what needs to happen. I'm not first and foremost. It's like a hundred degrees in the church. If I put this monkey suit on, there's a chance I die on stream. So yeah, that's why I'm not really talking about it. Cause I'm sure I'd end up in the goddamn suit, but Birdman says, offer her 75 US and then exposure. <laughs> exposure 200. <laughs> that, would, that would be nuts. Um, I think I'm going to consider doing it for two bills, but I mean, that's a lot of money. You know, and the streams would only be like, let's, let's read what she said live here, just so you guys can see. She said this. Attention all testicles, that is all. <laughs> what? Right. Thank you. She said, I will do it for 200 and it includes the clearing. Um, the clearing, what she's talking about, she's talking about actually clearing this house out. So, you know, she says there's all these demons and ghosts and goblins. So, I don't know. I don't know, $200, man, to give to her. We all know it's like nonsense. It just seems, I don't know, man. Enforcer Zero is here. How is Enforcer Zero still not with a membership? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Why did I say that like a Scottish guy? That don't make sense to me. I wouldn't let her, Jay. It sounds like a scam. Well, what if a ghost does end up putting its ghost penis in my ass? You're fired! Congratulations. You blew it. Then I'm going to say to the person, nerd gamer, listen, you're the reason why I had a ghost penis in my ass. You told me not to bring her here. So I'm going to remember that. Robo Taco says, I will do it for $200 and clear out your house with sage burning because ghosts still smell stuff. Listen, RoboTaco, if anything, I want you to show up here and just clean my house. And that's not because you're a girl. I just would hire anybody to come here and clean this place. Um, does that include the ghosts? I don't know. Um, I should also point out that uh, Terrence finally showed up. Who was? So that's, that's something that's happened here. You know, it's like Terrence, let me tell you what happened with Terrence and I, okay? I was with this man for four years of my life. Four years. Not once did I have the opportunity to taste his delicious chili. And I said, I just want to try your chili once. And he didn't let it happen. Jay, if the ghost gets your booty, make sure he uses the highest quality Wendy's chili. Oh. Listen, if I'm going to put chili in my ass, it's going to be Terrence's. I think Terrence probably can make a really good chili. Um, yeah, I mean, Terrence has issues with... Well, I don't want to get into it, but he's got... He'll... Let's just say he's, he's, he's mentally abusive. He calls me names when he makes his chili. So I don't want to get it. I don't want to start up even more drama. I've been involved with too many uh, drama things this week. But Terrence yells at you as he makes chili. Just letting you guys know. It's disgusting and Who was? Just avoid it. Listen, touch my low support testicles. They are moist and ready. <laughs> Please noke me. 
I need melts dry. Oh. Sometimes I feel like that uh, TTS thing is like the stupidest thing we've ever done. Robo says, can I borrow him, Jay? Now that is weird. You you have a fetish of Terrence yelling at you as he makes chili? Man, I don't know. So let's discuss this for a second and get off the topic of chili. Because if, if, listen, I know, I know 100%. <laughs> Birdman, what's up, dude? Would you pay a co-host two hundred dollars? That's the answer. I mean, I don't know. Like, if I pay her two hundred dollars, she better she better have a ghost show up here and give me the ghost penis for two hundred dollars. Like, if she just shows up here and goes, "There's a seven foot man standing there," and we all go, "Where?" and she's like, "Right there." That ghost better touch me, and I I want it like. I'm into it. Hardcore, like Terrence knows. Give that ghost, give that ghost penis a good ringing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying now, but I'm sure I just got demonetized. Where is Sexy Coco? That's a good goddamn question. Let's see. Oh, he's, where is he? Weird. He just shows up for a minute, says, come watch my shows, and he leaves. Man. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. You're fired. <laughs> Terrence says Sexy Coco is making meatballs right now in my basement. Do you know what's crazy about that? I kind of believe it. I He says he's here. By the way, he is here. I'm just pushing his buttons. And by buttons, I mean his breasts. And by breasts, I mean his nipples. Listen, okay, let's have a debate. Let's put up a poll right now in the chat. Because this is this is actually serious. Hang on. Who... Let me put this up. Okay, this is a, this is a serious... Um, Hang on. Okay, the poll's going up, guys. Let me know in the chat. That is a very serious poll. I mean, I haven't seen them yet. So, it's... Oh, my God. Seriously, dude? <laughs> Holy shit! Sexy Coco's absolutely demolishing ones in the poll... One's two breasts is like 25%. Holy shit, Sexy Coco has the better nipples. There's only 65 votes. Come on, if you don't vote, you're banned. Instantly banned. I just saw what happened there, uh, King of Les. I saw what you did. God damn it. Hang on. God damn it. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I just don't know if I have the energy to do it. Oh yeah, by the way guys, here's my undershirt. Here's my undershirt. Take off my pants. What? <coughs> I knew I knew it. I knew it. Well, at least, at least it's happening. Holy shit, watch how scary this is gonna be. I knew it. I knew it. I'm lucky to be elected king of Land of Lesbia. I happen to be the only male here. It's quite lonely, our national dish. Chill the title King Lesbian. It's fitting as I'm the first. I would consider it a so diplomatic hard? courtesy <laughs> if you don the suit and spam a press. Oh my god. Whew. Look how scary this is. Look. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, by the way, here's my undershirt. Okay. I'm streaming in a closet. <sighs> Listen. <sighs> I, I... Okay, here we go. The full effect. No one has seen this yet. Okay. <coughs> no. I'm not showing my goddamn monkey. Banana. Wait, wait, he didn't request the poo suit, did he? It better not be. Oh, God. Wait, did he? Oh, my God, he did. <laughs> well. All right, let's, uh, let's take a vote. Do I need to change into the poo suit? Oh, let's ask him. Do I need to change into the poo suit? But you guys got you guys got the monkey suit now. What do you mean? Yes. I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for him to say yes or no. If he says no, he gets the monkey suit. Let's see what he says in the chat. We're waiting. He says, "Nah, that's fine. Look great. Ha! Ah, you guys You're are fired. You blew, you, blew you blew it. 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 There you go. You get the you get the monkey suit." Hang on, let's get this right. Let's get this completed there. To be honest, I kind of I kind of like this. Look. I oh my god, one's is going to kill me because of this wire. Look at this. Could you imagine the stream was just this? Just this guy sitting in a corner in a monkey suit? I know, I gotta get wireless headset. I know that. Okay, so speaking of ones, let's look at... So, by the way, King of Les. Lesbia, thank you. Th I appreciate it. I knew that, that somebody was gonna do it. And now I'm overheating and I'm gonna die on stream. Congratulations. So, thank you. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> As I die. I think the tie looks good with it. What do you guys think? Move the mic here, see? Ty looks good with it, no? I've got that that blue light on one side. So, King, thank you. Seriously, appreciate you very much. You are a goddamn legend. Um, let's replay... Oh, no. If the ghost say? impregnates you, I will adopt the low support ghost child. Congratulations. The tie gives me... Oh, nostalgia critic. Oh, man. So, let's look at the poll, guys. 160 votes. What happened there? Jay, you're already in a monkey suit. Just eat your own poo on stream instead of wearing the poo suit. Congratulations. Uh, could you imagine I just lost my mind one day and just started eating poo? Birdman says, how much do you eat a banana in that suit? <laughs> well, the usual. I'll put, listen, I'll get bananas for tomorrow's stream. And I'll if somebody does it tomorrow, I'll make this suit up again and I'll eat bananas for you. Next to my mom, by the way. My mom is on the stream tomorrow. You guys don't want to miss the stream tomorrow. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stupid stories. It's not going to be a super long stream because my mom's here and I haven't seen her for quite some time. But it's starting at 5. And it'll probably go for like an hour and a half to two hours. So get ready at five tomorrow. My mom is on the show and it's going to get stupid. I already know what's going to happen. People are going to be like, did your mom did, uh, t tell us about the time Jay ate a bowl of peanut butter under the bed? And my mom's going to be like, 
Well, one day I had to go into the room and hit him with a, a spoon because he was he kept stealing the Wonder Bread, and he'd make these little things with the... Never mind. You guys get what I'm saying. So what I did once was I, I stole the whole loaf of Wonder Bread, and I don't stream on Thursdays for a while here. That's why. Oh, no. I'm falling gently into death, Francis. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> it doesn't work. What the hell was that? Let's play it again. It doesn't work. Let's listen. I'm falling gently into to death, Francis. Francis. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe it does work. I'm pouring chili into Terrence's hole. You know what's amazing? We've turned that into a meme. So now the meme is that Terrence has chili in his asshole and you guys got to get a spoon delivered to you. Um, thank you, Jostler. Thank you, Birdman. Thank you, Mystery. You guys are legends. RG, thank you as well. I appreciate you big time. Uh, eight minutes ago, I put up one of the most important polls I've ever done on this stream. And it's asking a simple question. Who has the better nipples? The results are in. I'm going to end the poll right now. And wow, by a landslide. The ghost got him pregnant years ago. How do you think I got here? Also, we are out of chili up here in the attic. Papa says she will see you tonight and for you to get the chili ready. <laughs> oh no, there's another creepy kid voice. I thought we got rid of this. Oh, so the results are in. Coco has won Jay, best nipples. Start throwing poo around the place. I don't have any poo. Why does everyone assume I have poo? Oh shit, Lucy Goosey is finally a member, a legend. Thank you for becoming a member. We are up to five members already this stream. That is crazy. I, I never expect to get memberships on streams, but now we are at like 3,000. 3,335. 3, Thank you. Dude, I'm going to play that creepy kid voice again because that's great. But yes, again, I just want to know that, um, you know, I made that. I just want to get serious for a second. Hang on. The reason I did that poll about uh, Sexy Coco's nipples and one's two cents was because the loser was going to be fired. So, um once you're fired anyways back to the show yeah let's listen to the creepy kid again listen the to ghost this got him pregnant years ago how do you think i got here also <laughs> we are out of chili up here in the attic papa says she will see you tonight and for you to get the chili ready what does that mean Dr. Sanchez, have you met Sexy Coco? You guys might concur together and, you know, dissect a hooker in an alley or something. Whoops. Congratulations. I'm, I'm banned now. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sanchez. Okay, so you guys have been ridiculous. Ridiculous? Uh, you blew it. 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 Congratulations. You guys have been ridiculous. We're at six members now. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so, what am I doing for the week on the show? Just so you guys know, I'm reviewing Rise of Ronin next on the show. So, that'll be ready by, um, realistically, Tuesday, I'm guessing. I have to play the game for a very long time before I could talk about it. Um with the Dragon's Dogma 2 review, I really put my heart and soul into making sure that I got my points across in that review. And I just want to say thank you to the people that watched the review and said that it was a, you know, insightful, thoughtful review. I really appreciate a lot of those comments. Some of them not so much because they're about like, Congratulations. nonsense, but I'm being an ass here. Terrence has lost his mind in the chat, and I'm not even going to read that. Because he's goddamn nuts. Rich Needler, Nidre, Needler, has become an ultimate legend. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing another poll in the chat, and it's about movie night. Which movie should we do next week? So I'm going to do which 
movie for movie night. Okay, I'm going to put some options here. Okay, those. You know what's funny? If I put a stupid one in. Okay, listen. I'll put any movie recommendations. Put it into the chat now. And I'll, I'll add them in there. I have all the movies. So any other movies. So we have Shocker, which is totally about... You know what I mean? That how do you do the shocker? Like that? Sorry. Congratulations. Scott Pilgrim, I'll put that up there. Uh I have shocker up there. Ooh, ooh. Chris. Chris with the shallow grave. That's not a bad idea. Why am I saying it like that? Girls Gone Wild. Yeah, that would go well. Oh, The Mist. The Mist. <clears throat> Any other ones before I end this? Okay, I can only put four movies. So let's just see out of these four who would win. And then we'll add more in a minute. <sighs> Two mods, one cup. Well, we both know who those mods are going to be. Congratulations. Stand by me. Stand by me. Oh, darling, darlings. Sorry. <clears throat> Jay, you got to watch Come and See sometime. It's free on YouTube. Cool. Monkey Shines. That's one. Step Brothers. Eh. The Rowan Victor says, I'm gay for Jay. Congratulations. The Green Mile. Congratulations. Okay, who's winning? Scott Pilgrim's winning. What? Jay, did you like the Scott Pilgrim beat em ups game? Absolutely, man. Ice Cream Man. Ugh. Ugh. Now, this does not guarantee that we're going to watch Scott Pilgrim uh, next week. I have a few movies chosen, but I, I wanted to see a few of these. Is Shocker in last place? I'm sorry, uh, Taco. Taco, I'm sorry. Um, I just like to say to Taco. You're fired! Jay, what part of Canada are you from? I'm from the part where the the Canadians live in Ontario. Jay, show chat what's under your bed. Huh. Nothing. I don't have a second camera set up for tonight. Um, on next Sunday's stream, not this one, the following Sunday when I do cooking with Jay, I'm going to have probably three cameras so you guys can see all the point of views. How much you sleep on my couch, says Roman. I don't know, 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Depends. Well, it de totally depends if like there's a reach around involved, right? If there's a reach around, then the money, you know, it's cheaper, right? Um, but not a lot of guests want to do reach arounds anymore. It's, I don't know why. It's quite weird, to be honest. You know, it's it's just a re it, you're not even facing me you you are but you're not like you're reaching around so it's not even like you know what i mean oh christopher congratulations anyways that joke went on way too long way too long all right it looks like scott pilgrim has won that one with mist in second place shallow grave only got 14 percent. so okay you know what would be interesting to watch scott pilgrim in canada with you guys that is an interesting thing to do. My mom's here. Shout out to my mom. 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 Where is she? Mom, uh, can you disclose to the chat which treats you're going to be bringing me? And also let them know which treats have you put drugs into? No, but my mom says she has some treats for me, but she actually got me something really cool that I'm excited to get. And I don't even know what it is. It's like a Nintendo, Super Nintendo cartridge with Legend of Zelda on it, but it's like a big, mom, how big is it? Like big, right? Like a case. I don't know what it's for either. Like what's the case? Where did you find that case, mama? Mama. Ooh. No, it's not big. 
So it's how big is it? This big? What is it? What it? What it? Okay, this is going up. My mom's making it go off the rails. So congratulations to my mom. <clears throat> Serge, what's going on? How big's my tail? Oh fuck! I'll show that. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Terrence, I, Terrence, this, sorry, ones. Look at this goddamn wire. Here we go. Enough. I know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> you know what's going to be funny? In about 20 minutes, Zalen's going to send us a, a goddamn clip of that. I know what's happening. Zalen, you're here, right? You clip that, right? Uh, see? Oh, you, uh, you want to see more? Can I make it spin with my own ass? I don't think I can. <laughs> Let's see. Nah, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, <coughs> there you go. You'll notice. Very, very important. You guys will notice that uh, while I was doing that dance, I had rhythm. So, congratulations. Well, there you go. Uh, nobody paid for that, but I did it for free. Thank you. You know, it's crazy. Um, I think my stream's going to get banned. I, you're allowed to dance. I was showing my monkey tail. Let's get real. Yeah, I already know. I know what's going to happen. That clip's going to show up on OnlyFans, and it's going to be Zalen. Uh, what did my mom say? Listen, where, mom, where did I get my sense of humor from? I wonder if she knows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 8-Bit Eric dances on it. Yeah. He's like, hey, guys. What's up, guys? What? Zaylin, are you not working on an edit? So my mom says no idea. What do you mean no idea? I got my sense of humor from Opa, you crackhead. Ah. <sighs> You blew it. Yeah, I told you guys at the start, this is going off the rails. How much longer do I have to wear this goddamn suit, King? Oh no, what's that? Oh God. Andrew. I'm also in Ontario. Lovely real estate prices here, eh? Oh, hey. I've been thinking about moving out of Canada. I'm gonna move in with ones and he's gonna feed me chili. Mom confirmed he's a crackhead. Yep. Congratulations. Uh, Jay, do you like platformers? Says Crimson Waffle. Absolutely. Some of my favorite games of all time are exactly what you asked me. Platformers. I love Super Mario. Obviously, I grew up playing Super Mario, and that was my first introduction. Nope. Wait, I'm lying. You blew Congratulations. My first introduction, and my mom can confirm, two platformers was Wonder Boy on the Sega Master System. Ask my mom. She'll tell you. She's here. And my mom... Yeah, let me get serious for a sec. I wonder if I can... Let's see if I can make myself cry. Ready? Hang on. Let's see how good of an actor I am. Ready? Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. I, I can't even tell the story. My mom, my mom brutally, brutally. You are the king of the furries now. <laughs> let me, let me cry. Hang on. My mom brutally, and I mean brutally, 
I can't believe I can't believe this happened. She, um, I was playing Wonder Boy on the Sega Master System, just trying to enjoy my life as a, a young boy, a young innocent boy, and my mom brutally, <clears throat> accidentally, <clears throat> unplugged the Sega Master System. I was on I was on level forty six. And I, uh, I lost my save. Oh my god, tears. Look, tears. Tears. Actual tears. I did it. I'm an Oscar award-winning actor. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, my mom accidentally unplugged my Sega Master System once, and, um... I still think to this day it was on purpose because she wanted to beat me, but she couldn't because then people would see all of the scars on my body. So she mentally did it to me and she unplugged my system and yelled at me, which is not true, but that's how I remember it. She look in the chat. She says true story. See, RG says King of the Furries now, which is great. I can't wait to be on um, the internet as King of the Fur Furries. That's just a great story. And then Mystery said this. A place to live. It didn't work. It did not work, Misery. I appreciate the support. He's basically doing the commercial from Canada, which it should have worked, but. <coughs> so yeah, my mom brutally. Oh no, what's this? Check your discord. It's not sweet monkey tail. Yet. What did... Oh no. Oh no, he's so fast. He's so fast. What did he do? What did you send? Oh, I'll watch that one later, dude. Every last resident in this city. Shut up. Shut up. I want to Shut live up. a life. Shut up. I am not my. Oh, is this um? This is Master Darth D. Okay, let me uh, download it then. That's hilarious. Let's check out. Let's check out. Every last resident. So. Just so you guys know, Zalen is the master editor. He's been editing all these clips for me and stuff, and I've tried to put them on. The, by the way, I tried putting one on the channel, and we're gonna, we'll have to discuss that because copyright, it, it wouldn't let me put it up. But check this out. This is his uh, editing skill, and this is, who is this? This is master. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their paying. lives. Come through. For it made me shut, what? Want shut to up. Live a shut life up. I shut up. Of enduring looking. Oh my god! It is proof that I am not my mother's no. something. No, it came to me through. Pray, take this with my hand. Shut up! What the hell's going on in this? Wait, how did they get into the town? Dude, your clips are too much. Dude, how did you, um, how did that happen? You, you let the, uh, orcs show up in the town. Thank you, Zaylin, for your clips, man. He's got so many amazing clips that he sent me, which I wish I could upload. And now for a taste of things to come. You and me, baby. Hang on. Let, let me see if... Last time on JKB stream. Okay. Here. So here's another example of Zaylin's editing. Let's just, let's just show this. Last time on JKB streams. Okay. For some reason, this is on the screen. I don't know. I didn't get rid of that, guys. It just, it's like a, it just popped up. Does anyone know what that is? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Stranger, you, you have been stopped. <laughs> Little Caesars taste, not tastes, taste so good when you ain't got a b in your ear telling you it's nasty. <laughs> I don't know why that's on screen still, but Jay, what are your thoughts on Dragon Peen? Yes, I'm not afraid of a few jokes. Thank you. <laughs> like, how do you edit them so quick, too? Um, there's one more I'm gonna show of his. That's one of my favorites. Hang on. I know most people are like, okay, stop this, but watch this one. Oh, sh I got gout. Oh, sh I got gout. That's some heavy gout. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, hi, shrimp. Would you like to go on a date with me? What's that? Don't be so shy. Oh, hmm. Hi, bird. I see that you're <laughs> covered in delicious, crusty So breading. stupid. Do you mind if I take that off a little bit? Oh my. Ah! Sick of your bullshit. <laughs> like, I, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. He's, he's ridiculous. Hire him as your editor. I tried to hire him. I literally said, let me pay you for these things so we could do it. And he was like, no. And then I'm like, well, I, fine. Congratulations. You're fired. So yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a dancing bear one within like five minutes from now. So I appreciate that. Um, thank you ones. Appreciate your support, by the way. Oh no. What is this? Oh, spam. Oh, Christopher, which screen movie is your favorite and which is your least? Oh. Pardon me, the chili is talking back. Oh, Christo, 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 oh, Scream. I'm probably gonna get take, get killed for this one, but Scream, Scream One, Scream Two, Scream Five, Scream, Scream Five, Scream. Man, where does Four fit in? Scream One, Scream Two, Scream Five. I really did enjoy it, and then I'd go Scream Four and Six. And then three. So that is how I would do that. Thank you, King. I appreciate it, dude. Um, Terrence says, I've only seen one Scream movie. Oh, my God. No, oh, wonder, God. no wonder we're not good. No wonder that, you know, we never worked out. Like, you got one, you got one thing you need to do. Watch Scream movies. You can't even do that. Cosmic So Gucci. <laughs> um. Is that a knockoff DK? Holy shit, Mexican Kevin is here. You're fired. Listen, Kevin, I love you. Hopefully one day we can meet each other in real life. This is not a Donkey Kong suit, which I'm taking off now. Because I it's done. I'm dying. Hang on. It's coming off. Oh, I'm sweating in it. Sweating to death in this Donkey Kong suit. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Holy. Holy crap. It's gone. It's gone. Dude, I think I just sweat like 20 pounds in it. It is, it's, it's hanging up here. Oh God. So if you're just tuning in or watching the VOD, 
today is just a very kind of chill stream. I'm just relaxing. Carl's like, someone donate to put it back on. No, don't do that. <laughs> I'm fucking... I respect I'm your take on the Scream franchise, but my favorite scream is when Phil internally screamed during the May 1st incident. Also, I really liked your Dragon's Dogma 2 review. Thank now you. I need you to review the best game ever. Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. <laughs> what the hell's Putt Putt Saves the Zoo? Is that an actual game? Let's see. Holy shit, it is, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. What system is it on? Oh, it's on Steam. Oh no. Let's let's look at this together, guys. He wants me to review Putt Putt. <coughs> Putt Putt saves the zoo. What the hell is this? It's it's unbelievably good looking. Well, O Christopher says. O Christopher. O Christopher. Why is Stutter and Craig on your T-shirt? Oh, Christopher. <laughs> oh, shit. That's dark. <laughs> Stutter and Craig. <coughs> Dude. That's... Oh. oh Parasite or train to Bizon. Pick one whore. Uh, train to Bizon. Train all the way, man. I love that movie. Thank you, KJ. Um, Parasites, I like Parasite, but man, Train is just unbelievably heartfelt. So, yeah, that's a kid's game, by the way. Uh, where do I get all my shirts from? This one's from Terror Threads, I believe. So this one's from Terror Threads. I got it quite some time ago. It's, it's been sitting around for quite some time. Jay, have you seen uh, Belco Experiment? No, I haven't. I know what that one is, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> Green Mind says the Yoda, the Lego Yoda voice. Dude, that, that voice makes me laugh every time somebody uses it in the stream. Terror threads are awesome shirts. How many tats do I have? Uh, I have one, two, three. I have three. Green Mind says low gout support stream. It's a kid's point adventure game. Dude, I I would not review that. I have better things to do. Um, I'm, about to, I'm about to download it. Ke Keb says, you missed my message. Where? Where is it? Congratulations. Where? You're fired. I don't see it. Maybe it popped up. Did you super chat? Or you just mean in the chat, dude? Because super chat sometimes messes up. I don't see it. But let me know. Uh, Gabe says you missed my brown hole. <laughs> Listen, you guys think that I'm going to come out here and miss a goddamn brown hole. You think I'm coming down here to not see your brown holes anymore? The only reason I stream is to see all the brown holes. So don't come at me saying I'm missing the brown holes. That's why I'm fucking here in the first place. God damn it. You're Congratulations. Fire. God, you're getting me worked up about the brown holes, man. Rick says. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no. You can buy Pot Pot others right now for cheap on Humble Bundle. I'm not buying That's it. my honey pot, old oh, Christopher. Christopher. Astro Zombies has nice nipples. Yeah, well, listen, you can't promote your own nipples in the chat. Please ban him immediately. I kept telling you guys last week, my cat's got no legs. It's a low support stream. My girlfriend's car has no fucking tires on it. And then we got Astro Zombie promoting his own nipples in the chat like he's king shit. You can't come in here and do that. First of all, that's disgusting because that was supposed to be a private, that was supposed to be private between us. And now you're talking about your nips in my chat without my permission. Listen, you guys know you have to pay me about $5, $5 to talk about your breasts and no one's done that. So I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. By the way, I've been watching Game Chasers, and it really brings me back, man. 
It really does bring me back. It's been a long time since I was on the Game Chasers, but holy shit, man. Um, I, I love that show. I love what those guys do on the show. Even 10 years later, all the episodes are about them farting still. So I give them credit for that, even though I never really enjoyed that part of the show. Um, yeah. Listen, okay, Astro, if you're going to say that you have nice nipples, at least prove it. Like, don't come in my stream and talk shit unless you're going to prove it. You know what I mean? What Game Chasers episodes were you on? Well, we can actually look at that together quickly if you'd like. If not, you're going to fucking watch it anyways. Let's see. The Game Chasers. You're watching The Game Chasers. Um, by the way, if you don't know... The guy that says that in every episode is actually Rerez. You're watching the Game Chasers. That's Rerez. Uh, I just gave away the secret, so congratulations. So I was on the Game Chasers multiple times. I was on the Game Chasers for so d episode one. I was not in. Now I'm in the thumbnail. That's me in the thumbnail here. You guys want to see me and the game chasers? When yes, you're covered. Will you shut up? No one asked for your ads. So in the episode, Billy and Jay are on a mission. Uh, Pat's also in the episode, which really brings it down. But here's my role on the game chasers. Let's see if you guys enjoy you know, this. Sometimes I feel really unwanted. Huh, what do you know? You're right. There's the cabin. I told you it was this way. I could smell the poutine. You hear that? That's an inside joke because I'm Canadian. Uh, who's at the door? A moose. <laughs> Who do you think? Let us in. It's creepy out here. I swear I saw a ginger dead man and I'm not even joking. Uh, here we go. Here's me. Uh, come, come in. <coughs> Sorry about that. You, you can't be too careful these days, you know? So what brings you to ragamuffins to my neck of the woods? Crop circles? Did you know they emit a low-frequency hum? <coughs> now, just so you guys know, <coughs> I'm playing a conspiracy theorist that lives in Canada. I have proof! Look! A photo of a drawing of a photo the day before Kennedy was assassinated. Can you believe this? Look, can you cure this asshole or not? Yeah, I gotta tell you, this whole thing is really weirding me out. What in the living hell are you two babbling about? I sent you a letter. Uh, you mean this? Yeah, that. I couldn't <laughs> even decipher it. It's obviously written in some advanced ancient code. You can't read? Yeah, I thought you were all smart and stuff. I'm sorry, guys. You have me stumped. Show me on my computer. Listen uh, here. Wait, what was that? <laughs> so yeah, um, volume up. Sorry, I'll play it. I'll I'll turn it up after. Um, I'll put the link to it in the chat if you guys want to finish watching that. But um, yeah. It was fun going on Game Chasers. A lot of people said that I was I should have been a voice actor after doing that, which I kind of agree with. To be an egomaniac, I kind of agree with it. What did I miss here? Um, Jostler said this. Listen here. Watch Ganja Asylum at Jack. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't even know what that means. And then Astro Zombie said... I'll send pics to Jay and ones exclusively. Thank you. So I'm excited to announce that, that uh, Astro Zombie is going to send photos of his nipples to us. So the way the Game Chasers episode worked was that we, well, they sent me a script and I essentially read it, but I added a lot of my own stuff into it. <laughs> You guys definitely have a problem on your hands. Even worse than the Boggy Creek Monster. Spare me the science mumbo jumbo, Rue. I got two questions. One, can you fix him? And B, do you have any Nintendo games? Maybe. 
Well, can you go check? We don't have all day here. Yes. I just need to get my book on the paranormal. Why do you keep your video games in a book? What are you, an idiot or something? No, you moron. The book is for logging his games, not storing the actual carts. Dumb! <laughs> so stupid. I think Game Street one's hands are alien. <laughs> you know why? Because they're so big, he can pick up anything. That, 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 that's an ad lib line because I met Game Straight one and he had gigantic hands. You know Pat, that NES punk? He's, he's got DNA in him. Alien DNA, I'm telling you. The proof is on the moon. Damn. Blast! This is the most extensive paranormal book known to man. Yet there's nothing on where it's squirrelism. Here, look, I have this photo of a, a Xeroxed copy of an original artist representation of a were squirrel. Let's look at this. Is there any <laughs> That was uh that that joke right there in the episode was actually taken out of um an alien show that I was watching at the time. I watched this stupid alien show that I was obsessed with where they talked about all the proof they had, and one of the guys was like, Look. I have a photo of a Xerox of an alien and he showed it and people were like, is he being serious? So I used that. I sound like shaggy kind of. Um, so I used that as sort of a, you know, inspiration in the episode. I kept saying that. Why do I sound like shaggy? I don't know. They told me to sound like I was on a cartoon. So I just said, okay, I'll do that. Like I was talking like this the whole episode. I guess that kind of does sound like uh, Shaggy, doesn't it? Um, I had fun doing those episodes. Um, I I would totally do another episode with them if they ever did it again, but it took them like three months to make an 18-minute episode. Um, I think I show up in other episodes as well. Um... Also, this, this, this line at the very end would be, uh, which, um, the line at the very end of the episode, I ad-libbed because I was like sick of doing the episode. Wait to come back and visit again. Oh, that was fun. Get the fuck out. I'm going to go on eBay and pay $3,000 for a copy of Mario Duck Hunt. <laughs> that line was me uh, and they left it in I just did it as a joke I'm like well get the fuck out and they left it in there anyways there you go if you want to watch it I, I linked it there I'm also in a couple of like live action episodes I don't remember which ones there's one about ghosts which we should watch on stream one day I think you guys would really um, enjoy that can you say ghosts in the voice Robo Taco says, G -g "Ghosts." <laughs> that's how. That's how he. I think he directed me over the phone, so I remember him being like, "Can you say ghosts again?" But like, do it like a like an idiot. So that was a lot of fun, man. I had a blast doing that. I need scissors. Sixty-one. Bingus. I don't even know what that meant. Yeah, in the episode 8-Bit Eric's scared of shadow people, it's um it's a paranormal basement episode where we went into this basement and it, it was legitimately scary down there. But what's crazy about that episode is at the very end of the episode, they actually caught something moving on camera and they show it at the end of the episode. I, I don't... Um, did I shut that down? Yeah, I did. Whoops. No, I didn't. Um... I don't know what... Does anyone know what episode that was of Game Chasers, the paranormal one? I guess I should know myself, shouldn't I? It's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Uh, I think it was like episode... 67? I think? Let me look through this. Um, I don't even remember what the episode was called. Um, I 
Yeah, I, I wish I could just pull it up, but I do not remember the episode. Ras, what's going on? Ras, kiss my ass. Uh, I do not see the episode, man. I do not see it. Ghosts in the Shell, that's 71. I think it was like 67. Dude, they've done a ton of episodes. Have you guys seen the Game Chasers? 52. Okay, it's 52. Yep, okay, thank you, man. Appreciate you pulling that one out. 52. Thank you. Dude, that is now how many years old? Wow. Here it is. Let me ask, do you guys want to see this? And if we hear anything that's... It's a long episode. It'd be a long episode to watch. That, I don't know. It's a long episode. I don't know if everyone wants to sit here and watch the whole goddamn thing. I think, you know what we'll do? We'll do it on another episode where people are prepared for it. I don't want to just like randomly go, hey, we're going to watch a whole goddamn episode. Chasers. I'll, I'll just show you this part. Because this is classic. Dude, you didn't hear the door open and close? I thought I did. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, the shadow people in my place. So how much does that take off? A lot, actually. I don't want to be in this basement. You're not going to acknowledge that you probably need to go change your underwear? Freaking out. These guys are just trying to scare me because they know that <laughs> I'm a chicken. <clears throat> we have to be quiet for at least like 10 seconds. <laughs> I did a ghost hunt in the basement. Just to hear it, like the, the environment, right? And I start to hear sounds and I'm thinking, should I bring these up? I don't know, like whatever. Let's get into I the seance. Everyone who's not in on this right now is getting f***ing taken for a fool. This is dumb. <laughs> this... if we hear anything that's not like the environment, then we're f***ing. <laughs> Eric looks terrified right there. Oh, man. That was eight years ago, guys. Um, <coughs> thank you for becoming a legend there, uh, Obama Phone Max. Happy Easter, Jay. Your streams are definitely not boring, and you're a good host. Thank you, man. I appreciate you saying that. Um, sometimes I don't know, man. But, guys, listen. Go watch the episode on your own. You know, I'll, I'll save it here. That's one of my favorite episodes of all time. And uh, like just looking at 8-Bit Eric's face, he's so terrified. Like, watch. Ready? Okay, go. Dude, what are you so get it? Come on, come on. Oh, let's scare Eric. We have nothing better to do. We're looking for games, guys. Come on. I'm I'm right here. Just, seriously, I'm good right here. <laughs> I want you to think about this. This place is from the 1700s. You know how many people died where you're <laughs> <laughs> man i got eric so bad that day i'm like this place is from the 1700s you know how many people fucking died where you're standing and just as i said that the employee banged on the door and everyone ran like children let's watch your sexy nerd girl episode oh man um, I don't know about that one. That's been a while, a while. Sexy nerd girl. Um, wow. So sexy nerd girl was a show. Let's just be honest about that one. And wait, they deleted a whole bunch of episodes. What the hell? Wait, why? Oh, we've we've moved operations to a different channel. Okay, hang on. That's weird. Why did they move it? Okay, so 
Oh, they did creator's commentary. Okay, so Sexy Nerd Girl was a show back in the day. Doesn't have a lot of views on it. Wow, some of them are really low. That's crazy to see. Um, but dude, no, they actually deleted a ton of her stuff. That's shit. Why would they do that? Man, that sucks. So here's what it looked like. Christopher. Don't mind me. I was just playing hard to get. <sighs> Don't get ahead of yourself. It's so cheesy. Um, but I can't believe that they deleted them. So yeah, that that sucks, man. Um, so which episodes was were, was I in here? Um, I was in one with Peter Chow. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Now, this is the great. episode where I met Mark Mir. You're great, too. I mean, so do you look great. Also, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you at the diner. I'm sorry it's taken so long to make another date. Work's been crazy, but I've really been looking forward to this. Me, too. And I'm not drunk this time. Oh, well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> so how have you been? Me? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Waking up in the morning going to bed at night so in this episode she essentially defeats all of her ex-boyfriends who are zombies actually there's only the hard way well yeah i came here with my old boyfriend tim and then more recently there was danny Although he called me a bitch on the internet, so that didn't really work out. Before that, another guy, Jay. <laughs> There's me. Sorry, I, I, and I know I didn't have it on screen. I'm an idiot, but here we go. Before that, another guy, Jay. Um, Jay met on YouTube, 12 dates, awkward online, broken up. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're fired. Ah, oh, man. Um, so that was 10 years ago, guys. That is 10 years ago where I was on the show. So what happened was that they contacted us and we're just like, hey, we, um, we love your show. Do you want to be a zombie? And I'm like, yeah, okay. And then, um, Oh shit, watch this guys. Watch this, this is crazy. So, here's another episode that they did. Maybe if you play it a little bit more, you know. Everybody oh, smells like sausages. Now, listen, listen, <clears throat> DFGs are cheap, excuse me. No, thank you. You could be super stealth and then some 13 year old with a rocket launcher kills you with almost no effort. Still, I reserve the right to kill a noob with a DFG. Agreed. <laughs> but it's this whole noob thing that drives me crazy. It's no fun. Word. Me too. And it's no fun playing against some homophobic power tripping preteen with a pube stash. I'm sorry, but I can't stand their trash talk. Well, maybe if you learned to trash talk a little bit, you'd be able to take it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Trash talk for the win. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching 3KB. And I'd like to thank Sexy Nerd Girl and Friend for joining us today. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. Hey, do you think they'd make a good match? <laughs> I, I look like a woman. I look like a woman. Oh my god. Mm. Well, tall. You guys, we should go paintballing. La Palm party, proceed. I I look like my head doesn't. I look like a lesbian. I look like a lesbian to woman. The 
Who are you playing against? Us! Yeah, I look like a lesbian. Prepare to Let's make just... a bio in your pants, mother bitches. We got the stat and the tactics, so we are going to serve your newbie called ass. Because we... Now, look who's also on the show. We are the owners. How do you want to die today? Necromancers, assassins, snipers, bounty hunters? What's it going to be? We're going to kill you bitches dead. These guys. Now, yeah, um... Peter Chow, who used to be a gigantic YouTuber back in the day, they flew him in from Vancouver to be in the episode. And it's crazy to just see him here. Well, we don't have a so... team name. <laughs> We're just here to have fun. You know, get some fresh air, a little exercise, maybe some bruises. Maybe we could be team super fun. The Funzos? Ooh, what about five pals? <gasps> I like, five, I like pals. five pals. Wait a minute. You're sexy nerd girl. Yeah, so anyways, this this was a lot of fun to shoot. I think we got shot like instantly right here. And then I'm like out of the show. Anyways, enough of that shit. Um, I had a fun time doing it. It's just, you know, that's 10 years ago on YouTube. But, you know, it's crazy because I'd be walking around downtown and people would come up to me and be like, aren't you sexy nerd girl's boyfriend? And I'd be like, yes, I, I am. And I had to play along, which was like, like a really weird thing. Uh, Christopher says you look better now. Thank you. Oh, Christopher. Oh, Christopher. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Uh, Winnie the Pooh appreciates it. Let's see. Look at that. Winnie the Pooh. There you go. You can't see him. Jay, how did you fix your receding hairline? <laughs> I didn't. It's still there. I'm still receding. Actually, to be honest, that's not in the episode there. That's not a receding hairline. My hairline just like went up and now it's just worse because it's receding. So I I'm not bald. I'm not really super balding, but I do have a receding hairline. Um, but yeah, Dev, thanks in the chat. Appreciate you coming through. Show us. It's a man. Oh, shit. Here we go. I have shown my hair before. Look, I don't give a shit. Look. It's, it's receding a little bit right here. But it's not terrible. You know? Look, it's that's as far back as it going. There, you happy? Look, it's receding there. Right there. And I'm on this side, too. See? I look like... I look like Jack Nicholson. You know, I look like Jack Nicholson on the show. Gonna have to come down there and kill you. Thank you, Obama Max. Appreciate it. Who's gifted five members. Five members! Thank you for that. We should have a no hat stream monetize this? No. I wear the hat because that's sort of what I've always done. See, that's a man's hairline. See, shave your head like Steve Austin? Nope. Stone Cold E.T. <clears throat> uh, that puts us up to... We are currently sitting at uh, 12 members for the stream. I appreciate everybody that's doing that. Thank you. Hats off in the church. Listen, if this is a church, then I'm going to shove this Winnie the Pooh in my ass because it's not. Austin needs to have blo long blonde hair. I remember those days. Remember those days? So... Jay added 20 years when he removed the hat. Yeah. I have a very young face, but my hair is just makes me look, you know, long hair on a dude doesn't really, you know. Oh, Christopher. Oh, no. What? 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 Surge is it? Surge doesn't have his membership anymore. What happened? Oh, yeah, I guess some people are going to lose their memberships because they were gifted. Holy shit. Congratulations. That's... 
That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. Low support receding hairline stream. Thank you, Biff. Thank you for making me self-conscious about that. I look forward to, um, yeah, having a great, oh, gifts. Yeah, it's the gifts expire. I'm, I see. It expired like my body. Look, look, Serge, your body may be expiring around you, but remember, you can still show it off. There's still a few days. Hoot Violet. Time traveling. What's going on, Wales? We must fight the membership loss. Tide that is incoming. Oh, no. Listen, ones. There's no... I think it'll go over time. Like, it takes months and months and months. I'm sure we'll get more that come in. So I'm not like... I'm... I'm you know, my goal was originally 300, not 3,000. Ooh. Hyped for, hyped for WrestleMania season. Ah, man. I mean, I like what they're kind of doing with it. But... Blab says my membership will stay. Thank you, Blab. I appreciate you. Oh, no. Here goes Ones. Ones just gifted five memberships. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you, dude. You, you really don't have to. I appreciate it, though. You guys are ridiculous. Oh, Christopher. Whales to the pod. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing. Oh, no. Thank you, Ones. Did it go to anybody that's here right now? Of course it didn't. I heard you had- I heard you mention you think PC is the supreme platform. Are you PC MR? Um, what's a PC MR? I- I don't know what that term is. Thank you, Ones. Seriously, appreciate it, dude. Oh, Master Race. Am I a PC Master Race? Wait until you see what PC is showing up here in the next couple of weeks. Just wait. Just wait. I'll be making a video on the main channel talking about my new PC. It is absolutely insane. I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ones. Ones is trying to get Surge a, a gifted membership there. I appreciate that. What graphics card am I going to get? I'm getting a 4070 Ti Super, I believe it's called. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because a 4080 is just 10% faster in most of the uh, specs there. So, realistically, it's not like I'm worried about that. Uh, Green Mind, thank you, dude. Appreciate your support. Yeah, so it's a 4070 Ti, and then the graphics card? I always forget what that is. Hang on, though. Hang on, I'm, I gotta see something here. Hey, Jay, just woke up, lol. What did I miss? Who's that? Who just woke up? Um, let me, let me pull up the specs of the PC again. Sorry, they're in a list here. Um, okay, so the PC specs should be pulled up any second here. Sorry, they're pretty much buried in this chat. I know that I have them elsewhere, but... Good news, just confirmed the case. The case is a Thermal Take 300 tower. Wait for it. Okay, so. Here they are. PC specs, okay, so. Um, it's the thermal, th it's thermal take 300 case and it's thermal take tough Ram 64 gigabytes of tough Ram, by the way, it is a liquid cooler for the CPU. Uh, I'm going to have two, uh, SSDs in there. Of course, thermal take tough fans six in total. So that should really cover any issues that I have with heat. I'm getting a thermal take tough power supply, a thousand Watts, and then we're doing, for the, 
I already mentioned for the GPU, it's a 7040 Ti Super. And I'm doing a Ryzen 9 79X 3D for the CPU. That CPU is essentially made for people that work on video games. It's a top, it's, it's ridiculous for 3D. So I'm getting the, yeah, sorry, did, did I say 70? Sorry, I'm getting a 4070 Ti Super. And then the CPU is a Ryzen 7 7900X 3D. Um, so it is a beast of a computer with 64 gigs. I, I, it's like, it's very close to top of the line. I think, I don't know. It should be fine for what we're doing on stream here. And then I'm donating the computer I'm currently on to the teen center that's um, in town here. Living Legend said, Jay just woke up. What did I miss? First and foremost, you missed um, a lot. We're up, to, we're up to 17 members. So that's number one. Number two, Tower Dragon just gifted another member. Thank you, dude. Uh, Gabe says the PCMR stands for put cream in my round hole, <laughs> which is so stupid, but I can't help but laugh. Brett says, damn, my membership lapsed. Dude, I think tonight we're going to see a lot of memberships lapsing tonight. So it is what it is. Uh, I appreciate all the memberships that are here. You guys are incredible. And thank you for that. So. I said that it's been two hours. Usually I take two hours just to shoot the shit with you guys. Then we're going to get into some of the stories. Yeah. No, I'd rather not do that. Um, I put a pic of my PC in your Discord messages. Dude, your, your P I'll check it later. We'll show it tomorrow. It's tomorrow on the show at 5 p.m. EST. My mom's on the show. Make sure you tune in for that. So I wanted to have a discussion with you guys about some crazy stuff. And it was mostly about growing up in the, in, you know, the nineties and then going into high school. And I was curious, how old is everybody in the chat? Let me know in the chat so I can get a sort of consensus of how old everyone is. I keep thinking that that's, I keep feeling like that's sunlight, but it's actually the light for my, um, I have set up. So Alice says 41, Jostler says 39 times two, which is weird. Zalen is 32. Everyone seems to be pretty old, except Blitzboy, who's 18. Holy shit, you're fired. You're fired! Uh, let's see. Every, uh, we got a 50-year-old in here. Uh, Mr. Venom. Left controller is 57. Uh, Shivas, uh, Vegas TV is 144. How is he walking? Let alone getting in bed with me later. Congratulations. Terrence says he's 12. Who was? which just makes our jokes about being with each other way different. So I would not be 12 in the chat, Terrence, please. That is just weird. Thank you. I am 42, was born in 81. Cool, cool, cool. So most of you guys would have been around for the PlayStation 2. Sorry, PlayStation 1 was, yeah, Terrence, yeah. So what I wanted to talk about was, the first time, so I was a teenager and yeah, you guys know most of the stories or a lot of the stories about me being in high school, but let me, let me tell a quick story that might jog some people's memories and let's see if you guys can relate to it. First and foremost, let me actually turn on the heat in here because I'm dying. It's freezing. It's funny cause I take off the, I take off the suits and I freeze to death. I don't know. I turned the heat on. So how many of you had a PlayStation one as your first system? <laughs> no pants stream. Nope. Jessica says I didn't have a PlayStation. What consoles did you have Jess? Um, Obama says N64 was mine. A lot of people's first consoles were N64 in the chat. That's super interesting. Terrence is Terrence, man. How old are you? The 5,200 was your first console. Jesus. Is that before or after you had that ugly dog living with you? Um, I was a, my first console was the Wii says green mind. Look Holy here, look, listen, go ahead That's and crazy. plan a rocksmith 2014 gaming sessions and play free bird on the electric. Let's <laughs> go. 
Also, is it okay for me to play Earthbound on the Super Nintendo before Earthbound on the Nintendo Entertainment System? Yeah, that's fine. You play whatever game you want. Sorry, I just, I turned the air conditioner on, not the heat. You blew, you blew it. it. Congratulations. So Leafs fan says Turbo Graphics was his first. Let me know in the chat all of your first systems. I just want to see. Nightmare Jack Style says his first system was the SNES. Terrence says he played with his own holes, which is really weird. You know, I, he's just digging a hole. You got to stop saying that shit, dude. NES, Super Nintendo. Sorry, I see NES. I see PlayStation 2. Mike Winfield says the um, the ZX, ZX Spectrum was his first console. So my first console was the Sega Master System, which I let you guys already know that. Um, who, 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 who. Terrence is like fucking crazy. So yeah, um, you know, going from the consoles that I grew up with, we're talking about the Sega Master System, the NES, the Genesis, the Super Nintendo. That was like an era, right? M4, M4, thank you, gamer, in the chat. Let me grab a quick drink, one sec. Dude, I'm actually cold. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm like freezing here. Hey, Sierra, what's the temperature out? Six degrees. Terrence says, I was fortunate enough to grow up with some of the best banger cartoons and toys. Listen, Terrence, I don't think it's a good idea to mention you had a toy called the banger. Because we all know where that went, right? Right out there. Just, just living legend. Oh, my God. What the hell, dude? Oh. Hey, Sir, turn off the heat. God. Well. The poo suit's inside out. I appreciate that. Thank you, King. Thank you. Now I cannot freeze to death. By the way, the, the just so you guys know, the poo suit hasn't been washed for about a month. And uh, it probably smells like the inside of some rat's ass. Oh, Christopher. <laughs> this has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever bought. Oh, Who's tenderly press the O crisp button several times. I, the king, lesbian AM, formally requesting the pusu for the joy of my people. Also, maybe this could help fend your psychic stream. Christopher. My first console was a PS1. With the game Croc, then I got a N64 with Pokemon Stadium. Crazy. Whoa. My first console was a PS1 with the game called Croc. I remember that one. And then you had an N64 with Pokemon Stadium. What's crazy is I never got into Pokemon. So let me play the King of Les again. 
Thank you so much. <sighs> Thank you. Pulse I really... tenderly pressed the O crisp button several times. Oh, I, the king lesbian AM, formally requesting the Pusu for the joy of my people. Also, maybe this could help fend your psychic stream. Yeah. Dude, that, that sound effect of Yoda always my makes me laugh. My first console was the Amico. It made my jaw hit the ground. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. Listen, uh, King, King is getting a whale tonight because he's a whale tonight. Thank you, King. I appreciate it. I really do. Um... Usually that's just for Zaylin and ones, but King tonight has taken the throne. And also, I'm assuming that Zaylin's about to send me some sort of edit, which we'll see in a second. Guys, check this out. So I know that you guys uh, like movies out there. I found this and I totally forgot I owned it. Guess what this is? This is an original, by the way. I have to be very careful with it. I am going to get it framed, okay? Thank you again, King. Oh my God, Ones, this goddamn cable. Okay, Ones, watch this. I'm getting it framed. By the way, notice how it goes blue and then it goes red or warm and cold. That's called lighting. Ready? Can you guys, wait, wait. Can you guys guess what movie poster this is? Can you guess? I'll give you a hint. It involves a very small, cute thing from the 80s that makes sounds. It's from the 80s. It's cute, and it's from the 80s. Once Two Cents got it. Congratulations. Check out this poster. This is an original. This is how they used to ship them. Um, yeah. I can't believe I own this thing. I can't believe I can't unfold it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I'm not going to completely unfold it, but you guys get the idea. So back in the 80s, they would actually send... They would send posters like this to the movie theaters. So all the movie theater posters would show up in an, an envelope. <sighs> Green Mind says, Jay, how much money to start twerking again? Astro Zombie, I'd love to unfold you, buddy. I would bend you over like a fucking pretzel. You're fired. Oh, I said that out loud. Okay, there you go. It's back in its protective case. Um, listen, bend me over like a pretzel. Let's go. You're fired. So how much to twerk on stream? Dude... Guys, how much for me to twerk on stream? Somebody let him know. Somebody let him know. <laughs> Guardian, yeah, I guess I do. Joker, Joker81, who I think's my uh, stepdad, says free. Five dollars is what you got. One's two cents is a hundred dollars. Um, everyone else is saying five dollars. $69, Gabe. That's not a bad idea. Minus $5, says Enforcer Zero. $69. How much for... How much for Justin to twerk? Jasper says, give us money. Listen, I'm not twerking on the stream again. You guys... Hoot wireless. Hoot wireless. Hoot wireless. Alice says $420.69. There you go. 
Somebody donate $420.69, according to Alice, and I'll twerk again. There you go. Ready? Congratulations. I need sexy coco to love my brown hook. Congratulations. All right. So getting back to the, uh, before we got derailed here. Getting back to the consoles, because I, I think you guys appreciate talking about this. I just wanted to talk about this one story that happened in high school. So we went to school one day, and somebody said to us, have you tried the PlayStation yet? And we were like, what are you talking about? And this is the first time I learned about a PlayStation. Remember, in grade school, we had, we had, um, we had magazines, and that's it. We had no internet. So... That's it. There's no way to learn about this stuff. So somebody said, it's at the Sony store. Now, back in the day, there was such thing as the Sony stores. I think they all shut down in Canada. Uh, Ewok in the chat, I crave you too. I'd put you on peanut butter and lick you up. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it was like the Wild West back then, Alice. I don't know if um, you guys... Exp like, let me know. Did you guys have Sony stores where you lived? So we all decided... In that moment, to screw school, we did this multiple times. We just left school, and we all went to the Sony store, which is about a 50-minute walk. And we went through people's backyards, and somebody got in a pool. It was crazy, but who cares about that part? We get to the Sony store, and at, lo and behold, at the back of the store is the PlayStation. And we it, they just put it out. There was a demo disc playing Warhawk on the screen and our heads exploded. Remember, we were we were stuck with what we were stuck with. Most of us had a Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, right? So to be able to see this console in real life, I wonder how many of you had that moment. You know, we, I also had that moment too with, uh, yes, Terrence, we know. Uh, I also had that moment with the N64 going into um, Toys R Us, seeing it for the first time. What is happening? I'm getting emails. Uh, Biff in the chat says we had Sony stores in the UK, mainly TV stores, uh, served by a young Jim Ryan. Well, I'll tell you about him right now. Ready? You're fired. Saturn is still better. says, Mr. Awesome, fight me. Dude, I mean, I don't know. The bots are here? What bots? Nightbot's here. That's about it. Is that beer? No. Um, that is not beer. I'm drinking... Arizona sweet tea. Just to be clear, stream. Arizona sweet tea. Sonic is lame. Well, that gets me to my next story, right? Back in the day, we had like a war. Like, what's better, Mario or Sonic? How, let's let's do it in the chat. I'm curious. Let's do a poll. I have got... Okay, here we go. Starting the poll now. I, I honestly, I think Mario's going to win this. Let's watch it in live. Right now, we get to the better games. We've got Mario versus Sonic. We've got one vote in. We're at eight votes. Mario is taking it at 65%, 75%, 87% Mario. Looks like Sonic is hovering around 25, 24. Looks like Ones has nice nipples and sexy Coco put his ghost penis in my Congratulations. ass. Right now, Mario is still winning at 73% with 67 votes. I should have been one of those guys that did that for real, right? Uh, we got one's two cents showing his nipples in the chat, which is really weird. We didn't even ask for that. And Mr. Awesome is showing his buttocks. It is clearly plump and juicy. We'd love to touch it out there. Congratulations. You blew it. All right. So we got more Mario fans than uh, anything else. One's two cents. We So just so you know, Sexy Coco and I forced one's two cents to change his name to one's two breasts. 
No, one's breast. No, what was it? What did we? Oh, no. What did Zaylin do? Oh, he sent it. He sent it. He says, not his strongest one. I knew he was gone. I knew he was off doing something. Stuff into it? Ah, no! Here we go. Let's see what, what ones... Or sorry, let's see what Zaylin came up with. Stuff into it? Ah, no! Here we go. You guys definitely have a problem on your hands. Or <laughs> alien. You know why? Because they're so big, he can pick up anything. <coughs> you no, know, Pat, that NES punk, he's, he's got DNA in him. Alien DNA, I'm telling you. The proof is on the moon. Yeah. I think my stream's gonna get banned. I, you're allowed to dance. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Are you smoking your socks? <laughs> Dude, I gotta admit, my ass there is Look just... The Look at that! The the <laughs> yeah. Oh I my god, my... Get banned. I, oh. You're allowed to dance. Well, that's what you missed if you're just tuning in now. By the way, Winnie the Pooh doesn't have a tail, does he? Where's my Winnie the Pooh tail? There isn't. Um, dude, my dancing is like spect. So Zaylin, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. That is legendary. You are a legend. Um, you're fired. Yeah, that 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 poo suit is. It's got an opening on the back, but. So thank you, Zaylin, for. Your amazing edits. You are a legend. Um, keep in mind, tomorrow my mom will be on stream. So I hope you guys tune in for that. Zaland, goddamn legend. Absolute legend, dude. I appreciate your support. I appreciate that you're a whale. Um, the bad news for you, though, is... You're fired. So I didn't want to tell you on stream, but... Um, you blew it. You blew it. Zaland, love you. You are you are too much, and now forever, everyone will have me dancing in a bear suit. <sighs> King has taken the crown today, says Zaylin. Actually, yeah, he has. He has. This this goes out to the uh, the king. You know what this means. You blew it. Congratulations. Congratulations to the king. So getting back to some of the uh, topics before we got derailed by my ass. Oh, wait, we're getting we're getting a good question here from Living Legend. Living Legend, thank you for the support, by the way. I appreciate you. I like the way you move. I like the way you look. I especially like the way you walk to school every day. I watch from a van that I live in down by the river. You blew it. This fucking ground, look. If I sit still, look, look. Like, I... The church is... The church is bent. Why didn't that play? What is happening now? Oh my god. Where's Zelda? Zelda's actually right next to me here, sleeping. Hi, baby. Dude, why are the alerts just randomly broken? What did Zaylin do? Zaylin donated and broke it all. Let me do a test one quickly here to see if this is toast. Wait a minute. What is happening? Okay. Let's try one more time. One of my best memories growing up was when I went to Toysrus back in 97 and played Spyro there. 
That yeah. day fundamentally changed my interest in 3D platformers, and I got a PS1 on my 11th day. Dude, that is an amazing story because it brings me right back into my story. Living Legend, thank you for the support. Seriously, dude. Toys R Us. I told the story before, so I'm not going to you know, like blab it again, but going into Toys R Us for the first time and playing Mario 64, same experience as you had, man. Playing 3D platformers, man. Holy crap. I remember the explosion of satisfaction when all of those 3D platformers came out. Spiral the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, all the other ones I can't think of now. Jack and Daxter on the PS2 um, was a major one for me moving forward in my life because at that point I was sort of sick of all the platformers. But Banjo-Kazooie, holy shit, Rayman. What else do we have? Nights into Dreams. It was okay. I didn't, you know, I was really good at that game, but I, I, I told you already. I won like a tournament playing that. Um, uh, Living Legend says they had two set up. One was N64 with Mario. One with Crash. Wow, that's like a double header. Twins Clown says it was Mario Sunshine at Walmart with me. Dude, yeah, those um, those demos back in the day. I remember going into a uh, Kmart. How many of you have Kmart? Let me know in the chat. Um, by the way, let's end this uh, poll. Mario won by seventy four percent. So let's get real here. Of course, he's gonna win. Um, how many people have Kmart? By the way, Kmart closed long ago. We used to. Okay, so Kmart was in the states. So, oh, Pro Jesus. That name, congratulations. That name is incredible. Pro Jesus. What the hell? I have a hair in my fucking nose. <laughs> me, I live in New Zealand. Holy shit, dude. What? Look, somebody's giving me hearts there. Look at these little hearts. Um. Oh, the legend Ragnarok's here. Says, not able to join your stream while you stream earlier. No problem, dude. Appreciate your input on Twitter the other day. Uh, it made me want to move on and just have fun. Dude, it is what it is, man. I appreciate the support and you being a legend member here. You know, I also want to say respect to you. We got into a slight, not disagreement, but we just had different opinions. Most people on Twitter would try to take me down or say negative things, but we just had a conversation and that was that, you know? And also you you said... um, you just want to move on. Dude, again, like, it, I get it. I get it. Oh, God, Wes is here. Is that the West Wes? I don't know. But Ragnarok, I get it, dude. Like, that stuff's entertaining to a certain degree. I used to be a huge, huge, you know, fan of that crap back in the day when I started YouTube. But you just realize after a while, it's like, the only reason it's it's even happening is because you're watching it. If you didn't watch it, then they wouldn't I be making videos banjo, on it. I want to your koozie. Pro J, thank you. You want to banjo my koozie? I mean, uh, we can do that. Actually, I do have a question. If I was going to play retro... Let me just put a poll up. But yeah, Ragnarok, we're all good, man. I appreciate you coming in there and saying that. Respect to you. Um, and thank you again for being a member. Okay, Astro said something and it didn't play it, of course. Um... It's not going to. I think it's at $7 minimum. My dad minimum. had an attorney friend and his name was Mike Hunt. True story. One's is outside my house like the entity looking to penetrate my holes. Don't fucking say that. I almost puked. Oh my God. <sighs> um... So I'm thinking about doing these streams now here d between the, let's start a poll between these two games. Thank you. Astro zombie, by the way, I appreciate you big time, dude. A game. I want to do a game stream coming up here, right? But 
should I do Resident Evil 2 on PS1 or Mario 64? Which one would you rather me talk about and play on the stream? Um, vote now. Vote now. Ah, vote now. Ah. Vote. Ah. Let's see who wins that poll. Um, Zalen says, oh man, it's close. Yeah, it's close, dude. It is a close bet. Okay, Astro Zombie, thank you. Pro Jesus, thank you. Ragnarok, respect to you again. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Also, Ragnarok. Mario, 3D World, Bowser's Fury, or Mario Odyssey. That is a tough one, isn't it, man? I'm going to go with Bowser's Fury over Mario Odyssey. I know some people are going to be like, what? Bowser's Fury is exactly how I want my Mario games to go. If you haven't played that, it's great. White Lando is out of here? Wait. Are you leaving? Or is my mom leaving? What's happening here? If you're leaving White Lando, I appreciate you. I ate your candy. I'll eat more of your candy. Mom's leaving. Where are you going, Mom? What do you got to do? Other than bake me more treats. <laughs> Wait, Mom. Before you leave, tell the chat the treats. Tell us about the treats. You bake the treats. Then what? Tell us about the treats. That's what I'm doing. Okay, tell us. Give us a hint about the delicious treats you're bringing me. And how much drugs you're putting into them. But seriously, nope tomorrow. Well, my mom just cock blocked us on the treats, so congratulations. You're fire. Now we'll never know about the treats. So we're gonna reveal the treats on stream. I see how it is. I see how it is. Fine. I by the way, Living Legend, I hope my mom does not do that. Also, Living Legend, how are you not a member? I don't get it. What happened? Did you? Oh, you got a gifted one. I'm an idiot. What the hell was that? No, I don't want your emails. Fuck you emails. Is your mom lacing your food with fentanyl or something? I mean, I hope so. And I hope it's enough to put me down like an ox. But we'll see. Um, Wes, what's up in the chat? Wes, are you the Wes that made me pour... Like shave on stream and pour a milkshake down my pants? Is that the Wes? Passion, what's going on? Appreciate your messages, by the way. Obviously, I'm not going to dox you and read them, but I got you, buddy. Uh, generate, thoughts on 8-Bit Eric on the LOL podcast? I already answered that earlier. I didn't watch it. Um, I heard he got derailed by Tommy C, but like... I'm not surprised about that because, you know, that's what happens on a show about drama. They cause drama. Like, that's the point of the show. So, Evan. Oh, Support man. Support for Canadian cats and the Canadian cat dads you and the moms of those Canadian cat dads. Hooped wireless. Hooped wireless. Hooped wireless. Thank you, Evan. I appreciate your support. You are a legend. You've been feeding my cat for the last, like, month and a half. Um, <coughs> White Lando, what do you think? Five out of ten for that one? Not bad, though, right? Listen, if Terrence doesn't send me hoofed wireless soon, we're banning him. We agree to disagree, and I still stand by what I said. Cool. I uh, never lost my respect even during the conversation. Same here, dude. I legit thought you might block me. No. But you are a better, a bigger man. Listen, I'm a man that's big. Thank you, though. Four out of ten, White Lando. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I mean, whatever. Eric made himself look like an ass. He is. Well, I mean, I don't know. I didn't watch it. I watched a very small clip where Melanie Mac showed up, and she was like, "Jesus." Let me let me try to do her voice. Jesus is a Jesus. Jesus. You blew it. Congratulations. Keep in mind, I did smell her ass once. 
Anyways, by accident, I got in a van behind her down by the river and there was just like was the smell of roasted butter in my face. It was disgusting. Josh has subscribed. Thank you, dude. Don't know if you're watching right now, but I appreciate that. Um, Zaylin clipped that. Listen, Viper Eyes, do not instigate this. You've got one job, one job alone, and that is to be you. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Let's check in on the poll. Holy shit, it is a close poll, guys. And we're not talking about the one in my pants. Resident Evil 2 is at 56%, while Mario is at 64 is at 44%. Did that make sense? No, it didn't. And only 11, um, 111 votes. Make sure to go vote in the poll in the chat over there. We got to see who wins. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Viper, you've been here the whole time. Well, the Viper, huh, he's been here the whole time, huh? Appreciate you. Uh, Wes, that's hilarious in the chat, man. How much for Millennium Mac and a JKB stream? I probably could get her on the show. We used to be friends, but then I stopped being her friend because of what Rich was saying about her. And then, you know, also, which, you know, I'm not friends with her to make that clear. I think... The stuff that she's saying is absolute nonsense and she's just doing it to make money, which, you know, um, but no, I probably could get her on the show, but it would be pointless because I'd be like, so you're a fucking idiot now. Can you explain that? And she'd be like, well, you know, Jesus, Jesus is the Lord. And I'd be like, well, that that interview is over. Moist critical, he's got a peen, he's got a dream, he's moist critical. I no wait, I did see a clip. Yeah, I know Zaylin, I know. Um, I did see a clip that you guys are gonna laugh. About I did see a clip where Ape and Eric told Keemstar about the sex shed, and Keemstar was like, "I know." He's like, "No, I don't have a shed." <laughs> Gothy says, "Have a show with Pat." Yeah, okay. First of all, he's blocked me everywhere. Second of all, the smell—I would smell him through the mic. It would be like old pasta sauce that's been like sitting out for a month, and it would also be like uh, like old. Olive oil. Biff says Rich didn't exactly take Melanie to town, which I just thought of right now. I haven't seen it, but I guess they were on the show together and he's saying he didn't take her to town. Okay, that's a bit weird. That's got to be weird. Yeah, that's weird. Taint and olive oil. You know, yeah. Melanie strapped them on. Oh, wow. She she owned everybody on there? That's funny. Who's fucking messaging me? She ran over them. Holy shit. Melanie ran over the whole podcast? I mean... Did she did she use the arc? You get what I'm... Do you get it? You get what I'm saying? Anyways. Um... Thank you. We are up to, let me reset this and see. We are up to 18 goddamn members. 18 members for this stream alone. Unbelievable. Thank you for that support. Appreciate you. You guys are legends. Legendary legends. And um, if you could take a second to like the stream. I don't know what it does, but everyone always says to do that. So... Appreciate that. Let's get back to the chat there. I was talking about my original times with the uh, PlayStation, but there's another thing I wanted to talk about. And um, it's kind of funny because, Joey, thank you, dude. What's crazy is that um, for the N64, my dad used to have a bowl cut, and he was known as Beatlemania. So one day my buddies rented Beatlemania for the N64. You guys know about that? Let's end the poll, by the way. Uh, 10 minutes. It looks like we're, if I'm going to play a retro game on here, it's going to be uh, Resident Evil 2, which is great. Um, 
I'd love to play that on stream and talk about it. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Sea Monkey. Holy shit. Haven't seen Sea Monkey for like four weeks. Guess what, dude? I got news for you. You're fired. Congratulations. Thank you, though. Appreciate you. Skip Skipperson's here. Holy shit. Dude, I haven't seen you for like two days. Guess what? You're fired. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Tetris 69 would be a great game, if you know what I mean. Are you smoking your socks? Nate in the chat says you're fired. Thank you. Um, Todd Howard, how the hell have you been? Got something for you, too. You're fired. What about Fatal Frame, says Gothy in the chat. That's another game that would be great to play. Um, unfortunately, I canceled the last horror night that I was going to do on the show because reasons. But, uh, man, do I get to take this off? Has it been half an hour? Oh, holy crap. It's so great. Dude, I swear this chord. Okay, here we go. Taking it off to the music. Ready? Oh, you like that. You guys like it. Terrence, there's goddamn children watching. God. Oh, man. What about Fatal Frame? That would be interesting. Kip, sk skip. I hope nobody's hard from that. All right, there. The poo suit is off. The bear suit is hanging here. Where's the top of it? I don't know. Look at that. The monkey suit, I should say. Look at how creepy this is. Hang on. Is that is that in camera? Yeah, okay, hang on. Just stay! God damn, got one job. Be a monkey. Oh, god damn it. The monkey won't stay. Oh, ones, ones. I'm trapped in the cord. God damn it. Okay. The suit is off. Thank you to King. I appreciate it, King. You are a legend. Thank you for doing two suits in one stream. Unbelievable. That is That deserves this. Are you smoking your socks? I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round ball. I need Dr. Sexy Coco. Congratulations. 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 Viper Eyes just gifted 10 members. What is going on? Thank you, Viper Eyes. Uh, you're getting one of these too. You are a legend. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that big time. We are now at 28 members for the stream. Thank you. Seriously, guys. That replaces the... The, the people that lost them today. So, Zalens has got to go to cook. I know what's coming. I know what's coming there. Zalens lost his goddamn mind. Thank you, Zalen. Uh, thank you, Viper Eyes. You are officially in the whale club. You have been, I just haven't mentioned it. You are a whale. You are incredible. Thank you for supporting the stream. You make it possible for these streams to happen. 
So I appreciate that. What happened to Dr. Sexy Coco? I mean, there's rumors going around that he's a snake in the grass. So he could be anywhere right now. He'll pop out and just just start going to town on our anus. Congratulations. So we don't know. You know, at any second, he could just come out of the grass and just... I need sexy Coco to suck my brown hook up. Congratulations. I don't know where he is, to be honest. Some people say he moved to Africa. Some people say that he moved to Japan. And some people say he's in my closet locked up in a cage. Who was? We don't know. He could be anywhere in the world. Coco's in the grass. Oh. Silence is fired. Absolutely. Um, he's probably out there eating dinner right now. But again, thank you, Viper Eyes, dude. Really appreciate your support. Um, so, let's discuss this back again. So, a lot of you started around the same age as me for gaming. Okay, so, if you... If you all had a PlayStation or an N64, what was the one game? Let me know in the chat the one game that changed everything for you. And I'm talking about going from 2D to 3D. Was there a 3D game on the PlayStation or the PlayStation 2 that made you go, oh my god, like, I'll never look back at my Genesis or um, Super Nintendo. White Lando says Perfect Dark. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting cold again. Hang on. Putting the heat on. Um, that game, man, was absolutely crazy. Goldeneye. Dude. Why did I say that like Seth Rogen? Goldeneye was amazing. Call of Duty 2. We got Star Fox in the chat. We got Tomb Raider in the chat. Mario 64. Skull Monkeys. Final Fantasy 9. Dude, that's a good one. Oh, man. Die Hard Trilogy 2. I know exactly what you're talking about there. We got GTA 3, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 was um, for Brian. Taryn says Battle Arena Tosh Toshinden. Tosh How do you say that? I don't know. Mario's... Oh, Luigi's Mansion from Twisted. Cool, dude. Uh, Evan says Metal Gear Solid. Prefer... And I second Perfect Dark and Goldeneye. Yeah, you know what? For 64, those were two massive games. We've got Sea Monkey, who's a legend, is saying Mario 64. Shadow Dancer says Birds, which we haven't ran that into the ground yet. Turok 2 from Adam W. Wow, that is a game, man. Jess D says I had a GameCube. Does that count? Absolutely, Jess. What game on the GameCube did you play a lot of? I'm guessing Wind Waker. Wind Waker was another game that I really got into, man. Wind Waker on the Wii U, I love it. Now, do I want it to come to the Switch? Yes. Brian in the chat also says Twisted Metal. Do you guys remember Twisted Metal 1, 2, and 3 on the PlayStation 1? Holy shit. Those were the days, man. Rayman was my first PS1 game, says Gothy. By the way, Gothy, I played a little of this. I, lo I love it. I love it. Thank you. Oh, shit. What did I drop? Twisted Metal 2 was where it was at. Dude, PlayStation... Do you guys remember PlayStation 2? PlayStation 2, Twisted Metal Black. That was incredible. Playing it online? Did you know that... Did you know that... Um, why did I say that twice? Did you know that uh, Sony canceled a twisted metal game for us to play online together bullshit Wes says twisted metal black okay cool so those are the games that really change it for you guys hey eh? matthew says devil may cry a lot of people don't know that devil may cry originally started as a resident evil game isn't that crazy matthew also says resident evil outbreak wow azeroth says Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2. Dude, Need for Speed Underground 2? Why haven't they remade that? Would have been a great online game. I agree, man. I don't know why they canceled it. 
Excited to buy Twilight Princess for the fourth time. Just kidding. Um, I only had it for the Wii, says Jesty. <sighs> Can I make an announcement right now that you people are going to hate me for? I'm pulling my hair out, by the way. Um, I have a very sad announcement. This is a sad announcement. Skip Skipperson, thank you. Says super glue my splinter shut. Force feed me Taco Bell and laxatives. Thank you. You blew it. Uh, my announcement is this. I never beat Twilight Princess. You blew it. 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 Congratulations. Can you believe that? I never beat Twilight Princess. Skip, thank you. I appreciate you becoming a, um, a member as well, dude. Fake Zelda fan, I know. I know. I know. You're Congratulations. Fired. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, do it now on stream. Eh, you guys don't want to watch me play that. I don't know what happened. Oh, oh I have another announcement to make. I never beat uh, Skyward Sword either. I just couldn't get into those two. I don't know what it is. Like, Twilight Princess, I like it, okay? I played a ton of it. But Skyward Sword... Skyward Sword was not my game, man. I could not get in it, into that whatsoever. I don't know, man. I just... We're at 28 new members today. Thank you, guys. That puts us at... Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh. Oh, shit. We are at... Um, We're at, oh shit, we lost a lot. How did that happen? We When we started the stream, we're at 1,330. We are now at 1,215. Um, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's not correct. Nintendo I don't know. needs to remaster the Wariel and games. No, yeah, everybody, uh... Yeah, that is true. So it says that we're a total members of 1,354. However, because they're gifted subs, they drop off after. So we're at 1,215 now, which is still unbelievable. Uh, add another, I don't know, constantly going up and, ta up and down there, just like uh, ones under the desk. Gothy says, Nintendo needs to remaster Warrior Land games. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if... Um, I don't think I got into those like big time. I remember Ever some of the play Cyan on PS2 and the rated horror gem. Mr. Awesome, dude, come on, dude. Just gifted five memberships. Thank you, man. Appreciate that very much. Um, Saturn, uh, Siren on PS2. No. Again, I never got into any of the horror games on PS2. There were there was a lot that I skipped over. Around that time, I wasn't working at EB Games yet. Chris says, listen, check your Discord. I sent you some artwork. Okay. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait, what did you do here? Listen, give me a fistful of Sharpies, a shipping box for you. What do you mean? You're going to ship this to me? It's incredible. Look at the detail on this. Let's open it. Hang on. Check out the artwork that Chris did in the chat. That'd probably make a really good tattoo. Look at this. Thank you for that. That's obviously the Master Sword from uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Appreciate it. I like the little Hyrulean shield uh, reference at the bottom there. Thank you for that. Are you saying that you want to ship it to me? I'm shipping you some stuff, and I drew this on the box. What the hell? Thank you. That's some dedication. 
By the way, I'm going to pick up the P.O. Box stuff tomorrow. I think it's open. So tomorrow's stream with my mom, I'll have some stuff. If, if there's stuff there, I don't know. Um, every stream, I usually get two things, or I have for the last week. So I'll check it tomorrow in case some uh, people are wondering where stuff is. So thank you. And also, thank you for sending me whatever you plan on sending me. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, I never thought I'd get anything. And I've gotten some crazy things, man. Once Two Cents sent me a music box, which I don't have on the desk right now, which is stupid. I should. Um, and then he sent me an actual Ocarina of Time that you can play. Uh, he also sent me a love letter that he said, don't bring up. Wait, uh, never mind that. And yeah, like White Lando sent me a box full of candies and treats for my cat. Super nice people out there and some uh, pops and stuff. So thank you for that, guys. Um, yeah, Gothy sent this in. Just in case people have not seen this. This was sent in by Gothy. This is, uh, this is an interesting game because it's a Korean game. White, so White Day is an actual holiday, from my understanding, that takes place in Korea or it's Korean. Tell me if I'm wrong about this. Ones, am I wrong? This Korean, right? White Day? Because you know a lot about the, um, about that, that rather than me. I, I know not much about it. But White Day is apparently like a Valentine's Day, but not for women. It's for men, where women, yes, it's Korean. Okay. So women give gifts to the men. And Gothy sent this over. I guess she's sending it to me as a gift. I'm a man. She's a woman. Um, very interesting game. I'll talk about it once I play it a bit more. Um, I'm in the middle of playing Rise of the Ronin. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a disaster based on what we had seen. But no. Matthew just gifted a membership. Thank you. Seriously. It's been like, a, like this trickle of gifts today. I really appreciate that. You guys are amazing. Terrence, listen. Who was? Terrence in the chat said Rise of the BBC. Is it a problem I'm actually, like, thinking about it now? Okay, I'll shut up. Never mind. Congratulations. You blew it. Justin says, I'm rising. So, um, question, though, okay? Here's a question, okay? How many people in the chat like... Well, I'd like to see your favorite genre of video game. Justin, listen, I'll rise next to you. Let me know the favorite genre you like to play as a gamer. I'm curious to see if we get like a lot of Terrence. It's, it's huge, by the way. I used to carry it. Like when Terrence and I went to the store, I had to actually get a purse. I carried it in a purse next to him. Um, a lot of people asked questions and we just said it was our, our uh, child. So I'm getting canceled for that. You know, the, I hopefully that went over everyone's over everyone's head. Um, wow, it's diverse in this chat. The chat's gone woke. We got survival horror, RPGs, racing games. It's so cool to see this racing games, platforming games, real time strategy games, stealth games for mystery. Gothy says horror, of course. Um, that makes sense. By the way, my watch is like it's bedtime. Survival horror for Adam W. Uh, Alice says survival horror, of course. I love survival horror. One's two senses, JRPGs and first person shooters, which I grew up playing as well. Brian says R JRPGs. Brian, let me know in the chat your favorite JRPG. We got Mystery who says sports. Um, mystery, let me know your favorite sports game of all time. I'm curious about that. Surge says GT Racing. Nice. Um, Marlon says Grand Theft Auto games and sports games. Elliot says Final Fantasy VII. JRAM says, what do you think of uh, Alone in the Dark? Dude, back in the day, that was like a top-tier thing. I remember getting excited about those games. Now they come out and people are like, this is terrible. Sea Monkey says Fallout, Starfield, and any Dark Souls game. Yeah, I get where you're, where you're coming from. 
What's this? I was in elementary school during the PS, to where so sadly I didn't own a PS, to as I didn't have a job back then. A glad I got to experience the remastered God of War. Ratchet. Yeah. Sly Collections on PS3. First of all, Living Legend, I'm just going to do this. You deserve it. Welcome to the pod. You are officially... <laughs> You are officially a whale. Thank you. You are ridiculous. You're Congratulations. Fired. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Every stream that you're on, you are supporting like a maniac. And dude, I'm calling you out right now. Thank you. Uh, even though you're, you're fired. I I do really appreciate it, Living Legend. Thank you, man. You deserve that and more. You know, you make the show happen. Ones makes the show happen. Like literally. Um. Sexy Coco? Not so much. I'm kidding. But, yeah. Thank you, Living Legend. And to answer your uh, question there, or just to make a comment, dude, the PS2 era, let me tell this story. I traded my N6... I think I've told this. I've traded in my N64 with, like, seven games to buy a PS2. And it was $700. It was not cheap. God of War 2 was really fun. Dude, I remember playing God of War 3. I reviewed God of War 3 on the channel. Matthew says, I love the way you talk. Thank you, Matthew. Um, I really look forward to giving a speech at your graduation next year. So thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see if I'm psychic. Ready? Ones. I'm picturing ones. I'm picture. Let's do this. Ready? Mm. I'm picturing ones. Let me put my hands into the atmosphere here. He's eating chi He had chili? I'm not- my eyes are closed. He had chili recently. Maybe last night. Late. He's got... white underwear on right now. Am I right about any of this? He says yes. I knew it. You're fired! Sorry, gray. Gray underwear. Ghost Rat, what's going on? Ghost Rat, shout out to Ghost Rat who sent over, uh... Ghost Rat, you sent me the Legend of Zelda hat. Is it stained? Yes. See, maybe I was seeing it in shadow. That's why I said gray. See, I'm psychic, guys. He had chili, and he has, he's got gray underwear on. Okay, Terrence, let's do one for Terrence. Terrence is wearing a black t-shirt right now. Terrence, don't lie. Are you wearing a black t-shirt? Let's wait. He says yes. I I am psychic. I'm psychic. I'm dead psychic. I'm I am a psychic person. That's I listen. Jostler. Look, I'll do it again. Jostler, for some reason I'm seeing the color red. Are you wearing something that has red on it, but not fully red? Let's see. Jostler. Something red. I see red. Is your nose bleeding recently, or did you cut yourself, or are you wearing something red? I see red for some reason. Jostler. No, but his ass is bleeding! I knew it! Congratulations. Congratulations. I called it, guys! I knew it! Holy shit, I am psychic. Okay, J-Ram says do me. Okay. Okay, J-Ram. The color black and blue. Like, I don't know if I'm... If it's a shirt or bruises. But I sense black and blue. Are you wearing a black or blue shirt? Or is your ass bruised? J-Ram? Let's see, guys. I still see it. Black shirt, blue pants. Congratulations. Congratulations. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. I'm psychic. I am a psychic child. 
I am the child of... I don't know what that means, but I have the gift. So, just, just saying. Blab says, try me. No, I don't see any... Let me see if I see anything else from anyone else in the chat. Alice says, me next. I I don't have a clear sign for Alice. I see the color purple for some reason, but I wouldn't say that that, that could be... I don't know. I don't want to say what I think it is, Alice. But I see I purple. Purple. I don't know why I say purple. But there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am psychic. <laughs> and uh, I have a gift. It's called telepathy. I can move things. Right now, I'm moving Terrence's wiener. Who was? Thank you, guys. Alice. Is Alice wearing a no purple, wearing all black? See? That's why, that's why I was clear that I wasn't sure about it. But I still sense something purple around Alice right now. Like maybe it's a light or maybe it's a, like in her bedroom, a poster or... Yeah, I know that's being crazy. It could be anything, but I just sense purple. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Jay, what co color shirt am I wearing? Says Living Legend. I think it's black for some reason. She's listening to Purple Rain. <laughs> Blab says say it on Discord. Ah. Anyways, I'm not actually psychic. We're just having fun. Jay, what color is my asshole? Brown. Congratulations. You have a brown asshole. Congratulations. He says, nope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get real. Anyways, Jay's is bleached. It is. Blitzboy says, what color jersey am I wearing? Red. Is it red? Blitzboy, if he says yes, then I am psychic. Ready? Am I psychic? Blitzboy, is it red? Or it has red. There's red on it. See? He said no. Congratulations. Are you smoking your socks? <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm about... 50% psychic, just so you guys know out there. Um, let's get back to the conversation before we got derailed here. Um, Mystery, what did you do? Did you guys hear that? Did you hear that? Okay. You guys didn't hear that, did you? Um, so getting back to the uh, conversation, you know, we always get derailed, but I think you guys kind of understand how these streams go. Um, Obby is definitely... Hoot Wireless. So, I heard you fart, Jay. Do mama. Why would you have to bring that up? Listen. You're fired! I see that, the, that we're delayed on super chats, so we'll wait for those to come in. Here they all. Here are they all. What color boxers and shirt am I wearing? Boxers, you're wearing black boxers and a blue shirt. Well, no, wait. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying it. Black boxers and a blue shirt. Living legend. <laughs> Congratulations. Living legend. What, what is this? This has turned into me being psychic like once out of 10 questions. And it's just we're sitting here talking about it for three hours. I've been live for three hours. Holy shit. You aren't psychic. What's Abby doing right now? Hoot wireless. What's Abby doing right now? Probably crying that I blocked him. You're fired. 
Misery. Mystery says, let's see if it'll play it. I didn't block him. That was a joke, by the way. Um, he's mad at me, just so you guys are clear. So, Do Mama said, um, Do Mama said something else. Jay, what color bla bracelet am I wearing? Gray and white? I don't know. I see gray and white for some stupid reason. Holy shit. That was, um, the Streamlabs thing is low. Okay, let's play it again. Listen. Wait, I know that Obby... Oh, sorry, I know that Zaylin is recording this right now. Zaylin, tell me when you're ready to record this audio because we need it. Thank you, Ones, by the way. You're a legend. What? My Mystery's message got deleted? Why? By Do Mama. What did Do what Mama's deleting messages? What did you do? Zaylin, you ready? Doom, it's fine. We, we appreciate you. We love you. We love the way you walk, the way you move. Thank you. Sorry, Zaylin, are you ready? Where's Zaylin? Zaylin is literally editing a documentary about me right now. You're fired! On the PS Store, guess what I see in the big screen? Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, I guess Zaylin, like, left to edit for real. So I guess we'll have to wait for him to get back. Um, Smoking Socks. Are you smoking your socks? Your socks are gray. Absolutely gray. Guys, the support has been extremely crazy tonight and low. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Tomorrow at 5 p.m., my mom's coming on the show, so you definitely want to tune in tomorrow. Cheetahman says, I'm having salmon and rice. Listen, pour that. Listen, pour the rice on the salmon and then slap me with the salmon. The salmon? Listen, have a salmon and then call it salmon. Congratulations. This is a very, well, Terrence, this is a very low marinara stream. You know, like, I know that my, um, my, my streams have been low support marinara lately. This is like bottom of the barrel support. Um, I, I don't know if I could stream tomorrow. It's that slow. It's slow. It's low. Okay, question. Let's get back to some questions, get back to the topic. I try to keep these topics going throughout the stream, even though we get uh, we get derailed here. Mistaken game. Listen, I love you. Be my father. JRAM couldn't pay the bills. Had to shut the stream down. My cat had to actually roll all the way to the supermarket to get me a can of chili. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. I just made... See, I can't even talk because the stream is very low support. Um... So here's, I, I know people, I answered this, their favorite genre. I have a weird question that I think a lot of people might actually appreciate. We all have our favorite games, right? And you can't really take those games over. For me, it's linked to the past. I'll always remember that game. But here's my question, and it's kind of weird. What is your favorite second of all game of all time? Take the number one spot, push it aside. Jay, Jay, I don't leave. Sorry, I was cooking. Listen, you're, um... You're fired! Sorry, Zaylin. I can't, I can't do much about it, Zaylin. You're fired. Okay, so second of all favorite games of all time. We have 34 new members, by the way. Holy shit. Thank you, guys. Wow. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. 
So, impending doom. Super Metroid, dude. Wow. Yeah. Super Metroid, back in the day. Jay, it was a good stream. Have a good one. Blab, thank you. Have a good night. Appreciate you. Love the way you move. Love the way you talk. Let's get vodka down by the beach tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you. Hard to pick. It is, it's hard to pick a second place. Tommy P says, Sabapunk. Jossla says, Doc Souls 1. Ragnarok says, I'm debating. Disco Elysium or Plane, uh, Planescape. Never played that one. Ocarina of Time from Sea Monkey. Sea Monkey, how you doing? Haven't seen you for a few days. Uh, Mega Man 1. RG says, good night, Jay. Good night, dude. People are going to bed early, eh? I haven't even had dinner and people are going to bed. Red Dead Redemption 2. That's up there for sure, says Mistaken Game. Totally agree. That is a great game, too. Uh, Passion for Gaming says, not a clue. Listen, I'm going to come down there and feed you a pancake, and you're not going to have a clue on how it's going to get in your mouth. So Congratulations. Jay, Stellar Blade, it's so effing good, says John Rome. Listen, I'm going to download it right after this stream, and I'll probably talk about it tomorrow on the show. Or no, no that's nonsense. No, I might. You know what? I will do that. I'll talk about it in an episode that'll get a thousand views. Sea Monkey says, extra maple syrup on my lips would be grand. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll talk about the assets in that game. I learned about sex from these streams. Why, why am I Alan Wake all of a sudden, says Dr. Octopus. And then Dr. Octopus went into the woods and had sex with a ghost. I don't know, man. You're Congratulations. fired! What I'm cooking up will make many hard in the chat. Oh my god, Beast is here. Listen, Beast, you get you get this. Beast just gifted five members. Thank you so much. Yeah, like, everybody's gifting all these members all the time. He says I'm late. Dude, you're never late. You're fired! You're still fired, though, but I appreciate it big time, and I want to make this official. Ones, ones get the notebook out. Beastus, beast... Beast, you are officially now. Thank you, Beast. You join the ranks of everyone else that's in that club that I can't remember right now. Ones. Actually, I'll name them right now. I know them off the top of my head because they're legends. Ready? Um... King of Les joined tonight. We got Ones. We've got Zaylin. We have Viper Eyes. And now we have Beast. Who am I who am I forgetting out of that club? Terrence definitely is not in the whale club. Who was? If anything, I have to spend money to basically keep him away from me. Mr. Awesome. Mr. Awesome is gifted a lot too. I think I think you're very close to the whale club. In fact, you might be in it. Let me think about that. Uh, Freddy Cougar. Dude, you lost your membership. Sorry. Appreciate you. Um, it's a very... It's a, sorry, it's a sad moment for me. <laughs> Ban Terrence from gifting. Listen, I officially right now... I officially am making an announcement. Terrence is absolutely banned from gifting in this chat. What the hell? Oh, man. Tower Dragon is a goddamn legend. Thank you to you. You know what? Tower Tower is very close. I've seen you him doing it. a lot. Um, Mistaken Games just gifted five memberships. And none of them went to uh, Cheetahman, which is sad. Thank you very much. Hi. I appreciate you guys. Here come the whale sounds. Thank you guys. That puts us at... Oh man, we're close to... So, 
Last week we got two streams back to back where I got 71 and then 79. We are now at 45 members for this stream alone, which is, I mean, that is just, it's, you guys are just crazy, man. Thank you. Are you smoking are your socks? Are you smoking your socks? Um, okay, so we went over the um, mistake. It says those, those sounds are sexual. That is weird. So we went over all of um, our second place games. Now, I'm going to ask a crazy question. What is the number one game you played that you thought would be maybe your favorite game of all time, but it, it became like one of the worst games? That's a that's an interesting question because there's not many games that you thought was game of the year, but then you played it and it was terrible. Oh, wow. You know, Connor, that's actually good. He says, Scorn, do whales wear socks? I don't know. Angie says, I have an eating disorder and it sucks. Angie, sorry to hear that. Hopefully you can get some help with that. Man, a lot of people are saying Scorn. Shamu 3? Shamu 3. Yeah. Uh, we know for you it's Starfield. Uh, yeah, I enjoy Starfield. Like, uh... It, it really went downhill for me, man. Um, Rage. Oh, man. I remember Rage. Shamu 1 was awesome. I agree. I agree, Beast. Or Blasto. Umber says Fallout 76. We all know how that went. Dude, these are a... Ghoul. Sorry. Goo. Goo Arrow says Breath of the Wild. Are you smoking your socks? I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ha! <laughs> Wow. Cyberpunk. People are saying Cyberpunk. Star Citizen from uh, Caleb. Yeah. Somebody in the chat. Uh, Nish said uh, Starfield. Forgot to continue playing it. <laughs> Which is a totally. Totally makes sense, man. Terminator Sega CD. Whoa. That's a. Uh, that. You know what? I do remember that was a disappointment because Terminator in the arcade was just like. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of RoboCop. Never mind. Sea Monkey. How you do By the way, Sea Monkey, how you doing? Also, Sea Monkey doesn't have a logo. We should get him a little monkey logo. A generic white male says, where is Sexy Coco? You're fired. That's that's where he is. Um, I don't know where he is. He disappears. To be honest, it's quite weird. We're in the middle of chatting. He's like, hey, guys, got to go. And we're like, okay, we miss you. And he's like, see ya, fuck you. And he leaves. He does it on stream too. I wonder what he's got going on. Oh, he's hosting a game night in the Discord. You're Congratulations. Fired. Are we, so Robert says, are we in the closet? No, this is a hallway where I keep all my movie stuff. I decided to stream from here just because, um, why not? There's some interesting things here. Let's see. Let's check out my latest VHS pickups. Number one, we have Death Becomes Her, which was a quarter. This is directed by Robert Zemeckis. It is truly a classic about two women that are obsessed with looking good. And when it comes to people looking good, Terrence is definitely not one of them. So. Who was? Except... Uh, He's got a massive peen. Next, we have Sun and Death, which takes place, I believe, at a hockey game. Am I wrong about that? Let's read the back. <coughs> During the Stanley Cup game. I got that for 25 cents. Let's check out the next movie I bought. The Client. I bought this because I love courtroom dramas. This is also starring a very super young... Um, 
Mark Ruffalo, who's passed away. He's not even credited. Wow. Wow. Mark Ruffalo is not even credited? Mark Ruffalo sadly passed away a long time ago, man. Last but not least, Phenomenon. Why did I get this? Mostly because I remember this is like a weird movie where John Travolta gets like some sixth sense to be able to understand time. But it turns out that it, it might just be like a tumor. So those are my latest VHS pickups that I paid a total of five cents for. And these are... These movies came... So I... I pre-order a lot of my movies. This just came in. I pre-ordered this very long time ago. Carrie in 4K, the remake. I know it's not as good as the original, but I still... I buy movies when they have audio commentary because I like to learn about some of the filmmaking. I also picked up this yesterday. Sorry, two days ago at the mall. The original Shining miniseries, which I've never seen. I got it for super cheap. That's why I got it. Yes, I have Christy, by the way, Terrence. Um, this I've never seen. So that is something I'll watch. And then I think I showed this to you guys. I ordered this like six months ago and it just showed up. Not, no, not Mark Ruffalo. Mark, uh, Mark, wait, Mark Ruffalo? Not Mark Ruffalo. What's his name? Sorry, what's the kid's name in this in this film? Shut the hell up, Siri. Sorry, what's the kid's name in the client? Um Yeah, no, sorry. It's um Renfo, not Ruffalo. Ren R E N F R O. Mark Renfo. I ordered that quite some time ago. So this is the Ring 4K collection, which includes all of the films in the series, the North American series. Only reason I bought this was for the Ring in 4K. That is a movie I had to see in 4K. Um, and then, check this one out. I went to, um, yeah, yeah, Renfo. No, it's Brad Renfo. Why do I keep calling him Mark? Sorry. Uh, I went to a hawk shop, like a pawn shop the other day, and this was already in there, which I don't recommend anybody buys this because it's not great. No, I, I don't think he's related. No, no. Is he related to Brad? I think he might be, but yeah, this is not a great transfer. I don't know what they did with it. I think that's it for movies that I recently got. Actually, no, that's not true. Hang on. So since January, so just so you guys know, it's like, I just want to be clear about this. I don't sit here and order anything. I haven't really ordered much in the last, uh, like since February 17th. I've been like terrified to spend any of my money because I'm like, I have no job. Uh, mistaken, thank you for the gifted membership. Who was? Appreciate you big time. Um, now, if you were here for movie night, I didn't just get this. I've had it for quite some time. This is amazing. This is the uh, 4K version of It Follows. And it came with a book and some cards and stuff. That that right there is like one of the best things in my collection. However, I did want to show a few things that I... These aren't recent pickups. There's a few that are from January. Has anyone seen this movie? Super underrated. Um, Nightmare Alley, which stars a whole bunch of people. Let's just be honest. This movie... Holy shit, do I love it. Um, have you ever hoard yourself out for a cheeseburger, Jay? Listen, man's got to eat. Of course I have. Here's, is this the 4K version? Yes. This is another horror movie that came out last year. 
I had that one pre-ordered last year. Happy Death Day 2. I just have it in my collection because it is uh, Scream Factory. That I had pre-ordered, which is uh, a thriller. Jennifer 8 is a nice thriller from the 90s. I got this for $19 Hereditary in 4K. Congratulations. I ordered Kids from Germany. That is an amazing movie. I got Waxworks 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Got that in... I think I got that one in October, to be honest. And it's just been sitting on the shelf. The Holdovers. I ordered that because I found it for $9 like a month ago. Or like two months ago or whenever it came out the boogeyman the boogeyman i bought that one for five dollars at a store like five months ago thinner just got that for my screen factory collection this is from two months ago i believe and last but not least i decided to pick up the remastered extended editions just just because it was on sale so yeah those are the uh, recent pickups. Recent. I use that in quotations because it's not super recent. Um, and that's it. That is it for films. Um, wait, I actually, hang on. And from last year, I may as well just show these quick. Hope you have the Quitter Critters movies. Yeah, I got the Critters box set, dude. Of course I got the Critters movies, man. Uh, here's all the games I picked up over the last, like, six months. I don't know why they're sitting in a pile there. I got to put them away. Yakuza 0. Actually, that's not part of it. I had that for a while. Um... Sukuna of Rice and Ruin is a weird game. I hope you have the Critters movies. I do, dude. Mistaken just gifted another five members. Thank you so much. You blew it. I really appreciate it. Congratulations. That. Seriously, dude. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I bought that recently, of course. Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. This is all. This was all for like when I was streaming on RTU. Now, here's what I did want to show. This is amazing. Look at that cover when you flip it over. Looks like a classic PlayStation game. So this is Dead Cells Castlevania. Absolutely love that. And that is the alternate cover. Again, mistaking games. Thank you so much. I did also pick this up, but I haven't played it yet. So I got that on release date. I was going to play it on stream. Um, and the only other thing I bought in the last two months was this. This was $10 at Walmart. That was an obvious buy. I had to buy that. I mean, look at it. Um, and then I found this again. This is the original release of Halloween on Betamax tape in Canada. It's worth probably about $500 US at the moment. It's the original Halloween released on Betamax tape. So that right there is like Watch one of my- Watch ginger bites and teeth, then touch tips. <sighs> Let me put these games back. Yeah, I saw that you asked about my game collection. It's actually on this shelf right here. Um, no, I have Xbox games as well. I just don't have many of them. So Xbox collection is very small. Not that you guys give two shits about my Xbox collection, but I'll do it quickly. This is all I have for Xbox. Are you ready? I bought that for $24. Please, please don't kill me. I had to. Is your collection mostly PS? Any Xbox games? Thank you, White Lando, for these. I'm almost out. I love them. Yeah, I know. Gotham Knights. I had to. Um, like a Dragon. 
steel book. I bought this for four dollars like six months ago. Mass Effect, the uh, Legendary Trilogy, Titanfall 2, um, Village Deluxe Edition. Haven't played it. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2, Fallen Order, Squadrons, which was terrible. Um, Heat, because I love those games. Oh, God. Rich made me buy that. I should have saw that as a sign of things to come. Uh, Call of Duty. And I love, I love that. I love that one. Uh, in terms of the um, zombie mode in this, my favorite. Don't know why I have that. Of course, why wouldn't I own that? It cost, I got it for like 20 bucks. Had to buy that when it came out. HD collection. Injustice 2. Borderlands 3. That and that. I was curious back in the day. That's all of my Xbox games physical. I know that that's not a lot, but. Oh. And I have that. My two GameCube games. I don't know. I don't know. Here's my PS5 collection. Jay, please put Gongium Asylum on your watch list. Okay, I will. Let me take a photo of that. Who did, what happened there? Mistaken game just gifted 10 memberships all from Argentinian money. Thank you I'm just kidding. Those those are real. I hope they're real Thank you, I really appreciate that mistake Mistaken you are goddamn legend tonight This right here is my PS5 collection, minus the ones I had over there. Terrence, I don't trust you. Where? I don't see it. It's going to be a photo of his penis, isn't it? Uh, Blitzboy, I appreciate your support. Thank you, man. Uh, Ragnarok, I don't know. Somebody sent me that. Okay, let's do this quick. Wow, that's not in its spot. Uh, my biggest collection is my Switch collection. It's a ton of games. Mistaken Games just gifted five more members. What the hell? Dude. Are you kidding? You are a legend, dude. Thank you, man. We're at uh, 1,213 at the moment. I don't... I don't know if... Um, I don't know the numbers right now. Like... I don't know why it's not updating. Um, it says we have 1,354 members, but if I look at the actual memberships, it says 1,200, uh, 1, so. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, those are Argentinian. Mistaking game. Are you sending those from Argentina? I'm pretty sure I could check. I don't know how to check, though. Thank you, man. Like, unbelievable. Huh. 
<laughs> mistaken. Seriously, mistaken. I really appreciate the support, man. Thank you so much. Goddamn legend. I mean, it's unbelievable. Where do we at now? For the stream alone, we're at 66. Like, what the hell, man? Unbelievable. You're fired! Can I recommend a Blu-ray player? I mean, I use my PS5 or my Xbox Series X. Xbox Series X is terrible. Um, uh, as a 4K Blu-ray player. Um, I mean... <laughs> ones, that's hilarious. I don't know, like, I don't know Blu-ray players at the moment because I use my PS5 for the most part, hooked up to my TV, right? I know that there's, like, some great Blu-ray players out there. I just don't know what the brands are. I think Sony's making some really good ones still, but I apologize. Let's do this quick. Obviously no man's sky. I bought, I upgraded that to PS five because I wanted to do uh, PSVR two Elden ring. Um, Scarlet Nexus, which I haven't even played yet. Saifu or Sufu. I don't know. Tales of Arise was great. Alan Wake Remastered. Haven't even played this yet. <sighs> Look at the cat hair come off it. Armored Core. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Ghost Runner. Haven't played it. I have it on another system. This was sent to me from Sony. Thank you, Sony. Devil May Cry 5, of course. This. Oh my god. I love this game. The Quarry. The Skywalker um, Saga. Uh, bought that for like $5 a long time ago. Dying Light 2 was sent over to me. Haven't even played it. Hot Wheels because it was cheap. Soulist. Um, dude, mistaking games again with 5. What is going on, man? Dude. What the hell, man? I'm like... It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Why? My butt is it. on fire. <laughs> Generic. Thank you for that. Yeah, we're at 71 members now, which is just stupid. For this this stream, we're, we, we tied last week. I don't know, man. You are... Yeah. You are insane, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Pfft, it's crazy. We're now at... I I don't know why it's not updating right. It's at 1,218 1, at the moment. Now, holy shit. One's just gifted five more. So it should be at 1,223. Let's see if it updates correctly. I think that's what's happening is a lot of people are leaving because of the free memberships. Yeah, it's, it's correct now with ones. Dude. Oh, my God. You guys are doing this right now? Well, <laughs> Mr. Awesome, you are officially in. Look, Minxy1 was gifted a membership. I don't think Minxy is here watching, but she must be subbed to me to get one. Man, what is happening? I don't know. Um, another five. Mr. Awesome, thank you, man. You officially are in there, and Beast is in there today. Minxie's never been here. Well, she's got a membership, so... <laughs> I don't think she wants to be seen with me for obvious reasons. Living legend. Holy shit. Thank you, guys. I mean... All 
All right, hang on a second. Hang on. I've never seen Mistaken. I just want to talk to Mistaken for a second. Mistaken, who who are you? Where have you been? Like, I haven't seen you before. You just show up and you drop like a million. What is going on? Mistaken, let me know in the chat. Goddamn legend. Jesus Christ, man. Mistaken is either Phil or from Argentina. No, that's not true. Mistaken, though. Seriously. Who the hell are you? What is going on? You blew it. He's the real Jesus. Dude, he's gifted like we beat the record. Oh my god. You're fired. Mistake is not even chatting. He's just like, eh. Michael does life. That that's like a big YouTuber, doesn't it? Mistake is so So I actually watched RTU a lot and actually enjoyed seeing you on streams and stuff. So I want to support you. Thank you so much, man. Look who showed up. Viperize. Viperize is a maniac. Jesus Christ, you got... This is like a whale war. Yeah, yeah, goo. This is a whale war. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable. Uh, yeah, the support here is just makes me just... Joey, man. Here, if you want to check out the music I put in the chat there, go check out his channel. I love the music, too. Um... Joey says, Jay, I did my first, first Uber. New members get $20 free. So cool. Amazing. You're breathtaking. Man. Joker81 says, thanks everyone for the support. Joker, are you my stepfather? Is that why you're saying that? We're related, right? Unbelievable. Ones, I hope you're joking. Mistaken back with five more gifted subs. Dude, stop. Stop. You have... I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like... <sighs> Absolutely insane, man. So we're at 1,273 now, which is just insane. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. You guys just stop it. zalen has been dethroned, says one's two cents. Listen, Zalen's editing like a masterpiece right now. Thank you so much. I see that mystery donated like three minutes ago, and I apologize. It's like it's blocked in because of the membership stuff. Look, mistaken. Seriously, dude. I appreciate it, man. You don't need to keep doing it. I appreciate it, man. It's too much. You're you're insane, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Zalen says I lost my throne. Dude, Zalen, I don't know what's happened, but Mistaken Games has come in here and he has lost his mind. And I it's broken me, dude. Again, Mistaken Games, dude. Seriously. Thank you so much, but like you don't need to go crazy, man. It's You've lost your mind. I've lost my mind. Pff, dude, come on. I love this community. I want to support you in the community. Uh, I enjoy watching your streams, Jesus. Thank you, man. It means a lot to me. Um, I don't even know what to say. You've gifted like a million members today. We are at a total of 100 and, 126 members today. Yes, yes, Terrence, of course say that. You need to, you need to, you need something to look forward to in your life. 
<laughs> uh, let's play the misery. Hang on. It's not going to read it. So, Viperize gifted 20 members as well. Thank you so much, man. That's definitely not DSP. Um, Misery, thank you. He says, let's play his, will it play? Let's see. It's probably all backed up just like Terrence on a Wednesday after chilly night. But let, let's wait. No, it's because he swore in it. He says, what the F? Where are you getting these gifted subs? I need to talk with my man crush. Iced only caught. Why? What does this mean? He needs to stop making the alt accounts and members. And otherwise, I'm done with nude pics I send. Okay, DSP. You've lost your goddamn mind. Um, Misery's donation from six minutes ago got buried by the... Dude, Misery, I don't know why it's not playing it. I think it's set at $7. Sorry. Play it, play it, play it. No. He said, when's the last time you sharded, Jay? Legit sharded. I want evidence. Oh, my God, dude. Um... That's ridiculous, man. Um, last time I did that was like 10 years ago in front of Kat's house. She used to be on my show. And uh, I like went outside. Just happened. Went right back in, had a bath. Let me get right through these. So, you guys are nuts, man. Sonic Frontiers, which was bought because Rich and I were going to um, review it together. But uh, yeah, that happened. You guys can figure that one out. Val Valkyrie Elysium. I love it. Hogwarts Legacy, of course. Dead Space, of course. Another shit game that Rich forced me to review on the show that we never did. Which, you know, you guys can figure out why that never happened. Uh, Metro. Mistaken. Dude, stop. For the love of God. I'm starting to worry that these are from Argentina. These are, these are literally... I'm, hang on. Hang on. Yep. Yeah, can you confirm if these are real? <laughs> He's gone nuts. He's lost his goddamn mind. Yep. Yeah, I can confirm that. Thank you. Yep. Mistaken, man. Stop. For the love of God. You are ridiculous, dude. Holy shit. Um, Demon Souls? Yeah, wholesome Argentinian memberships, man. I think you I think you might be very close to beating the record of, of memberships. I don't know, dude. Uh, I am honestly a slightly nervous that these are Argentinian. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. No one's ever came in and dropped that many on one stream other than Zalen, who's like, Zalen's a maniac. That guy eats like six pancakes a day, and then he'll go for like a 40-minute jog. You know, he's crazy. He'll jog to your house with, a, oh, with like, pancakes in his hat. Uh, Ride 4, which is the most realistic game on the PlayStation 5 in terms of graphics. Uh, Last of Us Part 1 had to get it just because, uh, actually, Rich wanted me to get footage, and I did. Uh, Show, sorry, Snow Runners, amazing uh, game. I'm highly addicted to it. And then I got uh, Dead Island 2 there, which I haven't even played. I got Like a Dragon on PS5, which, why do I have like five copies of it? Diablo 46, which I hardly played. Why do I have two copies of this? And then, Like a Dragon. Wait a minute, why do I have two copies of that? That's really weird. Wait, why do I actually have two copies of... Um... Hang on. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil Village. Oh, because it's the deluxe version. Oh, and I also just bought that recently.
Um, I would show you. I would show you all the Switch games, but there's a lot. Show us your Switch collect. Oh, how many people want to see my Switch collection? I gotta go get it all then. Hang on. All right, all right. Hang on. Hi, baby. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. All right. Hey, now, man. Good to song. see you streaming. This isn't even all of it. There's some others somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know where they all are. I'm missing. Maybe not missing, but. I have a, I have a lot of Switch games. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, you guys asked for it. Where'd that go? It's, it's, it's not done. It's not done. Hang on. Now, this does not include this doesn't include all my special editions, which I'll show off another time. Um, okay. One thing at a time here. Okay, here we go. What did I miss there? Good to see you streaming, man. Thank you. Sp what's uh, what's the name there? Splending Ryan. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you coming through here. Okay, here we go. Ready? Switch games. Nino Kune. Had to buy that one. Had to buy that. Borderlands Collection. Why not? If you like the line of Switch games up, then... Who was? Village and Ari for on PSVR 2 are incredible. Yeah. Living legend, thank you, man. They definitely are. Splendid. Thank you again. And I see Mistaken says, if you line the Switch games up, they're almost as long as Terrence's peen. Who was? Dude, you've gifted so much tonight just stop for the love of god stop you are like okay ready so castlevania collection obviously resident evil revelations we've got some teenage mutant industrials uh Calabunga collection resident evil origins resident evil triple pack blasphemous which i'm a huge fan of Then we have R-Type Final 2, Signalis, Game Builder Garage. This was sent over from In In, which is um, Wonder Boy, Ashanta, or whatever the hell. I can't even read that. Asha in uh, Monster World. Who gives a shit? Um, Devil May Cry HD Collection for the Switch, which is a Japanese import, I believe. The Defino Chronicles. That is a uh, crazy RPG that came out. If you line the Switch games up, they are almost as long as Terrence Williams' peen. Who was? Ease. Obviously, you got to get some ease in there. Super Monkey Ball. I should play on stream with the suit on. Uh, um, uh, 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 I can't say the goddamn word. This is the Japanese uh, release of it, too. What, what the hell is it called? Oh, 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 my God. I can't say the word. 
Oh, oh, man. Can't do it. Remember, guys, I'm dyslexic. Akami. Thank you. Uh, Akami. God damn it, man. This is the Mexican version of Odyssey. We got Dead Cells Game of the Year Edition. Not even open for some reason. We got Hades. I got Puyo Puyo. Puyo Puyo. Tetris 2. Um, uh, Caron. Carion. That, that right there is a great game. Uh, Namco Museum 2. Or sorry, Namco Museum Arcade Pac-Man version. Final Fantasy, of course. We have a bunch of those. R-Type. This right here is one of my favorite games I ever bought on here. It's so great. R-Type Dimensions EX. So it's a remake of the original game, but you can also switch in between them. Um, that one came from... Strictly limited. Good luck finding the copy of this. That is that is like a super, super rare game at the moment, I think. Um, Starlink. <clears throat> Ninja Saviors. Mega Man 11, of course. Nintendo, I think, sent this over to me. Link's Awakening. Um, man. Arkanoid. Yeah, my mom's going to try to steal these, all right. Proteus, which is a boomer shooter. Love that game. <coughs> Little Witch No... <coughs> Little Witch No... Be oh, man. No Beta. Which is like a Dark Souls game with witches. Anybody know that? By the way, my mom's not taking any of these, just so she knows. <clears throat> Anyone know that one? Hang on, I need a drink. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, Dark Souls with witches. Tears of the Kingdom, obviously. Rabbits, Sparks of Hope, which was a great game back in the day. I've got a sealed copy of Animal Crossing, even though Nintendo sent me one of them. <clears throat> um, I bought this for an ex-girlfriend's daughter, and then she broke up. Like, the mom broke up with me. I never even got to give it to... Um, her kid, which now it sits there in ruin, makes me cry. Metal Max, that game is weird. This Japanese game with tanks, you can get in and out of the tanks. Anybody heard of that? I was waiting for it for quite some time. Hyrule Warriors, which I believe Nintendo sent over to me. And of course, my original copy of Breath of the Wild, which was sent over by Nintendo as well. We got Super Bomberman, the European version. Mega Man X Collection, 1 and 2. We have Xenoblade Chronicles 3 sealed. I don't know why I have that sealed still. I think I have two copies of it. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 sealed as well, twice. Xenoblade 2, Xenoblade Golden uh, Country. Crystallis. Then I got Ninu Kune, got Craze, the Wild Hats or something, the Wild Masks. I don't know. It's a pretty good, uh, from my understanding, it's a pretty good side-scrolling uh, platformer. Then we have Harvest. How, what's it? How do you pronounce it? Harvest. How Harva? Harvest. Harvestella. Jesus Christ. Um, X One and Two. Arms. Love that game. Darksiders Genesis. Never played it, but whatever. Snow Runners, I got it for the Switch because, yeah, I wanted to uh, have it on Switch just in case. Hunt Down, great game. Shantae Advances, slated later this year. It's crazy oh. how this game was supposed to release on GBA and got cancelled, and now it's being revived again. Isn't that crazy how that works? Holy shit, Would you be one. willing to make a video down the road about your passion for physical games and why gaming preservation is important? You're also, fired. nipples. Yeah, totally. Actually, I have some videos that I'm working on that are going to take a bit more time. Um, and they have to do with like the physical idea of this and being a bit, a bit older. Maybe somebody, um, yeah. Maybe some people will watch that. So thank you. One's two cents. Hide the Tetris on the Switch. Your mom is threatening to steal it. You're fired! You see what I have to deal with? You know what? You're fired! You see what I have to deal with? 
My mom, I haven't seen my mom for like a year. She, all she cares about is just taking a game. She didn't say, I want to hug you. I miss you. You're my son. Just wants to steal. You're fired. Actually, mom, you can have that Tetris game. Also, my mom does not know how to tag people, which is adorable in the chat. Mom, you could have the Tetris game. I don't give two shits about that one. Um, that's all you're getting, though. Calm your ass. River City Girls. Love this game. If you are into uh, beat-em-ups, then this is a game to definitely get. Amazing soundtrack. Yeah, Mom, you're not taking more games. Get real. Amazing soundtrack on that one. Dying Light for the Switch. Had to get that at the time. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Boot Camp. That's another game that I think Nintendo sent over. Uh, After Image. This is a side-scroller as well. Don't know too much about it. Uh, Chocobo GP. Bought that because it reminded me of Mario Kart. It's not that bad, but I know that it had microtransactions and people were like, screw that. God Eater 3. Which... I have not played on the Switch, but I have it on something else. Void Bastards is a uh, really weird, like, um, I think it's, I think it was made in the UK. It's got a lot of UK humor. This game is, is cheap now, but it's like a first person shooter roguelike, I think. Um, then I got Rice and Ruin on here. Um, this one is record of Lotus War. Sorry, um, Wonder Labyrinth. I, I can't read at the moment. That one I haven't even played. Star, Star um, Renegades. That is another side-scroller I think is pretty good. Skull, the Hero Slayer. Love this game. If you're into... Um, if you're into... Um, what's that goddamn game, guys? There's a name. I can't think of the name of it. This game, though, is great. Um, yeah, but Skull is great, too. Um, trying to think of the goddamn name of that. Okay, we're almost done here. Well, not really. There's two more stacks. Uh, Death Gambit Rebirth. This is a game that came out that got like 5 out of 10. Then they took the game off the store, and they redid it and re-released it. And this is <clears throat> this is the version. And this is an amazing game. <coughs> Another uh, Metroidvania. Sorry. Anyone know that game? Shimigami Tensei 3. Rune Factory 4 Special Edition. Holy shit, mistaken. What are you doing? Gifted another membership, man. Thank you, man. You are a maniac. Um, thank you so much for the support. Jay, did you just play these once and then put them away? Uh, a lot of them aren't opened. I should have said, like, some aren't opened, like Ease Origin. Um, I'm not opening this one because I have two copies of it. I don't know why. Astral Ascending, I got that super cheap. Uh, I played it for five minutes, didn't like it. Mortal Kombat for the Switch, 11. Yeah. Darksiders 3 for the Switch. Played that one for a bit. Zodiac Age, of course. Um, <coughs> ta um, Tactics Ogre. Had to definitely get that one. I'm into the RPGs. Uh, Japanese RPGs, but also like the tactical RPGs. Uh, Moon Scars, which is another side-scroller that plays like Dead Souls. So definitely check that one out. Came with like a booklet and stuff. Great graphics. Pretty brutal. Um, Fire Emblem Engage. Never even played it yet. Of course I had to get Star Ocean the second story R when that came out. I just bought this. It's not open. Played the demo. Loved it. Oh, don't know why I bought this one, but Sonic Superstars. I wanted to know about it. We all know about that now. World of Horror. This is interesting because it is a Junji Ito inspired game that was made in MS Paint. You heard me correct. Let me show you. Check out the 
Look at that. Junji Ito. Yeah, one's two cents. Buy that game, dude. You'd love it. Okay. Altair, Ryza. So get ready for these. I'm not going to name them all, but watch. Altair, uh, what's this one? I don't know. Something about Suckland. I bought it because it was cheap, or I bought it for cheap. Uh, Alta Ryza. I have a bunch of these. And then I have part two. Then I have... This is the most expensive game I have on the system. Go look up the price of this. Sorry, is it going to focus? So that right there is called the Alt Altair Mystery Trilogy Deluxe Pack. This probably is going for like $300 right now. Just this. Three games in one. They're anime. They're, um, they were big on the PS3. Uh, Tales of Revere. I got a bunch of the Tales series here. I'm a fan of the Tales series. So, Tales of Zero. This is already through the roof in terms of prices as well. Um, of, of course, haven't really played it. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of RPGs right here. I love them. Um, that is just the addition for it. Like the uh, box. <clears throat> now you're ready. I got Super Mario 3D All-Stars still sealed. Don't know why I still have that. <coughs> Anyone know that? Sorry, I'm dying. That was a special order from... I don't know where that came from. Um, Damon X Machina. We've got the steel box of Metroid Dread, which is pretty cool. Octopath Traveler 2, sealed, haven't played it. Mario Party Superstars, which is fucking terrible in my opinion. Undernauts, Labyrinth, holy shit, this game goes up and down in price. I got it for super cheap and now it's like through the roof. Burnout Paradise, because it's a classic. The Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2. Vol Vol Valkyrie 4, Chronicles. I have the special edition of that. Contra Corpse, somebody gave that to me or I wouldn't have bought it. We've got uh, Captain Toad, love that game. Yoshi's Crafted World, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 2, Limited Run. And then I have, I don't know why I have two of these, Super Mario uh, 3D All-Stars, Sea of Solitude, which is sealed also. That was a crazy one to get. Now, uh, Blasphemous 2. And Cult of Lamb. Now, um, that is... That's most of them. That's all of it, I think. There's a lot of special editions I have, but they're all in there and I can't get them right now. Um, the last game I want to show you guys is actually a reprint. Uh, not a reprint, but it's actually one of the rarest games... Uh, if you find it, definitely pick it up because it's like one of the only games that has a mistake on it. As you all know, the spines of all of the Switch games are always red. This right here, Darksiders War, uh, what's it called? War Master Edition. It has a printing error. I have a printed error War Masters Edition, which is out of focus there. And um, this is a print error, and they tend to be they tend to go up in price so you'll notice that it has no spine red spine they actually forgot to put it there so if you have this it's they they pulled that one off the shelves and it's pretty rare nowadays at least let me put these away also my cat's taking a massive shit so there's that this goddamn wire the fucking wire ones, the goddamn wire ones. Now it's stuck in my chair. So that is my switch collection. And then fuck you. I'll show this. I'll show this quick. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<clears throat> God damn it, ones, I'm stuck. <coughs> oh man, I'm starting to choke, guys. Yeah, I got I got a few Switch games, guys. Also, I sold half my collection at one point. So, I used to have about double this size, but I sold it because I was poor a couple years ago. <coughs> I'm also sure that I'm missing something from my collection here. Okay, so, yeah, I used to have more, but I sold them like an idiot. That's it. I'm buying you an Astro A50 headset. Dude, I honestly, I'm, I'm just lazy. I need to get a fucking wireless uh, headset for the streams. I, I, I don't know why I haven't. So here's some more of collection. I only have two. I have a GameCube in these two games. My only Xbox 360 game, Lost Odyssey, which is like 16 discs. It's five discs. I don't know how many discs it actually is. One, two, three, four. Here is my Wii U collection. Got that for like $2. That's signed by Mark Mir. Uh, X, obviously. Wonder. <clears throat> Color Splash. Um... That, of course. Then I have Corruption. I've got Chronicles on the Wii, of course. That, Sin and Punishment, and, you know, that, that, it is what it is. Nobody gives a shit about that stuff. Dude, I wish Vanillaware ported Mermossa Rebirth, Odin Sphere. And Dragon's Crown <coughs> on the Switch. Those <laughs> games still look and play incredible on the Vita. Yeah. Why the hell is Dragon's Crown not on? Dude, check this out. Dude, check this out. Dragon's Crown Pro <clears throat> Steelbook Edition sealed. Love this game, man. Love that game. Um, so here's my DS collection. So Chronicles, Metroid. Love this game, by the way. I don't know why I'm addicted to that. Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest, Tetris Ultimate, uh, Puzzle Quest, Castlevania, and a, a shitty whatever the hell that is. And then I, I've got a PS5, uh, PS4 collection, but who gives a shit? <coughs> Guys, I, I'm choking to death here. Hang on. <clears throat> so I did find another stack that came out of, um, came out, uh, when it was probably October. So here's just another stack of random shit that came in on October. Not all of this stuff. Some of it I had to, um, thank you, D. Some of it I had to, uh, check out. Oh no, wait. Okay, Zalen, what has Zalen done? Downloading it, Zalen. Holy shit. Dude, what are you doing? Okay, 
Zalen, you are a maniac. This is edited by Zalen. Let's see what he's done. Oh, you want uh, you want to see more? I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make <laughs> love to my round ball. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round ball. Well, you know, Jesus Jesus is the Lord. I beg your pardon? <sighs> my announcement is this. I never beat Twilight Princess. <laughs> You still won't beat me if you were all the goats. I never beat uh, Skyward Sword either. I think my stream's gonna get banned. Holy shit! Holy shit, dude. You've outdone yourself. Let's watch it once more. Oh, you, uh, you want to see more? I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to <laughs> my round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. Well, you know, Jesus, Jesus is the Lord. I beg your pardon? <sighs> my announcement is this. I never beat Twilight Princess. You still won't beat me if you were all about the ghosts. I never beat uh, Skyward Sword either. <laughs> I think my stream's gonna get banned. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. I mean... Unbelievable. Your congratulations. Fired. I fix it. What does he mean you fix it? Dude, tonight's support has been silly. You guys are insane. Viper. Uh Zalen and Dude, come on, man. Mistaken games gifted a shit ton and Zalen's like editing crazy shit for me. Dude, this is a very low support stream. I'm really disappointed in the support. <laughs> um, we have 156 new members today. Let me say that again. We have 156 members today. I mean, that beats all the records. We've beaten the records. Are you smoking your socks? Essentially, you guys replaced all of the ones that disappeared. I mean, I don't know what to say. You guys are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let me confirm this just to make sure it's not from Argentina. Um, yeah, it's not from Argentina. It isn't. This is just... Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. We are currently at um, we are at 1,305 members again. So all those members we lost because of memberships expiring are all back. Congratulations. Thank you. Holy crap. Unreal. Unbelievable. Like, how long have I been live? Like, it's it, it just... Hang on. I'm going to have to get dinner at some point. Oh, Jay, you can buy some more games now. You don't have that many. Uh, yeah, I'm not... I Again, I have... Um, since February 17th, I've really just like cut down buying anything for myself. Josh says, damn, I was going to stream, but 
Uh, not tonight, I guess. Jostler, sorry. Um, listen to this one. Or not. He says, hire Zalen as your editor, then fire Zalen. That was hilarious. Dude, I agree. So here's another stack of stuff that I didn't necessarily get recently. Um, this is stuff that I actually bought from people on Facebook Marketplace. So I'll tell you how much I paid for some of them. But so these two games I did not get on Marketplace. This was like, <coughs> excuse me, that was like $10. And that was like 20. I had to get that because it's another RPG. Um, you know, I'm obsessed with the RPGs. Now, so you guys know I collect, you guys should know by now I collect Scream Factory releases. This was at like the top of my list for many years. Couldn't get it. I ended up paying in October of the last year. I had paid, I think I paid $70 for this, which is like, a half the price of what it normally would go for. So that had to go in the collection. I got hackers for $20 4k. That was an obvious one. Cause that's also a scream factory. Then nomads. What are you doing? I'll let you play nomads, which is a scream factory release had to go into the scream factory collection. Then I bought uh, sell, Cellar Dweller and Catacombs double feature for, uh, yeah, they do a double feature. Let me show you up close. They do double features. So you can get two great movies for the price of one. Um, they usually have special features on them in that. So Scream Factory is a release uh, company that releases uh, movies. That's it for the Scream Factory stuff. Then I'll say who a uh, somebody made me buy this in 4K. They knew who they are. Then I got the creator for ten bucks. I had never seen it when it came out. I'm like, fine. The Nun two, obviously, I'm a huge fan. Had to see this. Still haven't watched it, of course. The Departed, because I was, you know, I got that for four dollars, I think. Uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, Doctor Strange Love 4K. That was on sale. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome in 4K. I don't even know how this movie got in my collection. Got the Donnie Darko 4K box set from the... I think this is a UK release. But I ordered that... Or sorry, I bought it off of somebody on Amazon. Or on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Reservoir Dogs 4K, because why not? I'm trying to get all Tarantino movies in 4K. Shawshank Redemption in 4K, because, of course. And then four-disc version of The Mist, because there's a black and white version on this that I need to see. And last but not least, this is a Scream Factory release as well. Well, sh the side company, but I still had to buy it. JFK in 4K with, like, five discs. Three discs. Uh, so that's it. Other than that, I am not really buying many. Um, I, I bought all of the Scream Factory I need. I've got too many of them. Now, I show you my Scream Factory collection one day, but it's gigantic. Okay, so what did I miss? No Grays Allowed says ones. Neil, sorry, Mr. Williams said gifted memberships are rigged against me, Infowars. What does that mean? Let me just make sure it's working. This is... Okay, it's working. Um, thank you for the support today. I'm not leaving yet, but... <clears throat> Unfortunately, JFK theatrical release is not on the 4K in the box set. That was a real bummer for me. Oh, isn't it? Dude, I thought it was in here. Wait. Disc one, director's cut. Disc three, theatrical cut. It's only Blu-ray, but it's in here. So they've got um, 
4K director's cut, and then they've got director's cut on Blu-ray. Then they have Blu-ray 3 is theatrical cut. So it's it's in here, but it's not in 4K. Um, and then this one I got for like $10 from somebody in, the, in uh, Vancouver. And it is three, four discs. So we have the color movie, the black and white, and then the color... Um, I'm assuming it's the color version, alternate black and white version, and then all the documentaries. So I want to watch this in black and white. I hear it's great. Sorry, what'd you say? 8-Bit Eric's on LolCal Live again right now? Is he really on lot on there right now? No, there's no way. Why would he why would he go in 30 minutes? Oh, let me uh Let me just see something. Gonna ask him if he's going back on. Cause he said he wouldn't. Why would he go back on, man? Like it's just ugh. What the fuck was that? Wait a minute. Dude, what the hell? Mistaken's gifted another membership. Holy shit, dude. Are you like you are insane. We are officially at 159 members for today's stream. Let's see if Ter um, Terrence messaged me. Who was? Terrence doesn't message me. Terrence only messaged me when he wants to borrow money or fuck. Who was? Congratulations. <laughs> uh, I said that out loud. Um... <laughs> Oh, brother. Oh, it's a bonus stream. Ugh. Let me let me see if I could talk him out of it quickly. Can you imagine I could? Dude, I just I'm streaming right now and people are saying you're going on the show again. I'd say no. But if you want to try to get some words in there, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me let me check his Twitter. Let's see if he's saying anything. Where where does he say? I don't see where Eric says he'll be on. Is there like a thumbnail for the fucking show or something? That's why it says like eight bit Eric's back. Like I don't follow. Um let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Keemstar. Live in 25 minutes for members only. Keemstar. Dude, what the hell is going on? I am the master now. Eight bit tart is what they're calling him, dude. What the hell is Jedi Slayer, dude? I haven't seen you for like a few days. Which suit do you want me to put on? Let me know. Oh man, which suit? You want the monkey suit or do you want the poo suit? In the meantime, I'm gonna take a quick both. I'm not putting both on at once. Oh god, I'll die. I'll die of. Oh, I can't put both on. Honestly, I will die in this house. I'll just die on stream and then it'll be it. Let me know what he says. I gotta, I'm going to take a bathroom break. Hang on, guys.
I'll leave it. I'll leave the camera on. Guys, so you guys can see. What does Jedi say? Jedi's a maniac. What does he say? Let me know what he says. Which suit he wants me to put on, but hang on a second. I am the master now. What did I miss? Which suit do I have to put on? Does he say? Did he say which suit he wants me to put on? Uh, Jedi Slayer? Dude, Mistaken Game has just gifted another goddamn membership. You are a lunatic, dude. And also, did he say which suit? The birthday suit? Both. Yeah, I can't put both on. I'll die instantly. Okay, if he if he's not answering, we'll do a poll. He just he's crazy. Hang on, let's do a poll. Suit. We'll just say suit. We'll say poo or bear. Wait, no, it's not bear. What the fuck am I talking about? Monkey. There we go. Which one is it? Because I don't think he answered. Did he answer? He just showed up, donated, and left. He's a maniac. Absolute maniac. Put one leg in the poo suit, one leg in the monkey. How would that work? No, but then I couldn't put my arms in. Wait, could I? Wait. Do, do, do. No, that'd be weird. Oh, Christopher. So let's see who wins... Right now, it looks like it's tied. It's actually tied. Do not... If you make it 50-50, I will. Trust me, I will. And I don't, I don't know what even that means. Oh, wait. Dude, he's got a thumbnail of you up right now. Eric's not going on.
It's at 58 for the monkey. Wait a minute. Lol Cow Live made a t-shirt with Eric's face on it? What? Oh, a short, not a shirt. Okay. Dude, so what? They're trying to get you to go on? Unbelievable. Embarrassing. One's checking now. Yeah. Uh, Zaylin, thank you, dude. So, it looks like the monkey's winning, guys. And there's only 82 votes? What is happening? How many people are watching right now? Almost three, uh, 250. And that's all we're getting? Vote! Vote for the suits! It's, it's, it's five dollars! Five dollars! Kidding. Listen, I would piss on Keemstar's beard. Congratulations. I would, if he needed me to. I'm just saying. You know, maybe he's into that shit. Like, what if the sex shed's all about pissing on each other? You know, we never discussed that before. It could be like a piss shed, right? We don't know until he confirms it. Well, it looks like the monkey suit wins. Holy shit. Adam W. Listen, I'm going to watch you take a bath. Cat. Sorry, that, that dance got that dance got a little sexy there. Show us your tail. I showed the tail. For the love of God. I'm I'm actually really fucking hungry right now. That's what happens when you don't eat dinner. Give us a little tail. Fine. That's it. That's it. I feel like a tool. I feel like I've been used by my audience tonight. Give us a tail. Give us a tail. Dude, it's if this stream wasn't a low support stream, holy shit. Everyone just wants to see the tail now. It's unbelievable. It looks like I put on 50 pounds in the suit. Also, this is kind of tight. <clears throat> I, this is unreal. Like, I'm going to phone PETA. PETA, PETA, or whatever they're called, and tell them that this is animal abuse. I just want to sit on stream and have a good time with you guys. What the fuck is going on? Mistaken game 
has gifted me a thousand fucking Argentinian memberships tonight. Thank you, dude. It never ends. Dude, I seriously. just may first all over my desk to your tail spin. Well, that's your congratulations. Fire. Dude, how are those real? Like, have you been saving money? Like, what do you do for a living? How many people have you murdered? How many bones have you hid in a cellar? Like, what is going on? How do you keep gifting memberships? Where do you work? Do you work at NASA? Do you work at the place where they print the money? What are you doing? Also, my cat's lost her fucking mind. She's over here just hitting shit. But dude, seriously, what are you doing? Are you selling cheeseburger on the corner again? What is going on? Yeah, sorry, I just lost my mind. Maybe he works at Google. Listen, where do you work? What do you do? Give us some info. Listen, let this is a two-way street, okay? Your support means so much to me. However, I wanted to say, um, what do you, give us some info. Are you on my Discord? Like, where are you? Listen. Yes, I know. You don't like to be picked up. Just calm your tits. Calm down. Jesus Christ. They want to see you. Jesus Christ. They just want to see you for a fucking second. You goddamn maniac here. Yes, I know you were playing. You're a beautiful... Look, look at this cat. You're a beautiful little kitty. No. Yes, I know. I know. She doesn't like to be picked up, guys. Look at her. Look at this. She's got no legs. She, look, she fell right off of me. Unbelievable. No legs. Can barely meow. That poor cat. Thank you for supporting her catnip addiction tonight. Also, the, the fun to get her legs back. I wanna see Zelda's tail. Okay, here. You want to see Zelda? Baby. 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 Ready? Ready? You've got one job. Oh. Hang on. Baby, they want to see you. Here. Here, ready? Ready? <sighs> Terrence, um, I wanted to show you my balls. Now, it's been a while since you've seen them, but here they are. Um... I want you to put him in your asshole. So thanks. Congratulations. Yeah, I don't know. You don't want to play. You're a maniac cat. You're a, you're a nuisance. I want to put you in a burlap sack and hang you from the goddamn ceiling because you're you're insane. Anyways, did um I want to see Zelda's tail? Listen, I showed you Zelda's tail. Also, I'm dying of heat in here now. Woo. Um, mistaken game. Has he answered any questions? Has he answered any questions in the chat? What he's doing? Like he's he's a maniac. Who's Snipe J? What do you mean? She's a maniac. And also, he has? Okay, what did he say? What did I miss? Because Zelda was being annoying. Um... 167 subs are members today. Unbelievable. We are at a total amount of... ...1,314. And I got a crackhead cat running around. I completely forgot the questions. 
my questions were like, who are you? Is this your first time watching? Because you're insane. Road to coo- t- road to 2K. Dude, I don't know if we can hit 2K. Like, uh, that's, that's, don't even start with that stuff. We have done more than enough. Um, was out more members? Damn. Yeah, Beast. We got like another 40 members. It's just stupid. Also, I'm dying of heat in here. Also, the monkey's not right. What's wrong with the monkey? There he is. Also, where's, why is my hair everywhere? Look at this. You guys, can you see my hair? Can't really see it. Oh man, whip the monkey out. You're Congratulations. Fired. You guys just want to see me dance like a monkey. That's what this is really about. Also the crackhead cat running around. Bald J. I'm not bald. God. Who was? Who wireless? Never enough for you, Jay. You deserve more members. Ugh, come on. Heatstroke says Richard L. Dude, I'll probably get it. I mean, yeah, I mean, my ass does look good in the in it. Portable ham sandwich. Dude, I wish I could eat you right now because I'm starving. Thank you. Just gifted another membership, dude. We're at 168 now for this. Oh, man, you guys are insane. I should look at ordering something because I ate nothing for dinner. Yeah, this is a high support stream. I don't think anything's open. Make it one. We're at 168. What are we at? What did I just say? We're at 169 right now. Let's skip the dishes is down. Looks like I am eating air. I'm going to eat the air tonight. Hellcat just gifted a membership. Holy shit. What is wrong with you guys? For the culture. Hellcat, you are a goddamn legend. Um I am le- I am error. He already did that. Support Jay's slow stream. S- low stream. Anyways, today's been insane. What time is it? I'm all What? I've been streaming for five hours? Jesus Christ. Okay, well, let me just say that tomorrow my mom's on the show at 5 p.m. She's going to be here how much for 12 a.m.? Two more hours? Oh, my God. Um, I mean, I, 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 my mind is gone at the moment because I didn't eat. If I had food here, then we'd have a different story. I could just keep going. But the moment, man, I am starving to death. Are you smoking your socks? I'll order. What do you want? You know what I want. Chili. Mistaking game with another donation. Order pizza. Eat it on stream. Oh, you guys are insane. You guys are insane. We didn't talk about ghosts, living legend. We didn't even get to the ghosts because of lunacy. Stream for 10 hours. <laughs> Dill pickle. Thanks, man. Order a $70 pizza. Dude, if I ordered a pizza right now, it probably would cost $70. I want ghosts, says Julie. Yeah, we didn't even get to the ghost stories, which I'll save for Sunday now. No, Friday's not the new spooky nights. I just, I was going to talk about some things that Um, but we got derailed. Let's be honest. Uh, tomorrow we'll be live at five with my mom. Uh, it'll be a short stream so I could spend time with her. So tomorrow at five, it'll probably be two hours max. What derailed the stream? Good question. Me being an idiot. Wait, are we at 169? Yeah, we are at 171 members for today. Living Legend just gifted another one. So we're at 172. K 
Can I just say that no YouTubers get this many? Whales. Wens is like, whales derailed the stream. Uh, not, they didn't really derail it, but... Oh my god. Xander's like, throwing in the pizza fun. Jay, check out Berserker Boy. What, what's Berserker Boy? Like an anime, or a... What is it? Xander, how you doing, by the way? Appreciate your support, dude. Always... You are a legend. Thank you. Uh, check out Xander's channel as well if you want. Click his name. He's got amazing uh, retro videos that he does over there. Throwing in the pizza funds. Jay, check out Berserk Boy. Oh. What time is it? Oh, man. I'm thinking of my energy level if I could do midnight. Jay, do you have the Elite PS controller or Xbox controller? I have... What do I have? Hang on. I have... I have something. Hang on. Eat on Steam. Oh, it's over here. Hang on. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. I think it's upstairs. Listen, order a pizza. Use my as a table and my butthole to keep the dip in. And eat that like Dreamcast guy eats a carp. Let's go. What just fucking happened? I got up to look for a controller and... And fucking Jedi Slayer shoved $50 in my ass. And Kane's Col Corner just shoved 20 in my ass. Oh, you guys are going to be the end of me. Oh. oh, my God. Wait, are you f streaming from a closet? Yes, Dreamcast guy's right back there. He's about to put a fish in my ass. What is happening? I go look for my Xbox controller and get back and there's like... You missed the 99 from earlier. No, I didn't, did I? No. Jedi Slayer, I called it out, didn't I? What do you mean I missed it? Dude, you're a legend. I, I talked about that, didn't I? I'd feel terrible. Um, Jedi Slayer's now donated 150. Like, you are a maniac. I gotta basically wear this for six hours. And then uh, Kane's Corner said, Listen, order pizza. Use my ass as a table. Uh, my butthole to keep the dip in. <laughs> and eat it like Dreamcast guy eats a carp. Let's go. You're Congratulations. Fire. Eat on stream. Okay. Okay, uh, mistaken games gifted one membership, dude. It's it's Easter. It's Easter Sunday. Or in addition to the pizza fun, here's for the sandwich fun. Hang on, hi Oma. Hi, my Oma's messaging me. Hi Oma, love you. All right, hang on. Um, hang on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't push yourself, broski. Um, hang on, hang on. Okay, if I can order pizza right now, I'm dead serious. If I can order pizza, I'll stay. If I can't, I have to go and make something, which I could turn the camera around and just make food. Um, let's see if, let's see if a pizza is available. Um, 
No. <laughs> That's not available. Uh, gas station food? This, this, sorry, wait, wait, wait. This restaurant manages its own delivery. It might be open. It might be open. I'll, uh, yeah, I don't feel like a gas station pizza. Okay. <laughs> you guys are absolutely insane. Hang on then. Let me see if the website's saying it's open. Okay, pizza tonight, da da, da 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 Just dox myself, that's good. Um, it might be? Anyways, how many of you want me to eat a pizza on stream? And, and just stay here for another two hours? That's, you guys are maniacs. Okay, I gotta mute myself for this one. Hang on. For the tip. Dude, what is happening? What did, what is happening? I just ordered a pizza and you tipped again. Dude, Jedi Slayer is a maniac. Absolute maniac. Um, the pizza will be here in 40 minutes. So you guys got me until like at least midnight. So congratulations. Congratulations. You blew it. You're fired. Holy shit. You guys are maniacs. Okay, we're doing a late stream. Let's have fun tonight. We'll, uh, I'll try to be as high energy as possible. I ordered a large with bacon, Italian sausage, green pepper, and green olives. I think that might be it. So huge shout out to a few people here. Oh my God. Like, what are we going for? A what the fuck is happening? Portable's ham sandwich donated nine says, in addition to the pizza fund, here's a sandwich fund. You're Congratulations. fired. 
Thank you for that. Absolutely insane. What is going on? Like, you're breaking me here. Um... I mean... I <laughs> John's mom donated a dollar. I'm not going to disclose who that is, but holy fuck, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> you fucking lunatic. I love you, man. I love you. You are a fucking lunatic. Um, it's not, by the way, that's not Rich. Uh, you know, you never know when Rich will pop up. He's like fucking, uh, the tall guy from Polka Dot Door, Polka Roo. He might just randomly appear, but you never know. Uh, just not tall. Uh, Dennis said, Jesus, love the streams, feel like hanging out if with If there's friend. pineapple on that pizza, I'm unsubscribing and canceling my membership. I would never betray you, Mr. Awesome. Are you kidding me? You're a legend. Um, Hellcat gave me a gifted membership. Like, okay, what are we at? We're at a hundred. Hang on. Let me refresh this. Also, I got to listen for the door. We're at 179 members for this stream. Can we hit 200 by midnight? I, I mean, I don't mean to do a goal and it's not a goal. I'm just curious if we can get 21 more and, and, and that would, that would break the record. Listen, restream my horror game stream, and What? Jostler has lost his goddamn mind. Listen, restream, listen, restream my horror game stream and come. Are you streaming right now? <laughs> oh no. Um, I'm missing things here. Dennis said Jesus loved the streams. They feel like hanging out with a friend. I have spooky stories. I could share them if you want. To go to midnight, midnight, if not Sunday. Let's do that Sunday, dude. If you can come back on Sunday, that'd be great. Uh, Jedi Slayer donated fifty dollars and said, "Here's for the tip, dude. I'll put the tip right Congratulations. in." Congratulations. Did you Fire. order extra ectoplasm on the pizza? Absolutely. I'm shooting a giant load on that sucker. You're fired. Sorry, Alice. You are a female, and I'm sure that you didn't want to hear that. But I've announced it now, and I can't go back. Spookster Vibes has become a member. Thank you for that. Review Tech USA donated a dollar, which is obviously a troll. I could tell it's not the real rich. It said, hey, can we bury the hatchet? Love the stream and the bean. <sighs> That's actually funny you say that, because the, the cat is known as the bean. Lucifer Sam donated, sorry, gifted a membership to himself and said, good cause, just got here. You're a legend. Mistaken Gamer, again, Mistaken Game has gifted another five. Dude, have you stolen your grandma's credit card? You're fired. Um, Amanda F says burger fund for $5. Thank you, Amanda. I appreciate you. And then Quantum TV's hood ornament. <laughs> gifted five members as well which has now put us at 185 so close to the 200 goal this is just stupid it's just stupid we don't we didn't need to do this what happened why did we do this um no don't is that don't do that to me don't do that stupid joke. That is fucking terrible. That's a fucking terrible joke, dude. That's so stupid. It's so stupid. You've lost your fucking mind. Um I'm not listen, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to read that one so you shut up. Uh Beast says here's 5. Okay, okay. Hang on. I need a second. I need a Give me a, you guys are ridiculous. Hang on. You broke me. I need money for the, I need money for the, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hang on. I got to pay the guy. Got to make sure I have money for him.
Yeah. Yeah, I got my wallet. I got my wallet just for the pizza guy. We're going to have a pizza party. Let me get the pizza table. Pizza table. Okay. Pizza table's there. Pizza table's there. Um, I, I fell. The pizza table knocked me down. I actually cut myself. I'm bleeding internally. Holy shit. Um, yeah. Somebody said, is that your wallet? Yeah, here. Here's my wallet. I'm 42 years old. This is my wallet. Well, I might dox myself if I open it. Hang on. Yeah, that's my wallet. That's how I... That's, uh... That's my wallet. You guys, you guys seen Canadian money before? That's what a hundred dollars in Canada looks like. Isn't that weird? Very weird. Um, the pizza cost. So the pizza cost twenty-seven dollars, right? And I'm gonna give the guy forty dollars, thirteen dollar tip. Actually, you know what? How much do I have on me here? Because you guys have been donating so much and it's like out of this world. Let's the pizza's twenty seven dollars. Uh, how much tip should I give the guy? Yeah, pizza costs twenty seven dollars. Welcome to my world. That's why I didn't want to get any. Hey, Jesus. Sorry, I'm late. Just clocked out from Papa John's. Was throwing pizzas like a madman. <laughs> You're meeting Good all boy. the goals tonight. So I need you to restart the stream for me. Also, I wash teat bit Terry con locale. You're you dude, you're ridiculous. Let's 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 tip the guy. How much should we tip him? So the pizza is twenty-seven dollars plus tax. So I mean, it's or it's twenty-seven. Give him fifty total. That's it. Nah, we got. Dude, you guys seriously? Let's play it forward here. Um. I don't understand the culture of tipping. Give him a fifty. Just give him a fifty. So I'm looking at the chat. Tipping is good. Yeah, 40, 10 is plenty. Tip him a 50 and rub his tummy. Who was? I'd give him 40. Dude, the pizza's 27. How much should I tip him on top of that? Should I just give him a $50 bill and say Merry Christmas? Or should I give him $70 and say Merry Christmas? Tip. <laughs> <laughs> Fabian, Fabian in the chat is ruthless. Fabian says, give the guy $5. Oh. Sega and White Lando say 70. Okay, here, let's do it. Let's do a poll. You guys, you guys can decide how much the pizza guy gets tipped tonight. Pizza tip. Okay, we're going to make this brutal. We're going to make it brutal. Sorry, we're going to make this brutal. $5 tip? Or a t let's do $5 just to see how many trolls we have here. $5, 20 or let's say $40 tip. There's the poll. You guys decide. You have until he gets here. Uh, I put the $5 to see how ruthless people could be. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that people are going to be brutal. Oh, no. Jacob, thank you, dude. I just ordered pizza from a place. Oh, I'm in the fucking suit. I'm in the goddamn suit. I got to answer the door in this shit because of uh, you guys.
I'm, I guess I am. Take the camera with you. I could, um, I, I don't want to put anyone on camera that doesn't want to be on camera, so I can't really do that. Bring the pizza guy on stream. Dude, I should, I should actually say, hey, I'm streaming right now. If you come in, I'll give you like 20 bucks. Um, another dollar donation from mom. Dude, come on. Oh. Thank you, guys. By the way, yeah, we, we are at 190, 190 members. Thank you for that, like, yeah. It is ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. Tip him the 100 and make his night like we do for you. I put the official, ch yeah, well, I mean, that's not a bad idea, too. However, I, the, right now, $40 tip is winning. $5 is, like, really up there. I want, you guys are deciding. I think giving the guy $100 would be a bit much. Uh, he's literally driving four minutes down the road. So, let me cover his gas for the night. Enraged Gecko says, a wax scrotum is an unhappy scrotum. You're Congratulations. fired! A hundred's overkill. Uh, well, ones would probably give the guy $6,000 if he could. Here's a five uh, for you, bud. BFG, thank you. Appreciate it. Camera on door in your suit, $100. I have to answer it in this stupid suit. I'm going to give the guy $40. The, the, um, so here. I'm giving the guy a $40 tip flat out. And then I'm paying for the pizza with 30. So he's getting, you guys, you guys win. You guys win. That's what's happening. So he's getting $40 and then I'm paying for the pizza. So he's getting $43 at the end of the tip, which I think is a pretty good, pretty good tip. Well, I mean, listen, I like to help other people out. You know, usually it's college kids or it's uh, like single dads in this town that work at these pizza places or they're like stay at home fathers that work on night times. So $70 plus the pizza. So, I mean, that that's, that's what he'll get. And, um, I'll say it's from you guys. I'll say I'm streaming and they, they wanted you to get a tip. Uh, Smosh is just take the, take the fucking pizza and then just shut the door. <laughs> give him 40. If he agrees to come in on stream, give him 70. It'll be incentive. Dude, I don't want a creepy guy on the stream. Um, there's legal issues with that. You know, I got to get like permission from people. And it's just in the last second here. I don't want to, I don't even want to get into more legal issues right now. I'm in enough of them. Uh, Enraged Gecko, thank you. Tip the, tip him in the poo suit and call him Christopher. Oh, Christopher. Thank you, uh, Gothy. I appreciate it. Tip him in the poo suit and call him Christopher. That's one thing I could do. Um, but I'm wearing this now. Uh, Jacob says, give him 40 and then bring him on stream. Give him 70. It'll be an incentive. Dude, I wish I could just bring random people in the stream, but uh, I'm not even risking anything silly like that on my channel. You know? You guys are going to get me until, like, at least midnight. And um, let me just send a message to somebody else. To my girlfriend, let's just be honest. Okay. Phil, what's up? Tell her you're with the boys. Uh, she's watching right now. Who was? So her and her cat, they watch me while I stream. The cat actually watches the screen, which is adorable. I love them. Again, cover the mouth. Nice to know you call her baby. Of course I call her baby. What am I going to call her? Shitstorm? Like, 
uh, who am I dating again? Terrence? Terrence used to call me hideous. Hideous names. Uh, he used to hit me. It was ridiculous. How long? <laughs> ah, fuck. Just like AUA's presidential election, the trolls stole votes from the mainstream choice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, the mainstream choice was $5, wasn't it? Uh, Dave Calzone says, how long you going tonight? Stuck at work until 7 a.m. Let's go. Going to head to bed this soon since I have to work in the morning. Are you watching, babe? Let me know. Are you watching? Maybe she's watching with the sound off. She does that sometimes or has it low. Babe, are you watching? I love you. I think she's sleeping. When I, the I pizza you, guy shows up, tip him, invite into your place, and then... Offer to give in your other tip. Go for it, Jay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You want me to, you want me to hard R the pizza guy on stream? You're Congratulations. Fired. Oh, God, you guys are lunatics. Astro donating. Astro Zombies is gonna ask Jay to touch his ass gingerly. Jay, why do you come? I think one's is outside my house, I scared. <laughs> Babe, I, I am watching Doritos Chip. What the fuck does that mean? That's not my girlfriend. Who is that? Oh, I see who it is. Dude, you are a fucking lunatic tonight. I hope you're getting some classics out of this one. She's not watching. She, uh, she gave up long time ago. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. She's like, fuck this shit. Wow. Um, okay. I'm just checking the recent events. Uh, let's just, can I just say this, you know, because I'm transparent with you guys. Um, today's stream is rivaling, ri rival rivaling. Hi, today's stream is rivaling. Congratulations. Rival, rival, rivaling for the love of God. My February 17th stream. Like, you guys have done crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Papa John's new pizza has cup pepperoni. And they mix our red sauce with the Alfredo sauce as the oh. base. It's scarier than Quantum's dating history dot hats. <laughs> Oh man, Jacob, you were fucking legend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I just mixed up Jacob with thank you, and I called him thank up. Listen, thank up. Oh, Chris, oh, Chris, 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 you're fired. Thank up. Appreciate you. Uh, you are hilarious, dude. I love your sense of humor, too. So, uh,. Jay's mom donated and says, sorry for the past. Stop it. <laughs> My mom's going to be here tomorrow at five. I hope you guys show up for this lunacy. What is happening now? Eric's sending me a voice message, which I probably can't read on here. When the pizza guy shows up, open the door with the monkey suit on. 
I am opening the door with this stupid shit on. Yeah, you can't, Terrence, you can't hear shit. Who was? Get real. Every time we make fucking chili together, I tell you. I fucking tell you the chili's done. And and this is this is Terrence on the couch, ready? The chi- the kitchen's over there. I yell at him. The, the the fucking chili is done. And this is Terrence. And I'm like, Terrence, the chili's fucking done. And this is him. Every once in a while he'll do this. So I don't know what to say to you, man. You need a fucking what? hearing aid. God damn it. Sick of you. You always burn the chili. Jay's mom, thank you for the donation. Uh, when did we order the pizza? It should be here soon, right? Let's let's check. I ordered it at uh, 25 minutes ago. Let me double check. Here we go. Pizza guy's here. Terrence, get your underwear off. What's up? Let's see if the cops are nice to him and just sit right back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me just put this down. What is it, 27? Well, here's 40 for you in your pocket. Thank you. Because they uh, wanted to give you a tip. Want to make sure that these are perfectly clean, man. Thank you. Well, yeah, bring it. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Thank you. You got to thank my stream. They donated the money to give to you. Absolutely. I'll tell them. Absolutely. Thanks, man. There you go. Did you guys hear it? Did you guys hear it? I gave him $40 and I said, here you go. And he went, holy shit. He thought the $40 was, uh, he thought the $40 was like to pay for the pizza. And I'm like, no, 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 that's, <laughs> I-, I said that that's just your tip. Uh, the reaction to the suit. I, I said, sorry, sir. I have to wear the suit. They're forcing me to. And he was like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> he didn't know what I was talking about. Sorry. That's the best one of the night. Ones, ones. How did ones do that? Ones usually has a very sick sense of humor, but this is on another level. Thank you. Review Tech USA said, I'm so jealous I'm starving. And my mom says, I'm coming home. I'm coming early tomorrow. Be ready, bitch. <sighs> Who was? You're fired. Okay. So I gave him the $40 in the stupid suit. And I told him that you guys were forcing me to wear the suit. Um, He's like, okay. So I said, uh, here's, I said, first, here's $40 for your wallet. And he went, oh, thanks. And he started to walk away because he thought that was for the pizza and the tip. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, the the stream wants to tip you 40 bucks. He's like, stream. I'm like, yeah, I'm streaming. He's like, like internet. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, thank you. So he, how many teeth did he have? Maybe five, maybe. Okay, I found this on the web. For how many teeth do you have? Maybe five, maybe. Check it out. Shut the fuck up. Okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did she say she shut up? Oh my god. Tonight's off the rails. Did Siri say did Siri say yes? 
<laughs> Wait a minute, Zaylin, did you get that? I hope you got that. <laughs> Why did she say that? Normally she says, I won't listen to that. Hey Siri, listen, I'm sad that you've been treated this way. Uh, I hope you feel better. There you go. Ready for the pizza unveiling? I can't believe you guys got me to stay until midnight. It, it looks terrible, doesn't it? Hang on. So I got dipping sauce here. Here we go. Hang on. Here we go. I smell the bacon. I smell the bacon. Okay, I smell the bacon. I don't smell the, the sausage. Um, I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. I mean, the carriage, the carriage is not as crispy as I like. Overall, it's pretty good. I'm starving, so. <clears throat> so, yeah, that pizza right there costs $70. Let's go. Let's go. So, my cat just tried to jump up on me. Let me go get a new drink. This one's cold. Hang on. Can you guys guess what I'm drinking? Wait, did I say this one's cold? Did I say this one's cold? Also, I'm dying in this goddamn suit. I'm not drinking in Arizona. Yeah. I, uh. An all... I'm not... No, I'm not. I'm not drinking that. How do you guys not know what I'm drinking? All right, so what are we doing for the rest of the night? You guys, you guys, listen, you guys demanded I stay. So what the hell are we doing? Somebody says, play a game. Terrence says, feed me pizza. Mistaken is gifted a goddamn membership. Unfortunately, I don't have any um, systems attached to the computer at the moment. I mean, I guess I could. It'd be a bit of a setup, but. Let's watch some YouTube videos. What about, what about, what about scary ghost videos? Let's get it. Let's get a bunch of things in the chat and see. So there's like, we could watch scary ghost videos and react to that together. I should have got thin crust. I'm going to throw this whole pizza out. Mmm. All right. Yeah, that's eighty dollars pizza. That's that's. Mm. 
What the hell is going on? I said that like Alan Wake. Oh my god. You guys are insane tonight. Jay, you need a cold, crisp Dr. Pepper. It'll put hair on your chest. And you'll get plenty of O Christophers, or me, sit on a slice of pizza until the end. I am not sitting on a slice of pizza. I am not. To sit on a slice of pizza? I'd have to put a bag down. It would ruin my monkey suit. I mean, it is tempting, to be honest, but... Mistaken Game has gifted another goddamn membership. He's lost his mind. He's out of control. Someone needs to stop him. Um, Jacob Stanford wants me to have a Dr. Pepper. Dude, if I drink a Dr. Pepper, Pepper, I'll die. Okay, let's do this. Ghost videos. Do, do we have any requests on which type of ghost videos? Somebody said nuke. Nuke top five ghost videos. I say ghost videos, says the bubster, who just became a super legend. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mr. One Eye Guy just subscribed which I appreciate since my subscribers have stopped. God damn it. Nukes top five tier list videos. So if I look up nukes, all right. You guys asked for this. I'm I'm scared. What happened? Dill Pickle, thank you. Middle East ghost hunting videos are always top. Over the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. There's here. always a reason. Yeah, there's always a reason to shit your pants in the gym and throw it at a fucking janitor. Now fuck off. Here we go. Tell me if it's too loud. Late one night in Mexico City. Who's talking? It sounds like Kane's Corner. The concerned woman calls the local police. Also, yeah, I don't have YouTube Premium. <laughs> I don't have YouTube Premium. <laughs> I don't have... Nukes top five. Why won't you me, Christopher? <laughs> uh, Jostler, I never said I wouldn't. Sorry, is, how's the volume? She hears strange, unexplained noises coming from her son's apartment just above her. Right there? The problem is, her son is out of town, and the apartment should be empty. The police quickly arrive on the scene, but they don't find anyone inside. No robber, no trespasser. You know, why did, why did you guys want me to watch this one? Is he, like, is he the best? However, the officers do... Is he the best or something? Will you stop it, you crack? He's the best. Okay. Should Okay, second question. Should we make it darker and spookier in here? Let me know. Yes, okay. Hang on. Hang on.
How's that? <laughs> How's this? How's this? Scary? Did you hear a fart? I didn't fart. Are you crazy? Why would I fart on stream? All right. Let's go. Ghosts. We hear strange noises like banging and the low murmur of voices. They are concerned that someone might be hiding inside the residence. So the officers radio headquarters and ask that a nearby public CCTV camera be focused on the windows of the upstairs apartment. Why does it always have to be apartments? What the camera captures is downright chilling. Here we go. What? What the fuck is that? You guys see that? The CCTV camera captures the ghostly figures of three children looking out the window as the police leave. The apartment building's longtime security guard claims that every 10 years this same strange phenomenon happens, and no one knows how or why. I don't know, man. That could be easily projected onto the window could be projected from inside the house. It could just be DSP's secret love childs. I was going to say something else, but I'm not. <laughs> it That's easy to fake, man. I could fake that by taking a piss in a toilet. Let's get real. He says that no children have ever lived in that apartment, so he has no idea. Terrence in the chat. Chat says project it on my left ass cheek listen your ass cheek's so big it would cover the fucking screen you know who was now who or what this might be to this day the footage remains a mystery dogster i love you dude black sheep what's up i i think that video is terrible wisman's wood it's a dark and rainy day when a teenager and his two younger sisters set out to explore the haunted Wisman's Wood in Devon, England. That's like from Lord of the Rings. Uh, they're guaranteed there's six fairies in there. Local legend says that the haunted forest was once considered sacred ground by the ancient druids and that any hiker should stay away from the woods at night. Who the fuck hikes in this woods? How do you walk in there? There's like rocks with moss. You'd crack your skull in two seconds and then Terrence would grab your body and bring it home. Night or during bad weather. The three siblings have been walking for about an hour when the older brother decides to make a short video complaining about the rain. What happens next is truly bizarre. What what happens? Let me know. We're walking for like an hour now. It is it down. These Talking two are don't doing my out. head in. It's I getting dark. It's really it dark. Out. I Did you see it? A dark, what? eerie figure seems to be staring at them before quickly disappearing out of sight. The video El is posted to YouTube by a friend of the family who believes they might have caught some sort of paranormal sighting in Wisman's Wood. Justin, don't make me laugh. It's getting dark. <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> and a happy new year. TikTok user Sav is celebrating New Year's Eve with her mom. Wait, why are there sparks coming out of her? Oh man, that made me laugh. Other when something happens that they... What do you guys think of that last video? You know who that was? That was DSP at the local fish shop, seeing if any of the shrimp fell off the truck. Simply can't explain. Oh, shit. Listen, fuck ads.
All right. Shit like this actually scares me, guys. Dark Anus is finally here. Listen, I thought the only Dark Anus we were talking to tonight was Terrence's. But no, the real Dark Anus is here, Terrence. You had one job, to fill in for the Dark Anus. Guess what you didn't do? I'm sick of your shit. Congratulations. Man. You're fired! Mistaken game. Thank you again, man. You are a lunatic. I love you. Alright. One, two, three. Straight up. Oh. Alright. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh! I can get it. <laughs> Twist it. Shit like this, guys, makes me hard as a fucking rock. The idea that dad's watching down on these two beautiful women enjoying a New Year's Eve party. My cock Where is harder than I cement. Where I used to live, there was a park you could visit during the day called Bradgate Park. It has the ruins of where Lady Jane Grey used to live, and the she's buried there. Local rumor is it's haunted. But I never confirmed that. You didn't confirm if there's a ghost or not. How dare you? Also, the X-Men's buried there? That's weird. Why would they put her there? Anyways, this, this video... Kane's Corner, seriously though. That's fucked up. Jay, check out Hoya Batu Haunted Forest in Transylvania. One of Whoa. the most... Haunted forests in the world. So many unexplained events there. Actually, living legend. I have heard of that fucking place. Josso says, Dreamcast guy meets DSP at a fish shop. What happens? If DSP met Dreamcast guy at a fish shop, that would be like the oily, oiliest fuck fest you've ever heard of. And it would all be Phil facing a wall while Dreamcast guy just went to town on him. There'd be fish oil everywhere, shrimp everywhere. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh my God. Now, I gotta admit, when shit like this happens, yeah, Jostler, I put a trout in my ass. When shit like this happens, guys, do you believe that somebody from the other side is making a message to you and telling you, hey, fuckers, don't celebrate without my spirit? Do you think that's really happening? How many in the chat believe in ghosts? Nah, a few people saying, nah. Some saying yes. Bag of fries says zero. Nervous Greg believes in schizophrenia. <laughs> Trust me, after the last month I've dealt with people, I believe it too. Man, wow. Zalen says, I believe our spirits have some power. Yes.
Dennis is that I'm not uh, discouraging the existence of ghosts, um, but I've seen nothing to convince me 100%. True. Holy shit. What the hell? I'm trying to fucking shoot! Help! Oh my god. I'm, I'm trying to shoot. Hang on a second. Oh god. I finally. I have to. Please stop. I, is Jedi still here? Please don't. Oh God, I'm sweating to death. Hang on. Oh, it's like giving birth. I'm giving birth to myself. Oh yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. You know how many shits I took in that suit? Oh my god. Is that a creeper shirt? No. Here's the shirt I'm wearing. Here we go. That's the face you uh, you make when it goes in the wrong hole. <laughs> you blew it. Congratulations. What the f Sav's father passed away nearly a year and a half ago and the family displays his snow globe to remember him. As Sav says that the puppy in the globe actually looks a lot like her dad. However, the snow globe hasn't worked for a long time. But just as Sav and her mother pop confetti to celebrate the new year, the globe inexplicably starts playing We Wish You a Merry Christmas, beginning right at the part of the song that contains the line and a Happy New Year. Sav believes that it was a sign from her father that he's still there and he's still watching over them. I mean, it's nice to have those thoughts, right? The idea, like, I broke up with Terrence. He's not in my house. But sometimes I think about him, you know? Every time I take the garbage out, I always say, wow, this is Terrence's spirit. It's come to bless me. Or every time I take a shit and wipe my ass, I think of the times that Terrence used to shit next to me while I was in the bathtub. So, you know, maybe it's real. The Watcher in the Woods. A guy named Ryan lives with his mom and little sister out in the remote woods of the Washita Mountains in Oklahoma. Okay, one day at around 5 me. p.m., Ryan is outside no. shoving a Christmas tree into the trunk of his car. Shoving a Christmas tree? Huh? What if it's a body? Oh no, what? I saw a ghost eat but my ass hard slip so fast. You can't do that. You can't do that to me while I'm eating. By the way, I've ate half this pizza. Jostler. I think Jostler might have taken the night. Dude, I can't. You can't do that. Sour Balls gifted a membership. Thank you, Sour Balls. I love your balls. Congratulations. As you do, when his security camera captures something truly unnerving. I'm nervous. Wait. If this is like a ghost that runs up and puts it in him, I am going to be turned on, bricked up. Let's go. What the hell? Okay.
That was basically Terrence looking for mushrooms for his stews, but... I mean, that's... Someone or something seems to walk through the woods towards Ryan, then bend over and just kind of disappear into thin air. Ryan says that he didn't see or hear anyone at the time, and after viewing the footage, the family is concerned that a stranger might have been trespassing on their land. But obviously, they can't explain how this person could have just disappeared. So is this something paranormal caught on camera? Nah. Or is it something even scary? That's Phil looking for his fucking DoorDash order. Here, a stranger hiding in the remote. That literally is Phil looking for his DoorDash order down the road. Woods near a family's home. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Not out of the woods. Let me put the pizza away. If I keep eating this, I'm going to have a fucking really bad memory of Terrence holding me down and feeding me. So hang on. All right, how many people are still watching? I haven't even checked. How many people are watching right now? 200? Five? That's it? Wow. Belgian urban explorer and vlogger Siez sets out on a trip to a large abandoned campsite in Belgium with three of his friends. The group arrives at the Terrence says, how much to rub that pizza slice on your nipple? I mean, in a private video or on stream? On stream's like 600. <laughs> 200 people. Yeah, that's what I guess. Um, if I rub this pizza on my tits, wouldn't I get shut down? Campsite after dark and begins exploring. Now, Sias has visited this. Listen, guys, just so you know, Terrence is bricked up in the chat. So watch out. Eh? He'll start offering money to anybody to see a nipple. Same abandoned campgrounds three times. But as the group walks down a dark wooded path, he spots something that wasn't there before. Here is the ingang, the port. Privaat, dit is een plaats van gebed. Gelief onze ruimte respecteren. Gebed. En daar staat op, pas op, waken. Ja, ik ben hier heel lang geleden geweest en stond hier vol met bungalows, met campings, met caravans. This guy reminds me of Leafy is here. No chin. Mobile homes, midden in het bos, allemaal verspreid, super vet. En ineens is hier een waakhond. Maar dat is gewoon tak. Ja, ja, dat hebben ze hier gewoon zelf gemaakt. Kijk, dat is een hip, dat maakt dat is hier gewoon een zigeunerkamp of een, of een hippie camping of zo geworden. Hallo? Ik maak een goed stap. Ik hoor van alles hier. Dit is zo f***ing eng. Oh, wat? Hallo? Now, I'll tell a story about this campsite thing. In downtown, sorry, in Mississauga, Ontario, near the Credit River, there's a campsite that is like this, where it's, I think it's a Polish thing, but they have weird signs everywhere, and if you were to stumble across it, you'd be like, what the fuck is this? And the myth is that little people live there, which is not true, it's just a Polish commune of people, probably eating pierogies or something. So, 
Actually, I've been there and I ate a pierogi from there. So just so you know. But um, Paul the Alien, what are you doing? Mogen we hier binnenkomen? So the guys are a little creeped out by the makeshift signs and barrier. They decide to just play it safe and walk away, taking an official public path back through the woods. But it turns out that they are not safe at all. Josso says Connecticut has a little people of village too. See? What's with the villages? Because things are about to take a terrifying turn. What? We zijn iets verder gewandeld en dit blijkt hola hola. Ja, gewoon een wandelpad te zijn. Dus hier kunnen wij wandelen. Wat rijdt hier? Autobanden. That's fake. Dat is er niet een auto of zo, hè? Hier wordt letterlijk iemand gemarteld. Hier wordt letterlijk iemand gemarteld in dat bos. Dit is heel. Hallo. 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 What the? What the? What was that? Hey. That looked like my mom with a spatula. Your favorite alien is here. Hey, sexy Jay, did you try the Stella Blade demo yet? Love y'all. No. Uh, Paul the alien, listen, I would love to probe you, so call me. I know. After the stream, at 5 in the morning, I'll download it. So that one... That was just a woman. Just some woman shows up. And she looks like my mom after like two days of baking cookies for me with a spatula. And then she just screams. Sounds like my mom again. So I don't know. That that one didn't really get to me. What's crazy is that I've been up since um, 8 a.m. And you guys demanded I stay here. The events are like something right out of a horror movie. As Sias and his friends hear loud screaming coming from somewhere in the dark woods. Gothy in the chat says, yeah, it's not paranormal. It's, it's, um, what's it called? It's, um, a real situation. Just where, like, a crazy woman wants you to get off the fucking property. It's not rocket science. I was punched in the back of the head by something invisible so hard my headphones flew off years ago. I was ignoring stuff. Moving around me and bam. Wait. What? A ghost sucker punch you in the back of the head? That is ridiculous. Is that what happened? Let me know in the chat. That sounds insane. Do Mama says, um, Jay, how, how late are you streaming? Uh, we're we're, we're going to get through this video. Yes, I was a teenager at the time and it terrified me. Yeah, no shit. Terrence, Terrence says Jay farted. What the fuck are you talking about? Then a tall. Listen, real men don't fart. You know that. You know, there's only one thing that goes in my ass. Who was? All right, let's recover. A woman dressed in a white robe and wearing white face paint comes lumbering out of the forest, brandishing a hatchet. She charges at the group and they make a run for it. Siaz gets separated from his friends and hides in the dark woods. Okay. 
Can I tell you something? You know how easy it would be to set up a fake video like this? Just hire somebody's mom to put white uh, stuff on her face and chase them. You know, I sometimes think I'm in the wrong field. I should just be making viral fake videos because I would make them in, a mate in, in, in way better ways than this. Wait, he called the cops. Dude, e even, even, they'll fake it. They'll call the cops to fake it. Yeah, I, hello? Uh, hello? See, yes, here's loud noises coming from the direction. Dude. YouTubers will fake this, including calling the police. It's all planned out. I'm not being a conspiracy theorist here. It's simple. She'll run away unless she's caught, which I doubt. We'll see. This car, and he's worried that there might be more than one person out searching for them in the woods. He Casper decides to just hide in the dark. That donkey punch. Enraged gecko. Yeah until the police huh. arrive. Notice how the camera's pointed directly at the police? Think about it. Why would a YouTuber point the camera at the police? Serge X, we're about to, listen, memorial fund for Serge X in the chat, please. Everybody put uh, a 1% in the chat for him. He's got 1% on his phone. I don't know. I don't know if he, ha he doesn't know how to plug it in or maybe he's, he's um, under house arrest. He, he could be kidnapped. No, he's at 1%. It's terrible, man. It's a terrible, terrible thing. White Lando, what are you talking about? That was better than the two. Come on. Unreal. <laughs> Oh shit. Did she run off? Keep in mind, they told him to stay there. He's walking around now. You know what? This is actually, yeah, this is kind of scary. Now, even though the woman charged at the guys with a hatchet, even though she ripped the license plate off Sia's car, and even though she's uncooperative with the police, no arrest is made and the woman is let go with a warning. Which kind of makes me wonder if they have laws in Belgium. Because, what? But anyway, this whole crazy story got picked up by Belgium National News. The hustles of Vlogger Sia. 
Dude, wait, this is like a serious story. I thought it was all faked. I mean, it's still possibly fake, but weird. Heeft afgelopen donderdag de schrik van zijn leven beleefd. It turns out that the 42-year-old woman has been living at the old campsite illegally, and local authorities have been trying to build a case to have her removed. Nearby residents say that they don't feel safe walking in or even near the woods. You can watch the entire video of this creepy experience over on CS's YouTube channel. Nah. Puppy Pass. Poltergeist. Ready what? for last mammoth eight nine. Puppy Poltergeist. Guys, Terrence is gonna be in in a lot of shit. You know? You know he's he loves dogs, so if this is scary about a puppy. See, look, he says no doggos. 95 from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is away at work. His home security camera records as his dogs, Frank and Mac, are rest- I fucking hate poodles. Fuck you, poodles. Resting in the living room. What happens next is truly bizarre. Oh, I've seen this one. How many people have seen this one? All of a sudden, Terrence comes in ghost form and just starts rubbing the dog's ass and it gets weird. Watch. Oh, what did you do, Nightbreaker? What did you do? Dogs Frank and Max suddenly get spooked by something and a closet door opens by itself. When Reddit user LastMammoth895 looks back at the security footage, he makes a chilling discovery. Just before the closet door opens, an unexplained voice seems to whisper, Hiya. fake some assholes in the closet it's probably dreamcast guy looking for a fucking trout get real last mammoth 895 says that he is always nightbreaker what did you do <laughs> whoops hang on that that cut off hang on let me fix that Let me let me fix it for him. I forgot to update the uh, browse source for this. Here we go. Here we go. Here's what you wanted. You sick son of a bitch. Think outside the bun, you wing. That's it? That's it? That's weird. I thought it would be longer. He's been skeptical of the- Thank you, Nightbreaker, though. You're a legend. Supernatural, but he has no explanation for what happened here. So what do you think? Is this something paranormal or is- no, it's fucking Dreamcast guy broke into somebody's townhouse and lives in the fucking closet with a carp. The dogs are like, what the fuck is this guy doing in my closet with a carp? This isn't a ghost. Is it just some dogs randomly freaking out and some strange noise that sounds like a whisper? You decide. Holy fucking ads. Yeah, that that's just that's just a carp. That's a carp closet, as they call them. In uh, Dreamcast Guy's world. Listen, I gotta this get next creepy free. video, a babysitter is looking after a five-year-old girl while her mother is traveling out of town. Everything seems to be going well, until the little girl tells the babysitter a very strange oh. secret about her favorite doll. What you doing over there? <laughs> nice. Um... What was it that you told me earlier about your doll? When I, when I have a chicken, my doll it moves. Oh, so the doll moves. That's great. 
You said it moves? Yeah. That though? This though? Yeah. It, you said it moves? Yeah, what are you fucking deaf? She said it four times, you dumb fuck. Holy shit. Like sorry, you I'm move getting, it? I'm or? getting excited, sorry. Sorry. You blew it. Congratulations. Wait, what? When does it move? What, what is this guy? This guy's gonna take the fucking slow bus home. And you play hide and seek order. And you play hide and seek? Yeah. Bro. 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 He's a dude, bro. The five year old claims that the doll actually moves on its own when she plays hide and seek with it. The babysitter is a bit creeped out. I'll be honest right now, I'm getting chills down my back. Is there a fucking ghost behind me? I'm not gonna look. Is there a ghost behind me? I, I'm getting the spooks. The spooks are starting. Terrence, get here now. Who was? But his morbid curiosity gets the better of him, and he decides to test the doll himself. No, you know what? I'm actually getting hardcore spooky vibes behind me. Hey Siri, turn on the hallway light. Fuck this. I'm not sitting in the dark. Oh, that's even creepier. Hey Siri, turn on Jay's bedroom lights. Hey Siri, turn on the haunted living room lights. Okay, that's better. That's better. Yes, that's how I talked to Siri to do that all. Oh. It did not go well. Uh -uh. We're playing hide and seek. If this doll moves, if the doll moves, I'm flying to Terrence's house and he's gonna hold me. <laughs> Guys, if this doll moves, I swear to God. Holy fucking bastards. You goddamn bastards. My god. See? That fucking dog is going straight into the barbecue. You scared me. Don't do that, dude. Now the doll doesn't move, but the family dog said he gives him a good jump scare nonetheless. However, the dog's playful demeanor soon changes and she begins... Wait a minute, so the dog has a jump scare, and now the dog's like, yeah, there is a demon here. ...to behave very strangely. The do Are you kidding me? The dog could have fucking told us earlier that it was a demon child. The dog has been... ...staring at the doll. Yeah, because it's human-like. It's not a demonic spirit in the doll. Cut to later that same night. The five-year-old girl is now fast asleep in bed upstairs, and the babysitter is watching TV on the couch. He suddenly hears something that sends a chill down his spine. Hey Siri, turn on the espounding lights. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Listen, I don't have ass-pounding lights. Insomniac, nice to see you, dude. What are we looking at? The doll? Dude, your camera's from 1992. Yo. Oh shit, the doll moved. The doll fucking moved. I've got chills. I have got chills in my ass. A toy is playing music from the other room. And you guys do remember that this place is haunted I'm sitting in, right? You do remember while I was streaming during one of the horror movie nights, a balloon popped behind me and then it popped at 5 in the morning as well. You do understand that after I finished this stream, 
I'm gonna get touched by a ghost. When the babysitter walks over to check it out, he is shocked to see the doll move by itself. Now, unfortunately, as usual these days, these videos were posted to TikTok without a source. So I have no idea what happened next. The story of the creepy moving doll remains a mystery. Caught on trail cam. And now for something a bit different, as in this next video, something very strange is captured on a remote trail camera. Holy shit. You know who that is? First of all, it's just a tall person. Second of all, that's Phil looking for his shrimp on the beach. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a fucking person. A humanoid figure on all fours can be seen slowly moving through the- It's Melanie Mac. <laughs> Woods in the dark of night. What makes the footage so unsettling is just how thin and pale the figure appears to be. And when it looks at the camera, glowing eyes. It's just a tall dude. So is this a creature caught on camera? No. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Yeah, yes. Let's lean towards that. It's Melanie Mac looking for a fucking stick of butter to put up her ass. You're you fired. Decide. The old rip. Oh, Cheetah Man. Cheetah Man! You are hilarious, and that's probably correct, but stop it. It's theater. Paranormal investigator Steve Cutter reached out to us about his recent investigations with Broken Wings it's Paranormal. Broken Wings Paranormal. That looks like a divorce club. Congratulations. You blew it. You're fired! And the guy to the right looks like he has 16... I'm not... whatever. At the Ritz Theater in Tooele, Utah. <laughs> The movie house opened in 1939, and it said... Oh, guys, this is a haunted video. Look at the top there. Jaspers. You know who owns a cat named Jasper? Oh, shit, guys. ...to be extremely haunted. Steve believes that the group may have caught evidence of paranormal activity inside the theater. Just as we begin our portal session, you can clearly see... Our portal session. And he's not talking about the fucking Steam game. He's talking about opening a portal to the other side where demons and spirits can come through. And uh, he's telling the truth, of course, because that's what happens with portals. Let's see what happens. We are all in the room. LaDawn is sitting in the back of the theater. Watch the doorway on the right side in the back of the theater. You will see an apparition walk towards the bathrooms. And then just a few seconds later, you see the same apparition walk back. This cannot be a person, because as you can see in this still, a person has full features even in the back of the theater. Nah. Amazingly enough, this was captured on both of the DVR cameras. Nah, you know what that is? That's compression. So these video cameras work with very high compression to be able to transfer and record at low light. So basically what you're seeing there, guys, just from a technical aspect here, is essentially what Cheetah Man saying. It's a dig digital artifact, but what's happening is that these cameras will not change the pixels unless the pixels change, right? Sometimes they don't pick up changes within the environment. So if I have my hand in front of the screen like this to you guys, all the pixels on that still image of my hand in the shot, they basically stay still. So on still photography with these cameras, that's the issue that happens a lot of the time. Because they're a still image and the camera understands it's a still image, it doesn't need to process it, anything in that moment. When you get somebody walking through a doorway and they're see-through, that's just because the camera's not processing all of the pixels to that person. It doesn't mean it's see-through. You're just seeing the pixels before they've walked through. So it's almost like a digital effect that the camera's doing, just to explain to everybody out there. Yeah, so that's bullshit. So basically, the camera, the camera at all times on these pieces of shit cameras, they're not changing every pixel on the screen 24-7. There's going to be moments where some of the image is just locked off, so it'll be stuck on a doorway. And then when a human walks through it, 
it'll be like, oh shit, someone's there. Show it, show it, show it. And it'll just be partial images coming through. That's how these cameras work, right? They're high, they're not high end cameras, right? So they have a lot of compression happening to be able to record. Why is it in black and white? Cause this is technically, um, I think that this is a infrared camera. So infrared is not seen by uh, the human eye. So that's another possibility where infrared might be fucking up with the sensors and it's not showing in at the right time. And like I said, it's showing the old pixels versus the new one, which would be the person walking in front. That's why it looks like it's see-through. Listen, Lazy Jawa says, listen, compress me, then love me. I would love to pin you down. Let's go. You're Congratulations. Fired. Oh, man. Yes. They don't. Yeah. An unidentified figure can be seen walking back and Right there, guys. All that is, is the camera is not painting in the rest of the image because it's low compression. Fourth. That's all that in the is. hallway at the back of the theater. But that's not the only strange thing that the group captures on camera. It literally is just a person walking by a doorway. Get real. Broken Wings paranormal investigator Erica has a very creepy experience in the theater's projection room. You need to answer us. I've told the best boy. Who's the best boy? Oh my, oh my God, something just stroked my god here. Are you sure you didn't hit that extension? I didn't see that. No. I didn't see that. Erica's hair moves by itself, almost as if touched by something we can't see. Okay, I do admit, I do see hair movement there. I don't think it means jack shit. It could have been wind. It could have been, um, it could have been something in her hair that they pulled from the side. Uh, let me just also point out that very thin fishing wire cannot be seen on these cameras because of the low quality. So you could put a fishing wire on my dick and make it swing around and you'd think it's a ghost. Congratulations. Later, the Broken Wings Paranormal Group join together in the theater as they try to contact any spirits that might inhabit the old auditorium. That's when a static camera captures another oh, wow. truly bizarre event. You wanna tell me your name? Suzanne. I feel things starting to come into the theater, almost like a show is about to start and there's stuff like starting to shuffle into the theater. It might be residual, but it feels like there's stuff starting to come down the aisles and fill into the seats. Again, residual. Especially on this side right here on the right. Also easy to fake these videos. Remember, it's very easy to fake these videos. Jay, do you think a Ouija board can open up the portal to the other side and let spirits cross over when you use it in a place that's not haunted? No. I do not believe in the Ouija board nonsense. Uh, Zach Baggins has been doing it for decades, yeah. <clears throat> Now, let me just explain. Notice this shot, guys, right? It's locked off. That means the camera's not moving, right? It'd be very easy for them to shoot this twice and then just superimpose that second image. Super easy. I mean, I could do that in five minutes as a video editor. Not gonna lie. This Nuke's top five video is very mediocre at you best compared to his others. He you has blew. other vids that are much scarier and nine as easy to fake. This one is okay though. Look yeah. relaxer shoulders. <laughs> Jacob, thank you, dude. Yeah, I, I so far this one's three minutes long longer, but <laughs> another unidentified figure can be seen slowly walking through the aisle towards the invest Now listen. If it actually walked through the chairs, I'd be like, wow, that's fucked up. But it's walking exactly where humans would walk, which implies that it is just a human walking in that area. And it is a low compression camera. So before it simply disappears into thin air. So with all these creepy captures, could it be that the Ritz Theater is truly haunted? No. Let me know what you think. You Although I got the spooks behind me, I feel weird. 
Is there a ghost behind me? Watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel. Yeah, I'd rather poke my eyes out with shrimp and then send the shrimp to Phil. Let's go. Broken Wings Paranormal. The dark before dawn. It's 520 in the morning when Nuke's top five viewer Paul Lynch leaves his home in North Hampshire, England to go to work. But as he heads out the door, this oh, happens. Jacob, stop it. What? What? Somebody said morning, mate? Big deal. Someone nearby can be heard casually saying morning, mate, but there's no one there. It's also five in the morning and they could just be in the shadows. This video is shit. Anyways, that's the end of that video. He's got scary ones, I hear, but we'll, we'll have to watch that on another night. Jay was... stroke my hair and love the way I move. Terrence says, what did Terrence say? Terrence said, why don't you see black people seeing ghosts or paranormal shit? Dude, there is a show. There is a show with, um, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the show. Guys, what's the name of the show with the, the, the group of black guys? <laughs> What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Ghost Brothers. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's has been on the whole time. <laughs> Zalen, oh God, man. Zalen's just shown up. Dude, it's literally called Ghost Brothers. And I don't mean to say that in like a terrible way. Look, I'll show it. Um, It's a reality show with Ghost Brothers. Uh, they're brothers and they're ghosts. Look, Ghost Brothers. Here we go. It's a real show. Look, 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 look. The Ghost Brothers. You asked for it. You asked for it. There it is, motherfucker. Exactly. That's what I thought. Look. Here to answer two questions about ghost hunting. Are ghosts for real? Ready? And why is everybody white? <laughs> That's what Terrence just asked. That's what Terrence just asked. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, look at this. Oh god. Wait, you are here. This is a show for Terry. Please look. reveal yourself. I'm Dale, the leader of the group. We're three best friends who all had paranormal experiences as kids. Now that we're grown, we're not afraid to look for answers. Bro, I can see why they say black folks don't do this stuff. It's hot. Bro. Yo, this is not no magic mic, dog. I'm Juwan, and I'm a ghost brother. Are you okay with us working together as equals? We know what happens in every horror movie when the brother's by himself. My name is Marcus, and I'm a ghost brother. Time to you asked for it. Gonna need ghosts. You all right? It's just wires and cobwebs, homie. You are not welcomed on this property. Our mission is to hit the most haunted locations in America to prove that ghosts are for real. We are the Ghost Brothers. Who was? You asked for it. You fucking told me. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's unbelievable. But they do have a good fucking point. Every time you go to an investigation, the ghost is white. You never hear them like, say, I saw a black ghost in the corner. It's always, I saw a white man. But dude, no, you're actually 100% right. Why You just said, like, why are the ghosts white? And that's another thing. Like, when they went overseas, they were like, why are, why are the ghosts not Jay, you can ghosts? still call me King Lesbian. Now touch my chili bowel where PPL can't see come into my theater. You blew it. <laughs> Dude, that Yoda voice. You blew it. <laughs> that Yoda makes me laugh every time. Thank you, King. You're a goddamn legend. Uh, goo in the chat, don't even go down that joke. I know what you're going to say. That's terrible. Um, but... <sighs> I mean, why no black people doing investigations or seeing ghosts? Uh, Exhibit A. It was out in 2016, got canceled in 2016. And, uh, that was the end of it. Let's see if they went on to do anything else. 
Yeah, he does uh, short films now. Or he did. Here, Here's one. Ghost Brothers Haunted House Guests. It was on Travel uh, Channel in 2019. Oh, you know what? I did watch this one. It's fucking awesome. So there you go. So you can stop Who your was? fucking complaining to me that there's no ghost shows for you. You got it. I'm sick of your complaining constantly in my ear. Where's the chili? Where's my black ghost hunter show? Where's my ugly dog? I threw it out. Um, Jacob says, hey, Jay, have you ever seen that video of Ghost Adventures on the map? What? Have, hey, Jay, did you ever see the video that got Ghost Adventures on the map? Yes. Um, basically, they had a lot of activity, but the selling point was a brick being thrown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that, dude. I do remember that episode where they threw a brick and they were like, ah, the ghosts are throwing bricks. Yeah, it was silly, but I love Ghost Adventures. Like, I watch that thing. Um, I don't think I can actually play anything from here, but let me see. Let me, let me see if I could just sign in. Um... Do I have to sign in to see all this? Hang on, hang on. Let me show you some of my favorite ep eps. My favorite eps. <sighs> Emails, nothing to show. What the fuck? You got one job. No. Oh. What a piece of shit program. I can't even show you that. God damn it. Anyways, I was going to show you the episodes. The Goldfield Hotel episode's great. Jostler, you've lost your mind. What time is it? Yeah. How? I've been live for seven hours? It's over, guys. It's over. Congratulations. I appreciate everybody today. I have to go and take a bath. Unless you want to watch that, I got to go take a bath. My mom will be here tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST. Julie's like, let's go for seven more hours. How about no? I watch Guy every night, and I do not. <laughs> Jostler, I love that. Um, how much for 20 more minutes? You said midnight. Um, I'd say about... Uh, let's see how many members we're at. We're at 194. If we hit, if we hit 200 members within the next uh, two minutes, I'll stay 20 more minutes. There you go. Let's go. Who was? We have uh, 194. 194. Oh my God! Jedi of psoriasis just just got home. Unbelievable. The guy he works for a living. He probably takes care of a family, but he can't show up to my stream on time. You're Congratulations. Liar. Unbelievable. Josser says, I could have streamed, but Jay said no. JKB is a direct detractor. Absolutely. White Lando. See, <laughs> speaking of White Lando, what did I do with White Lando, dude? Zalen gifted one membership. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. 195. Bloodmore. Oh, there you go. Um, okay, stop. Jesus. Guys, I, I... Unbelievable. I said the goal was 200, not 202. What the fuck? <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, uh, ones, thank you. Lazy Jawa, thank you. Zaylin, thank you. Zaylin, you're a legend. Oh, 
Holy shit, what's happening? Tower Dragon with one. Thank you, dude. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Um, Zalen's lost his goddamn mind. Thank you, Zalen. I really appreciate it, man. You guys are just... It's silly. I said 200. Now we're at 204. It's disgusting. That's a lack of respect. You're fired! You guys are detractors. Did we break the stream record? Yes, we did. I don't think we'll ever beat this one. 200... I'm home restart the stream. Jedi, disgusting. How dare you come in this late? Um, 204. Remember that number. Well, I, I don't think we'll ever beat 204 members in a stream. I've been streaming for six hours. <clears throat> we have never gotten that before. That is um, a stupid amount. Absolutely silly. Uh, Jacob, what did you say here? Insane. It's insane. Jacob says, let the man... Oh, it's going to play, I think. Unless we broke it. So, let me ask this question. How many people celebrated... Uh, what's today? Christ risen in his pants or something. What happened? What happened today? With eggs and shit? Easter or some shit, right? Did everyone have a good Easter? That's what I'm asking. Also, I'm going to turn a light on. It's Good Friday. I don't fucking think it's good. I think it's incredible. <laughs> What's so funny? What? <laughs> what? What? <coughs> Nothing happened there. I don't know what everyone's laughing at. That's disgusting. Why would that happen? Um, Let the man go take a shower. He smells like pizza and man sweat. Those bursting beads of sweat rolling down your pits in that bear suit is awful. <laughs> Jacob, thanks, dude. Just got back from Godzilla. X Kong loved it. Dude, do you know that the director of that, Adam Wingard, he's been working on the series for like since Blair Witch came out. I talked to him at TIFF about that movie. I was like, what are you doing after Blair Witch? He's like, oh, Godzilla movies. I'm like, what? So, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the movie. He must have done a great job with it. Uh, Adam is a really nice dude. Got to talk, like I said, after I watched Blair Witch, I got to talk to him a little bit at TIFF, and we just talked about what he was doing next. And he was like, actually, I'm doing, yeah, he directed Blair Witch sequel, like the, the remake, Blair Witch. Was it called Blair Witch Project? It was just called Blair Witch. Um, yeah, which was an okay movie. It wasn't terrible. True story. When we were kids, my sister saw our brother walking around the house and even spoke with him. What's scary is that he was at his friend's house the whole day. Scares what? me to this very day. Really? So what happened? Let me get the story straight. Your mom was making chili and she saw your brother. Wait, okay. When we were kids, my sister saw my brother walking around the house and even spoke with him. What's scary is that my friends, he was at his, his friend's house the whole time. So who the hell were they talking to? Whoops. So who that? Let's do that again. 
So who, wait, 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 hang on. So who was he talking to? <laughs> Isn't it weird that we have kids hunt for Easter eggs at the Easter Bunny left when bunnies don't lay eggs? Yeah. Absolutely. Like, it's, it's, it's fucked up. It's something Terrence would come up with. Like, some bullshit he'd come up with. Like, oh, the Easter Bunny's laying eggs. Okay. That's all you got? That's all you got? The Bunny's laying eggs? Terrence, get real. Who was? Phil's nuts have too much compression. He's going to make some adjustments. Asthma girl, you of the camera's been on the whole time. Oh, you, you <laughs> ASRM girl, ASMR girl, that that didn't work. You blew it. You blew, you blew it. it. You blew Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Seriously, uh, King of Les, thank you. I appreciate it. you. Are a goddamn legend. Tonight's been absolutely insane, hasn't it? I don't even know what happened today. I just started streaming and people are, have lost their minds, number one. Number two, people lost their minds. And it's been, I think, let me see this. You know, um, I haven't seen how many. 128 Super Chats have come in. Do you know how crazy that is? A hundred. That is crazy. A hundred and twenty-eight super chats, guys. That beats. T so let me just say, today has beaten all records, except for February seventeenth. We did. I we did bigger numbers on that day in terms of people watching. I think. But I have less people watching, and it's fucking ins You guys are insane. I'm looking at it right now. 128 Super Chats. And then, I, for some reason, at... at uh, it, I could see when Rich got online, because I lost 60, I lost 60 viewers. And then it went back up when they realized that I was showing my nipples. But, yeah. Uh, it's absolutely insane. Holy shit, we almost hit 300 viewers today and then it did a steep dive, uh, deep dive at 6. Small but tight community. Yeah, dude. Like, the community that we've brought over here that supports the streams and everything. You guys are insane. It's symbolic of birth. Eggs are a symbol of life and rabbits. <laughs> that was like violent. And rabbits. <coughs> oh God, I'm choking. Yeah. So wait a minute. Um, 204. Get that straight. 204 goddamn memberships today only like that is and the total amount just so you guys know i can't get over these things like i don't even know what to say to you guys it's absolutely insane we're we are currently at um we are at 1351 members so thank you just want to say before i head out in like 10 minutes Without you guys, the show would just be me staring at the wall waiting for chili to be made. But the support is ridiculous. It lets me do what I want on the show and expand it and be able to do episodes. And I know that I haven't put out a ton of content. I've been trying to do my best. But, yeah, I have plans for a lot of things. So thank you again. What just happened now? Zalen gifted a membership. Jedi of Psoriasis. Gifted five members. Low gout support stream. Yeah. Uh, low gout support stream my ass. This is like, honestly, this is the second biggest stream I've ever done in terms of support. 
and it's a fucking random Friday, which makes no sense. So thank you. My mom will be here tomorrow at five. Make sure you guys come and enjoy that one. It's going to be stupid. Just stupid. Roulette just gifted five members. You guys are too much. Thank you. You know, it's like unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Roulette, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, my mom is on the show tomorrow. It's going to be stupid. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys now it's going to be a um, a two-hour show max because I want to hang out with my mom. And then Sunday, I'll be streaming from two until God knows when. I'll go hardcore on Sunday, guys. But thank you again. Um, I mean, it's just unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. I, I mean, I, I, you guys break me every time we stream. It's like a new... A new goal. I don't even have goals. And it's just like, I don't even ask for things. And it's just like, people continuously are like, here. I just don't get it. But I appreciate it. You're, yeah. It's life-changing. It actually is life-changing. Like, with with the help that you guys have given me on this show, I'm able to do, like, my movie stuff on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Also do, you know, videos for the channel and stuff. Ones, appreciate you. So, yeah, Alice, thank you so much. Salty American, listen, I'll pop in your mouth. I said that out loud. You blew it. Congratulations. You're fired. Mistaken game. Let's just, let's stop for a second. A lot of people support this stream, and I always make sure that they're known. So I have to say, everybody, please thank Mistaken Game in the chat today. You know, I haven't seen him here before. And to see somebody come in here and just be like, here, I believe in you, is unbelievable. So please thank him for me as well. Huge support from him. Jay, stream Stellar Blade Sunday. Ah, maybe. We could do that, maybe. I'm thinking mistaken game later in my sex shed. You blew it. You know, and the other thing I'm going to bring up is, you know, there's a reason why we do the whale sounds on here. I can't even remember everybody now. One's two cents is a legend. Like, unbelievable. Living legend is a legend. Um, who am I forgetting immediately here? Viper, if you're still here, you're a goddamn legend. Um, who else is like... There's so many people here that support the show. Mr. Awesome, thank you for all the subs you've gifted. Um, yeah, well, I'm getting the Zalen. I'm getting the Zalen. Zalen, see? Zalen's a goddamn legend. Like, and on top of it, he's not only supporting my stream, he's also editing. And then Viper was Oprah one day, and he's still been Oprah. Tower Dragon's been a, a goddamn legend. All of you have been legends, but I mean, people are like stepping up and being like, here, we believe in you. And that's priceless. And and to be honest to you guys, like I'm sitting on the money, to be honest, because <laughs> Nightbreakers, Nightbreakers a legend. Um, because I'm still like sh shell shocked over the whole situation. So I, again, appreciate it. Angie says, just got off the phone with the love of my life. Angie makes very interesting uh, comments in my chat. Angie Nash, who are you? Uh, White Lando's a legend. Send me these. He sent me these, which, dude, I'm almost out. So I'm going to have to special order them or something. Terrence says, um, what did Terrence say? Wait, Terrence says, Jay don't love me. He used to like a cheap rug. Who was? Listen, I hope Terrence goes to bed, watches the Ghost Brothers tonight with his chili in bed. That's all I could say for him. Jedi Slayer. Jedi Slayer today 
Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. He made me wear the suit like six times. I'm sweating. I have to take a bath. Holy cow, says uh, J-Man, you have me break up advice. Dude, listen to this. Holy cow fuckus says, J-Man, you gave me breakup advice back in 2012 on Facebook. Thank you, Jay. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I remember talking to a lot of people back in the day about stuff like that. Salty American says, my mom says I'm funny. Funny looking. D, Junior D, have a good night, dude. Appreciate you. Award-winning legend says he's just freeloading from Australia. I might going to come down there and move in with you, get my green card. Jedi Slayer, have a good night. Thank you so much for the support today. Unbelievable. Obama Phone Pro Max 5G, thank you as well. I totally remember you from the other streams. You're a legend. Once Two Cents says I'm too poor. First of the Bills month. Ones, you support all the time. Get real. Angie Nash says, my husband of 13 years left me and then I fell in love a second time. I, I get afraid I will lose him too. Well, that's life, to be honest. I'm not saying that you'll lose him, but that's life. You got another chance at it, right? And you'll have chances for the rest of your life, essentially, right? So make the best out of what's happening now. You have new love in your life. So enjoy it. You know, don't, you have to, here's the number one thing. Communicate, 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 communicate. If you do not communicate, then you don't know what's happening. And also it takes work. You don't just go, how are you today? And they go, great. Hey, mate, I'm great. You got to say, how are you? And then you ask them again and again, and you got to work at it. A relationship takes serious work. If you don't work at it, somebody's going to just get bored of it. Cosmic Productions. You son of a bitch, I'm going to milk you. Uh, once Two Cents says, Jay milked us dry. Listen, I uh, have no, I, yeah. <clears throat> Nightbreaker, thank you. Jostler, you're a legend. I'm glad I shut down your stream. JRAM, you're a legend as well. You've been around for a long time. I like the way you, you uh, put your shoes on in the morning. Julie B is a legend. Thank you, Julie B. Zalen's a legend. Thank you, Zalen. Grizzly Bear. Viewer stories would be dope. Uh, what do you mean by that? Terrence, ah, I mean, you're, you're... Thanks for watching, though, Terrence. But, like, I don't know. Freddy Cougar, Jay the Love Doctor. Thank you. Lucifer Sam. I like the name. Mistaken Game. Jay, you should start a dating advice stream. That's actually not a bad idea. I think I would give great advice, just like Terrence gives great chili. You know, we have to be good at something. Julie B, thank you. White Lando, thank you. Holy shit, Mike Stabatello just showed up. Where the hell have you been? You're fired. Uh, uh, Jedi of Psoriasis, I love you as usual. You're a legend. Jagobah. <laughs> I thought that was Dagobah. That's a funny name. Um, Jostler says, Jay, you legit fixed my audio. It's great now. Yeah, I like to help people. Holy Clown, thank you. Splendid Ryan, thank you. Serial Vapist. I feel like I'm the one that gets bored in relationships. Every girl is clingy, like wet toilet paper. Um, I'm like alone all the time. Blah, 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 and then starts fights every single fucking time. Dude, that's because you're not happy with them. If you were happy with the girl and you communicated properly... And you were actually comfortable in the relationship, you wouldn't do those things. And if you are doing those things and you see those as a problem, go get some help. Talk to some people about that. You don't want to go through life pushing people away just because you have fears, which could be a possibility. Listen, I'm giving great advice right now. King of Les. Holy shit. Another legend. All right. 
Here we go. We're headed off. Silent. Silent Gray says you help a lot of people during your streams. Thank you. Jay the Love Doctor. Actually, I'd be more. I would like to be Jay the Great. Jay the Great. I'm kidding. Holy shit, Mike Stabatello is now a super legend? Thank you, dude. JRAM, thank you for watching. Azarath, thank you. Angie, thank you again. I never push my guy away. Good, don't. Communicate. Terrence, I don't know what that means. You've lost it. Ragnarok, thank you, dude. Glad you could uh, check out the stream live. Tower Dragon, you're a legend. Living legend literally is a legend. Alice is a legend. She's always here. Thank you. The Bubster, thank you. You're always a legend. Thanks for the stream, Jesus, says Angie. Thank you for watching, Angie. White Lando, thank you. Jason Netten, thank you. Netten in. DS9, you've been hiding, haven't you? Ellie, thank you in the chat. Ronald, thank you. Lazy Jawa, thank you. Freddy Cougar, one, two, I'm coming for you, literally. You're fired. MA, MAW, thank you in the chat. Are you more of a, a metal guy or a hip hop guy? Metal all the way, dude. Absolutely. I do not listen to hip hop. If I do, it's only because I really appreciate the production value of some of the beats that are made. Uh, other than that, I don't listen to it. Tom Green is watching right now, bricked up. I've talked to him a few times. He's a legend. Lazy Jawas says, support Canadian cats. I think she's asleep. Thank you. Dennis says, see you guys. See you, Dennis. The Freak. Thank you, Freak. Obama, you son of a bitch, has upgraded to a super legend. You're Congratulations. Fired. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Jostler says, dude, I love you. Don't pull out next time. You're fired. Are you... Smoking your socks? I am legend. No, I do not. All right. I think we got everyone. Birdman's here. Listen. Wait. Birdman, my mom's coming on the show tomorrow. You better be here. Because, you know, she's going to try to deal drugs to you. So, there's that. JRAM, good night. I'm losing my voice as usual. One's two cents. Always got to get the last word in. I love you. It says to the poor pods, whales. <laughs> what does that mean? Dude, I love you. Don't pull out next time. Are you smoking your socks? Oh, shit. I forgot to show you guys something. Or, or let you guys hear something. So when the, um, when the fucking uh, psychic was here, we recorded audio. And we caught something. We caught something. This is audio from the night that the woman was here, essentially doing a reading. I didn't share this yet. I totally forgot it was on the soundboard. Um, to the poor pod whales. Thank you, once two cents. Um, do you guys want to hear the, do you guys want to hear the EVP of the ghost that day? I'm not trolling. Why would you, sorry, why would you think I'm trolling? Hang on. Why do you think I'm trolling? No, this is, I'm dead serious. This is an EVP and then I'm leaving. No, you didn't miss the psychic. She is, she's not here yet. Anyways. Here's what it was. And by the way, good night, guys. I love you all. Um, Zaylin, you win. I, no, Jocelyn. I am a very poor whale. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you guys are poor. You guys have been maniacs tonight. Hopefully you're not poor. 
Anyway, share tomorrow, says uh, Living Legend. Okay, I won't play the EVP, guys. I'll play it tomorrow. But I'll play you this. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round ball. I need Are Dr. you Sexy smoking Coco your socks? You blew it. You blew it. I need sexy coke. Love you. To love my brown coke. Uh, uh. You're fire. Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my Oh, hey, onesie, my love mom. Underscore J-K-B-B-R-D. For the love of God, I'm leaving. Jostler, thank you, and thank you to ones. You guys are, um, you guys are ridiculous. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'll see you all tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST with my mom. My mom's going to be here. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. I need sexy coke coke to love my brown coke. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, Jostler. I just saw that. He said, fuck me once. So I hope you guys go have a good night together. I'm losing my voice. I'm going to go have a bath. And I'm going to think about all of you in the bath. Thank you. Who what? Also, no thank you whatsoever to Terrence. Fuck you. Who was? Who was? Who was? You blew it. 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 Who was? Who was? You blew it. 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 Congratulations. 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 Who's wild? Who's wild? I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole I need Sexy Coco to love my round